heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Davies and I just want to say I am so excited to be making my debut appearance on Sewing Street on Wednesday the 13th between 11 and 1. I'm going to be on launching this brand new TV exclusive version of our Gemini's fantastic machine. I'm going to be putting it through its paces. I've got some amazing multimedia dies that I'm going to be showing you how to do some fabulous quilting projects with. We've got some unmissable deals on and just some amazing stuff to show you. So I really hope you can join me on Wednesday the 13th from 11 o'clock onwards. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Welcome to Sewing Street on this fantastic bank holiday Monday. Thank you for joining me on this. I hope you had a good Easter day yesterday. Loads of eggs and chocolate. I did. Went down to my mum and dad's and all the family were there. Oh, I ate so much. I actually felt a bit sick on the way home. I think it was the final slice of chocolate cake that finished me off. And then we got home and the kids said, do you want some of my Easter egg? I was like, mm -hmm. but anyway, I'm feeling I could eat more today. So I hope you had a lovely Easter Sunday and thank you for joining me today. Isn't it a glorious day? I've... So... And we have got some brilliant, brilliant products for you today. In fact, I've got a few products that are brand, brand new. Can you see the sneak peek? That way, that way, there. Beautiful quilt. Coming up in just a moment, just having a chat to Kat. I've measured my bed, I've measured it, I've worked out what size beds it can fit on. So I think I'm gonna get one of those. I know exactly where it's gonna go on my brand, my new um, guest bed, I think. It's on pre-order. It is beautiful and it is William Morris. Um, and on pre-order it's not at its final price because we've been having a little chat this morning to those who are in charge and negotiating so we're still getting them to decide what we can drop it to which is why we haven't done that yet and then it will be but oh wow it's beautiful and I'm going to show you everything that's in the kit but I am definitely going with one of those going to go with everyday core but before that early bird early birds now I was really excited to see this this morning because um when I looked at it I thought oh well you need the special wire handles to make that which is fine if you can find them then I realized it's in the kit so look here we are it's called the flying geese pouch right gorgeous now let me open it up for you So flying geese is the quilt block that's down the centre. So in here, well, I was quite excited by the instructions because I really love these. Have you ever seen these pouches? Do I need to do that? Um, that open up. Can you see that picture there? They open up so that you've got the whole bag open, which is brilliant for things like toiletries and makeup or your sewing kit. But in here, you've got all the instructions you need, which are really good. Tells you how much fabric. So this is a brilliant stash buster. 
So if you've got, I'm sure you haven't got loads of fabric at home, unlike me, um, you can use all your little bits and pieces because if you look at the picture on the front, see, there's all lots of little pieces of fabric. So there's no fabric in here because it is for you to use with your stash. So it tells you all the small pieces of fabric you need, beautiful instructions, really, really clear diagrams, walkthrough instructions, exactly, look, how to um, make it. And they're all, um, all the diagrams are illustrated as well, really pretty. Everything you need to know in there, exactly how to construct this. But not only that, in the kit, you get the special wire frame. Now, if you've, I'm just going to, oh, where's the, there it is. If you've never worked with one of these before, they're ever so easy, but you've got the wire frame, so this is what, pretend this is the bag. So when it's closed, it's like that. And then when you open it, it goes like that, which keeps it open. So it is brilliant for things like makeup and toiletries, but it's also good. I've um, seen people use them for sewing kits because you can open it and see everything inside. Brilliant for storing lots of little things like all your fabric clips and some scissors or a whole kit, maybe your EPP project because it's all open. And not only that, you get the zip as well. Because isn't it annoying when you can't find the right zip? So for $14.99, you get the zip, you get this. I mean, that's the full price. Remember, this is early bird. And you get the instructions. Now, I would expect to pay 14, maybe $9.99 to $12.99 for these instructions because they're very clear. They're from the Zaka workshop. If you've done anything with them before, we have um, done a lot of their um, class purses. So to get the wire frames, and these are exactly the size you need, um, and the zip, and you can do it with the, f you can do the um, flying geese panel, but you could do your own panel there. You could just make it with plain fabric. You could embroider it. You could put somebody's initial on it. Fantastic gift. Forty at uh, forty nine times. So what can we drop it to, Kat? <gasps> how much? How much? How much? $9.99. Well, $9.99 is I would expect to pay more than that for the instructions themselves. And remember that you get the zip and the wire frame. This is a fantastic thing. I want one of these. I might add this to my basket along with the quilt kit. Loads of you have got this in your baskets, buying multiples. Obviously, once you've got the instructions, you can make more, but you will need the wire, the wire, you don't have to put it in. It's Bank Holiday Monday, so Kat says, Kat says we can have a special deal. Oh, I'm going to have to get this. Seven forty nine, half price. Now I would expect to pay a little bit, just a little bit less than that for the wire frame on its own, let alone the zip and the instructions as well. This is definitely going in my basket with the quilt. But you need to do it before midnight, so don't forget. I'm going to have to do it as soon as I get off air. Because, but you don't, if you don't want to do the flying geese, you don't have to. Once you read the instructions and it explains, in the beginning it says, look, this is how to do the flying geese. But then when you get to the next section, look, it shows you how you're joining the flying geese into the main panel. So if you don't want to put those in, you could just put the main piece of fabric. But just to show you what a brilliant stash buster is, it is. So for the body fabric, you need for five and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. It's small pieces. For the lining fabric, two five and a half by 11 inch rectangles. It's all the bits you've got in your stash. And if you, these are flying out, flying geese out there. And if you look at it, wouldn't it make, it would look lovely in Liberty. You could also make it in bright colors, brilliant in things like Tim Holtz. And you know, and once you've got this, you've saved more than saved the PMP of 395. It's open for the day then. Everything else is free postage, really, isn't it? But you need to check out before midnight. If we have any left after midnight, it's going to go back up to 14.99. If we've got loads and loads of you with this in baskets. And we've only had it on air a handful of times before, less than a handful of times. So it really is very new. And if you have used any of the Zaka workshop kits, which I, well, I've demonstrated, I've used them. They are fantastic. Really, really good. It is a brilliant product. So we have got hundreds in baskets. So we had a good, good quantity of them, but we can see that you're all checking out. But the ones of you who have got them in your basket and haven't checked out, Please do that now. It will go back up at midnight um, if we've got any left. I'm hoping them. 
I am hoping there's still some left after one o'clock because I'm not going to miss out on that price. 7.49. It's fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, this one's open. That's mine, isn't it? Um, and I th and you can once you've um, once you've used the instructions and you, if you want to make another one, you can buy wire frames separately, but. It's probably just worth buying another kit, but obviously you do have the instructions. Now, you don't have to put the wireframe in it if you want to make another, but obviously that gives it that lovely open thing there. But you could use it again without the frames, but have a look online. You can buy frames separately, but when you look at the price of them, you will see what amazing value. You get the zip, the instructions, and the wireframe to make this gorgeous pack. I'm thinking, what a great gift make a few of them now, save them, and when you've got a little present to give someone, you could just fill, you get buy a tub of Quality Street and tip it in. Brilliant, I mean, it, less than 50, less than 50 left now. Well, and that sounds like a lot, but there's 61 of you with it in basket, so 11 of you, if you all check out, are going to miss out. Fantastic. And lots of you buy multiples because it is a really, really good gift. Make one for yourself. See how easy it is. Have a go. Do the first one with the flying geese and then go, well, actually, I'm going to just try a different pattern. You know, you could put hexes down there. It'd work beautifully in EPP. Once you've worked out the pattern, you could make the whole body. Because I know there's a lot of you, if you're on our um, Jenny Jackson and mine Scrappy Hexy Fun group, loads of you going, I've got all these hexes. What shall I do with them? Wouldn't this be brilliant? Or if you love EPP and you've never tried tiny, teeny, half inch EPP, PP, such a small thing, it'd be brilliant for it. Right, there are only 20 left. 58 baskets. If you all check out, 38 of you will miss out. So I will leave it with you and I'll give you an update. Oh, people are already checking out on the William Morris quilt. Let me see what's tell you what's coming up for the rest of the day, and I will keep you updated about the flying geese pouch, and then we will go to the quilt. So now at eight o'clock, we've got the William Morris quilt, which is behind me, and and other backings. I'm not going to demo it, but I'm going to talk you through it because it's a lot easier than it looks, which I love to hear. Loads of extra wide backings as well. And some of the William Morris that's in the quilt, we've got available by the half metre because it is beautiful. So I'll show you all of that in just a minute. Nine o'clock, we've got Dawn Taylor in. I'm really excited about this. I've not worked with Dawn before, so that's going to be nice. Now, we have got springtime gnomes. They are glorious. So if you've seen our Christmas gnomes, We've got them in two brand new prints today. So I told you it's the day of newness. Day of newness, William Morris. So um, that look at those, those are the bee ones. Bees, gnomes in bees, they are so sweet. And the toadstool. Now we've got both kits available in the theme, the girl gnome and the boy gnome, and they both come with a, a baby gnome as well. Um, Dawn is gonna show us some really good ideas and hacks. She had a really good idea about making the um, the boy gnome with a, like a barbecue apron, brilliant Father's Day present. So she, that's coming up at nine o'clock, brand new. Now, 10 o'clock quilting tools, I'm very excited. I've been onto our buying department for a while about rotating cutting mats. Now, Barry in buying even asked me, said, what size do you want and what colour? So we got pink. He said to me, should we not have green? I went, no, no. We have got green because he wouldn't listen to me completely, but he did, he did um, pan, pander to my pink. And the pink one is 12 by 12 and, and the green one is 80 by 18. I'm going to show you at 10 o'clock why you need a rotating cutting mat. I have one and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you what you do with it. Brand new today. We have never had them on air before. Very exciting. And walking feet walking feet for your Elna machine because we know a lot of you have been taught we talk about walking feet all the time and we've got open toe and closed toe and I'll tell you what the difference is between them but walking feet are fab they make they make your yeah, we've got Paul our new director in the gallery saying what are you on about walking feet do you mean walking sticks no we mean walking feet and we talk to you all the time it takes your sewing from good to brilliant without you having to do anything other than put a different foot on your machine. So that's coming up at 10 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, Dawn will be back with us. She is going to um, show, show us how to make two different bags. They're from Debbie Shaw's um, book and they're both using cork. And we've also got loads of cork. Isn't that one lovely? She's made one into like a lunch bag. You can get all your sandwiches and your drinks. We've, we've worked out what you can get in it. You can get loads in that. 
So she's going to show us how to make both of the bags and we've got lots of different cork available by the half meter as well. So that is going to be perfect. Finally, it's Monday. So you know what that means. It's 12 o'clock. It's Yarn Lane. And we have got a brand new product. Again, we've got a new guest, Paula Milner. She, and we have got a brand new book, Bonnie the Cow and Friends, which is from Wool Couture, featuring a whole host of beautiful crocheted animals. And not only that, we've got kits to make them as well. The blue tip being my favourite. And that's the day. Very exciting. But before we dive into the William Morris, need to tell you about the Elna 680 Plus. Now, this is a fantastic machine. This is just beautiful. It's our flagship machine. It's it's the one that all our guests love. John Scott's got this one. And Stuart, oh yeah, Stuart Hillard has a 680. He hasn't got the 680 plus. He'll probably be buying this today, I should think, just upgrading himself. But it is a brilliant, brilliant machine. Um, and we have got a special offer on it, which ends today. Five year warranty. You know, when you buy anything, whether you buy a sewing machine, a dishwasher, a vacuum cleaner, whatever, you normally get a one, sometimes a two year warranty. We did a special, had a special agreement with Elna that we could have a five year free, five year warranty. None of that. Would you like to upgrade to a five year warranty? And you say no and then regret it. None of that. It is given to you for free, but it ends today. So if you buy your machine, before midnight, you get that free five-year warranty. After that, it goes back to two, two year, which is still a great one because most things only have a year and they always break after 13 months, don't they? Oh, if you don't buy the two year. This is a free five year. Now, the machine, it's a brilliant price at 1,249. For what it does, that is a fantastic price. It is a professional machine. It's a computerized sewing machine. Comes with everything you need and more. It's beautiful i love using it but if you want to sp spread the payments because you don't want to pay it all in one go you can spread it five equal payments of 24980 now that's interest free we don't charge you anything for doing that we take the 24980 off you today the machine is sent immediately to you directly from Elna and a lot of the, um, and you still only pay the 395 PMP. Elna send it directly. And the feedback that we have from our customers is, is it's very quick. So many people have said that it, so they will pick up the order tomorrow. I mean, I've, you, you will, they sort of say within a week, but loads of customers said, I've had it in two days. Amazing. So they send it directly to you. And then the other four payments, are taken out um, at equal at equal months for four months. Don't pay for Express PMP. Don't need to do that because it is coming to you direct from Elna for three ninety five postage. So if you've been umming and ahhing about this machine for a while, you know we keep talking about it. John's always talking about it because he chose this as the machine that he wanted to use, and he's got one himself. Then it really is worth getting that today for the five year warranty and i know it's a considered purchase but you know you've got from now till midnight if you've got any questions or you just want someone to tell you whether it's good or not put a message on the sewing street fan page what do you think about it or something like this is specifically what i want to use it for is it good for quilting i do a lot of dressmaking is it good for um binding what's it what's the it like for the size of the table and the throat you know just put a question on there there are hundreds of you out there or message the studio, studio at sewingstreet.com. We'll answer what we can. But if you want some real proper live reviews from customers, go onto the fan page. They will tell you what they think about it. And they're the, well, you, they are the best people to review things because you're, because we, we love it when you review things because it gives us feedback. We know what you like and what you don't like as well. Rebecca, your top is beautiful. Did you make it? Oh, thank you, Kelly. Well, it's not a top, it's a dress actually. Um, I bought it, but it had a really high neck and I didn't like it. So I cut the neck and bound it with some red. So kind of, but not really. Not really. Um, but thank you, Kayleigh. It's a my summer dress because it's, it's ladybirds on daisies. Um, let's have a quick look at the website. The easiest way to shop with us is to go on to www.sewingstreet.com. Click on watch live. You'll see that at the top and scroll down. Now, there you can send a message. You see the box where you just type your message in. Oh, last day, yeah, that's Kat putting a message in. Um, put it in there and send it, and then that will come through. Kat will read it out, um, just like Kaylee just put it on there. So, no, early birds sold out. We had hundreds of those. 
that's really annoying because I was going to, one o'clock, I was having that. That was mine. Sold out. Gone. Gone. Well, not surprised. So we've only got two columns. So today's show deals, those are the things that I've already talked about. Pre-order are the things that are yet to come. But everything that is coming up on the show is all on there. So click on pre-order. 505 are sold out. No, you are not swell. I love 505. It's brilliant, isn't it? Um, there, there is all the um, all the fabric. Look, there's the beautiful William Morris quilt we're going to be talking about in a minute. So if you want, remember, we will be dropping the price, but we're not going to let you know yet because we're still deciding. Well, we, when I say we, the management, management are deciding. It's a bank holiday because they did give us a drop price, but Kat and I said, look, it's bank holiday. So they let us do the early bird, so we're just negotiating. We're in constant negotiation, in talks. We're getting ACAS involved soon. Um, so the whole day is on there. So if you want to get ahead and you don't want to miss out, remember Yarn Lane is on the website on the Sewing Street. If you want to buy the Yarn Lane um, kits, you need to buy them on the Sewing Street website. We'll talk about that a bit later. Obviously, afterwards, it all goes on to Yarn Lane, but we put it there. Look, there's the rotating cutting mat. You have to say it like that. If you've ever watched Stella, you know what I mean. Has anyone ever watched Stella? There was this brilliant sketch where the um, when Nadine had a tanning salon, and then she used to and she made people go round because she didn't have a really good tanning salon, so she made you work, go round because it wasn't. And she'd say, "You're rotating." If you've ever watched Stella, you know what I'm talking about. I can't say rotating without doing Nadine's accent. Anyway, that's the best way to shop, sewingstreet.com. <laughs> but if you want to talk to a real life person instead, 0800 001 4433. Now that is a UK, it's not only UK, it's just upstairs. It's, I know where it is now, I've actually seen them. Real people, just upstairs, and they're really helpful. So if you're not sure about something, or you've missed what I've said, or, or maybe you've done something like you've if you've put something in your basket and you didn't mean to and you need it all changing around, or if you've got a question, they can pop down and come down and ask us. So if you find it easier and then you'll just read your card number out over the phone, you can do it that way. And I know some of you prefer to just because you're not absolutely sure or you, or you miss the code or some, whatever, or you just want some advice about anything. I'm sure they're very helpful. Right, should we go Wally, William Morris? Willy, 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 William. Now look at this, shall I stand aside? to see the beautiful, it's called Be A Star. Now, I've done all the measurements this morning, worked it out, sat there with my calculator and cat, we worked it out. Because what I would want to know most about this, because I've just got a new sofa bed, well, actually I've pinched it from my mum and dad's house, and it needs a quilt to go over it, and so that it looks lovely, because it's gonna be the guest bed. And I wanted to know if it fitted. Now, this is big enough to have a 12 inch drop at the bottom, and down the sides and go just under the pillows for a double and a king size bed. If you've got a super king, you will get a six inch drop either side and a 12 inch drop at the bottom. So if you've got a single bed, you'll get a fantastic drop, but this is big enough for a double and a king with a 12 inch drop. But if you want it for a super king, you'll get a six inch, but it will still fit. It's gorgeous. It's 215 by 215 centimetres square. It is all William Morris. It's not just the star, all of it. The edge bits, the binding, the whole thing is all William Morris. Not only that, it um, has, I look tiny, I look really, really small, don't I? I know, isn't it? And i tell you what, the reason why I want it I could, well, I could actually just, I could, if I roll myself up in it, it might fall off the, but um, I, what I love about it is the fact that it's really neutrals. It will go with anything. So you've got these beautiful shades of bluey greys and then in the centre and on the points, they're beautiful taupey browns and aubergines and darker blues. And then the edge is a beautiful William Morris, like an acanthus style print. There's three of you who have already checked out, congratulations. But if you've already checked out, you won't be paying that price, do not worry. Your, the basket closes at midnight and at that point you will be charged for the price that we drop it to. So if you've already checked out, no panic, you will pay the price that we're in, in negotiations for. 
it's gorgeous now we have only got 50 of these kits but we got 47 now it is stunning but let me tell you before you just make a decision it looks really complicated i thought it was epp and i love epp but i thought i'll never make that it's going to take me hours but it isn't it's it's um, machine sewn and it's in diamonds, but it isn't in diamonds. You are not cutting individual diamonds to sew this together. There's a special method and I'm gonna show you. It's all done by strip piecing and cutting those. So it's really, really simple. This, so that's what made me think I'm gonna buy this. Just, well, I mean, I can, you know, I could do it if it was EP. I could, I mean, I'm sure you all could if it was diamonds, but I wanted a quick make, but it's gorgeous. So I have got, I have been given one. There's 15 of you with it in your baskets. We are going to drop the price and you know we've only got 47 left. So this is the kit. So if you wanted to buy somebody a present who loves quilting, then what a nice present. It's beautiful. So it comes in a lovely box, 12 different fabrics. The sleeve comes off like this, all packaged. So I'm gonna ruin this one by opening, but I'm going to try really hard not to. Now, in this kit, there are 11 and a half metres. The only, thing it, the only thing it doesn't include is the backing and the wadding, which they never do anyway, but it does include the binding. Now, some of these fabrics, and I've got some I'll show you in a bit, we sell for 7 99 for half a metre. So, because it's designer quality, isn't it? Designer print, designer quality, designer made. So, at 7 99 plus 9 99 for the instructions, would be full for all of that would be 193 pounds and 76 pence so let, i think to be fair we should drop it to that price i mean they always charge more when it's put as a kit because you've got to pay for the packaging of the kit and the tissue paper and everything else but if we if we drop it to the price of the fabric plus 10 pounds of the instructions because they are brilliant instructions that's 193 pounds 76 it's looking better for me i i was definitely going to get it 20 of you have got it in baskets five of you have checked out and that's half the stock gone already so shall i take it out so it's all wrapped in beautiful tissue paper which is lovely for you to open but remember if you want to give it as a gift i think these things are important it comes in a nice box so you can keep all your bits and pieces in there while you're making it um, full instructions i will go through those in a minute to show you how simple this is and we open it up i'll try not to rip this one. Ooh. Yeah, we only have 50 of them so i've got to, so i will have to package this so let's open it up and i'll put the tissue paper very nice gently to one side all wrapped in ribbon like a present to yourself keep the ribbon always useful and then all of the fabrics are pre-cut so that you're not paying for anything that you don't need. Quite often when you buy a quilt kit, you've got fat quarters, you've got half metres. This, uh, this is cut for what you need. And there are 11 and a half metres. So should we have a look at all of them? Here's one. Look at that. It's called Spot the Pattern. Yeah, that is one of the diamonds gorgeous oh i let me open it up properly so you can see look that's that's just one of them look at the colors it's those beautiful soft um teals and aquas and taupes but iconic william morris print isn't it and it is real william morris print it's from the hawkdale collection in case you need to know so it's free spirit fabric so and free spirit fabric 10 have checked out only 40 left and 25 are in baskets. Ah, I mean, it is just lovely. Maybe I'll make it for my own bed. I'll probably make it for this new guest bed, but no, I maybe might keep it for myself. It's the Hawkdale collection. So Free Spirit, um, they make fabric for Tula Pink. They do the William Morris. They do the K fabric. They do find beautiful, beautiful fabric. So you know it's quality, 100% cotton quilting weight fabric, 44 inch width but beautiful quality it's a designer for that's why it's 7.99 for half a meter i love this one beautiful you can see that one that is in um all the diamonds i just want you to be able to see how beautiful all the beautiful 12 are now checked out 
12 have checked out, it's going, 13, it's going, it's going. You need to be fast because we won't be getting these back in. These have been made for us and it is a one-time purchase, Fortune Gone. And we, on, we only ever get 50 of them, but they are made specially for us. So you can't get them anywhere else. They're ours. Oh, now look at the, we need to have a close up on this one. Let me move this because I love this one. I love the softness and the subtlety of the colours. But if we can um, get in close on this, it has got the strawberry thief bird on it, but in monochrome. So it's that really lovely, um, Not it's not a navy blue. It's like a deep tealy marine blue and white, but it features, look, features the strawberry thief bird. Isn't that gorgeous? And he is in, oh, he's in the diamonds on some, the edges of the quilt. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, that's just absolutely beautiful. In fact, we have a lot of these by the half meter, but we don't have this one, just looking at them. Oh yeah, look, you can see him in the quilt. 16 checked out, 16. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it is a, you know, I want to keep your data. It's, it is a considered purchase. You know, I've had this kit over the weekend and looked at it. I needed time to think about it. And now I've seen the real quilt. Well, and now I've seen you all getting it as well. I'm going to miss out again, aren't I? Now, this is the sort of the darker, I don't, I see, I don't like the word, I don't like the word brown. You always think of browns a bit, but this is like a beautiful, like milk chocolate deep taupe, earthy. This is featured in the center star of the quilt, but also on the points of the stars. And I think it works really well. If I look, if you come and have a look at the quilt, can you see that you've got the, um, all of the, this center star really makes it stand out, but because it's put onto the points of the stars as well, 19 checked out, only 31 left, but isn't it lovely? But you look at the points of the stars and what that does, because all of the other colors are very soft, gentle neutrals, these sort of deeper browns and the aubergine on the points and the center really make it stand out. I mean, it is, it is if you don't want to put it on your bed, hang it on the wall. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So that's the, and, I mean, all these fabrics, they're all slightly different measurements because they've given you what you need. 20 checked out, because we don't, they, we don't want to, have to charge you any more than we need to. So when we've had these made for us, we've said, can you just put in what we need? Don't just put in half a meter of everything, just put in what we need. Um, then we've got this gorgeous, like it's almost like um, corn color. And um, again, that's in the very, very center star of the whole quilt. You can see it, look, this is the one that's right in the center of it. Beautiful and the way it's been designed, it's on the inner edges of the points of the stars so that the colours graduate. When you get to the points of the stars, they graduate from this corn colour all the way out to the darker colours. 20 have gone. But there are 30. So 20 have gone, 30 are in baskets. 21 have gone. So there are 13 baskets, so 22 have gone. If everybody checks out, we have sold out. So, well, with people missing out. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to get checked out. Is that not the final price? <gasps> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna miss out, aren't I, again? I should have bought one before I came on air. I oh, was I not allowed to? Oh no, they weren't then, were they? I'm not allowed to buy them until, I'm only allowed to have the leftovers. I love this one. I love this William Morris. Yeah, unfortunately we have to, oh, that's a bit, sounds a bit mean. We have to offer, we have to offer them to our customers first before I'm allowed to buy one. This makes me think of that really iconic um, William Morris wallpaper. The big acanthus, isn't it? Gorgeous. Actually, Rebecca Harrison's just got William Morris wallpaper. She must be fancy. Again, this is featured on the points of the stars so that you've got that dark, those darker tips. But you only need a little bit, so we've only given you a little bit. It's all cut across the full width, though. And don't forget to keep your selvages when you cut it out. Here's the gorgeous aubergine that's on the... 
the very points of the stars. I tell you what though, when, you, when you've got this and when you've finished it, keep the instructions because it'd look amazing in um, neutrals. You could do a rainbow one. You could do um, a cave one. You could just do a monochrome black and white one. Pastels are working. As long as you think about how the colors move, um, you could do it from the rainbow starting 25 checked out. You could do rainbow from the centre to the outwards. You could do the way that they've done it where it's pastel with different colours on the points. Or you could swap it around. So keep the instructions. But look at this lovely aubergine. But the um But look at the um the selvages are really nice, so keep all of those. They'd be nice. I'd sew them all together and make make that zip pouch thing we just had. The flying geese pouch with my selvages. And they've sold out as well. Gorgeous. This is the darker, the deeper brown that's right. Oh, no, I know where this one is. This is the binding. I was thinking, where's that? But isn't it lovely that the binding's in it? Because the binding's important. It's the picture frame for the whole quilt, isn't it? And yes, you could do it in a plane, but I love the way they've put the binding in the kit. It's this lovely deep print, but obviously they've used a small scale print so that it shows up in the binding. But it frames the kit, the quilt, beautifully. It's the colourway that matches, because this is from one fabric range, so tonally it all hangs together, even though the colours are different. But by using the darker print to bind it, then it frames it and it picks up, it echoes the centre of the quilt. So when you've got the darker brown binding at the top, it draws your eye to the centre where you've got the darker brown as well. Do you see what I mean? So you see when you, when you look at the dark, 29 have checked out, we've only got 21 left, but there are more 32 in baskets. Well, we've got more fabrics, Kurt. So that's that's the binding, I still haven't finished. And I think that's really special to have the binding. If I didn't have a binding kit, I'd have to go and buy something special. We've got this lovely, subtle, bluey um, floral print. This is, there's a lot of this one. We haven't actually, the last one is the background, which I'll show you in a minute. There's <coughs> a lot of this one. It's like little white flowers with stems, very, very pretty. Again, that's featured in the diamonds in the quilt. Then we've got a lovely subtle taupe print here, but beautiful when you look at it. This is called Pure Pimpernel. Yeah, Rebecca Harrison's got strawberry thief wallpaper. Thank you for letting us know, Rebecca, and we're, we, we think you're really posh. Oh, Emma Bradshaw said, good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Emma. Thank you for watching. Have you got the quilt? Have you got it yet? Because I really want it. That's beautiful, isn't it? Now this one is, oh, on the inner diamonds as well. In fact, it's used twice. There's quite a lot of this. I was trying to work out. Some of the fabrics are used twice within them. They are so iconic, aren't they? I mean, if you've, you know, because we see them so much, maybe we sort of think maybe we take them for granted, but they are beautiful. But you see that diamond that's, that's featured there. Um, it's featured twice in the diamonds in the quilt, which gives it that be really lovely, subtle. Um, and then finally is the background of the quilt. But what I like about it, let me show you the background. Wow, there's a lot there. Where's the instructions? It's not the backing, it's the background. But the background fabric, you get whoa 430 centimeters so nearly four and a half meters so i'm not going to open it all out that's why i thought i'd check first yeah so you get this is the background so what is lovely though so that is featured in all of these background areas but it also frames that inner dark star so where you've got the the corn color and the dark brown then this section here that goes around that is in the background so it pulls it all together the background isn't just standing alone it is framed and then you can see it there and isn't it gorgeous and the way it's quilted it looks like that the background is all different individual strips but they're not it's just squares morning rebecca lovely quilt could you show me what backing is on the quilt please belated happy easter to you and the crew from sarah um now you don't get the backing unfortunately but they've used they have used a beautiful, in fact, I'm just wondering, actually, let me just check, have they used this one? 
not quite. They have used one of the William Morris ones in this colour. So they've used a pale grey print William Morris for theirs. That doesn't come in your kit, but we if you do want to back it in William Morris, we do have them by the half metre. And if you want to back it, it tells you you need... Well, if you're going to buy extra wide backing, you need 235 centimetres. 33 of you have now checked out. So we've seen all the fabrics now, and you get the instructions, and you get the binding. Let's have the final price then, Kat. Da, da, da. After the final negotiations are finished, 184.99. That's amazing. Bank holiday special. 11 and a half meters of William Morris. Everything you need except for the backing. You can, and we've got lots of extra wide backings if you want to buy those as well. Um, or you can just use a sheet, to be honest. Use, use what you like. And you'll need wadding as well. You will need um, 235 by 235 centimetres wadding, and we have that as well if you want it. That's not in the quilt, but the binding is in the quilt. So you've got 11 and a half metres. Now, this is available on split pay. If you've not used split pay before, it is interest free. It's a way of you spreading the payments. So three equal payments, £61.66. You pay the first one today, and it is sent to you from our warehouse straight away. So you only pay the 3.95 PMP, and then next month you'll have another 6166 and the next one the same but you will get it sent straight away so by the time you've paid your second payment you'll have made the quilt but it is interest free you don't have to do that when you go through this checkout you get the choice whether to do it. you can pay it all up front or you can do it like that but what a beautiful quilt 34 of you got it there are only 16 of these left and there are 27 of you in it baskets. And just so you know, it's a bit like if you're walking around the supermarket, somebody can take things out of your basket. If you haven't, if you go up to the toilet and leave your basket outside, somebody can have it. So if somebody goes in, puts it in their basket and checks out, it doesn't matter that it's in your basket. So if you want it, you need to check out. But you can check out as many times as you want. So if you're thinking, well, I'll wait because I don't want to pay P&P twice, you won't. The baskets are closed at midnight. So the PMP is applied at that point and you'll only have one lot. So for the few of you who are left to decide, let me just show you about the instructions and the way that it works. Because it's really quite simple. The cutting instructions are lovely. I love the fact um, that in the instructions it has pictures. Because although it tells you what they're called, and you can identify that because that will be on the um, selvage, there's also a picture so that you know that A, gold, um, item code you've got 60 centimeters but there's a picture of it as well so you know that that one is that one so you've got all of that um, it tells you things like you know how quarter inch seam allowance tells you the cutting and I like the fact you do all the cutting first so you cut everything into width of fabric strips so you need your rotary cutter and your mat and you cut it all into different width strips depending on what you're doing then when you get to the instructions now this is the lovely I'll show you the pictures here is you join several not all of them but a lot of the strips so A B C D E F and then D and G because I'm told you that there were two fabrics you used twice one fabric you twice you join them all together offsetting them slightly and then you get your um, rotary your cutting ruler thingy your ruler a 24 inch one is the most useful and when you look at the ruler you can see that there is a 40 is it the 45 degree let me yes there's a four no, well I've never seen a cut ruler that doesn't have one there's a 45 degree angle printed on it so you can see that there and then if you look in the instructions here you just place that 45 degree angle on the bottom of your strip so, so let's put my strip here for example, you put the 45 degree angle on the strip, well, like that actually. <laughs> so say you've joined them all together, you place that on that and then you cut. So what you're doing in effect, if you look at the instructions, you're then cutting off strips of diamonds. So there's an, all it is is straight seams. It's your cutting that creates these diamonds. And there's a lovely table here that says strip set one has got 
HGD. So you, you're joining them together in different orders. So it's a lovely meditative thing to do. You start off, you cut it all out, you follow the cutting instructions. Then you, th well, I'm going to join them all together and then you cut them and then you've got all these strip sets. And then it shows you how to join them all together. And then when you've got to finish it, it's basically just squares in the corners. So it's not, as long as, you, I think, you do need the ruler with the 45 degree angle, but if you've got a ruler, um, then they will have them on them. And if you haven't, then we do have them. I would suggest you go for your 24 inch one, um, which is the one I've got here, because that makes it a lot easier. We do have those on the website, but quite simple really. And do you know what? They've quilted it really simply. So if you're not a big fan of quilting, this isn't a free motion quilt. And I mean, and the finished sample is beautiful. There's no free motion quilting in this. In fact, what they've done is echo quilted it. And echo quilting is where you quilt any distance you want but normally quarter of an inch outside of the seams so all you do is you get your machine foot and you line it up on the seam and then you just quilt either side of it so that's all they've done and then they followed that I can see they haven't ironed it oh wow they've used a heat erasable pen they need to get the iron on this um, and then they've just gone across there or you could use a piece of masking tape so where they've echo quilted and then joining up with the seam all the way there so this is really simple you can quilt this on an ordinary domestic sewing machine you don't need special long arm quilting you don't need um, a free motion quilting at all I mean I love quilts that are free motion but sometimes think well I can't do that so that I can't get and but if you want to get the effect of the finished quilt that I have here you can do this on an ordinary machine I mean it's beautiful isn't it beautiful and it tells you all about once you've finished quilting it all about binding it as well so if you've got any questions about how much backing you need or um wadding i'll show you in a minute the wadding that that will fit it but i, I and it's nice to get it all in there are only 12 left and we only had 50 and we won't be getting any more 12 left but 28 of you have got it in your basket so if you really want this I know it's considered. I've been thinking about it all weekend. Um, and we don't often get these William Morris quilts in. And at this size. And remember, we're talking double king. And it will fit a super king with a small drop. But it will drop over the edges. You will get a six inch drop either side on a super king bed. It is beautiful. Or hang it on the wall. Or the back of a sofa. If, you were, if you've got a sofa, you think, oh, that needs a throw on it. So I mean, how beautiful is that? And what an amazing gift. Get it now, start making it. That's a beautiful Christmas present, isn't it? Can you imagine? Um, Kat's been on the phone. There's 11 left. Can we take any more off it? Just, just for the, the just a little bit, just to, you know, because it'd be nice to sell out, wouldn't it? So we can take off your PMP. So 179.99, and that's it. We're not allowed to go any lower than that. So if you bought it earlier, if don't worry. I mean, it makes the split pay under 60 quid as well, doesn't it? So three equal payments of 59.99. All 39 have bought of you already will pay 179.99. Don't worry. Or three equal payments of 59.99. Don't worry, you won't be charged the price that you bought it at. 179.99 for a full king size or super king bed 10 left and we've asked if we can go we can't go any lower even though it's bank well they gave they've given us three discounts they we were allowed to do one discount so they've given us x we're not allowed to go any lower than that but they said you can take the pmp P off go on then 179.90 i mean it is just beautiful isn't it and i say i when you look at the instructions and you work out to do it, as long as you've got the ruler and if you don't have one pop one in your basket you need can we get the code for them for the ruler later yeah the six and a half by 24 ruler i would say and to be honest um it's, it's the ruler that I have. It's the first ruler I bought. It's the most useful ruler. All the other smaller ones are brilliant, but this is your kind of go-to ruler. But other than that, you need wadding, 235 by 235 centimetres. And if you get the, I would suggest you go for the extra wide backing because you need 235 centimetres. So two and a half metres of extra wide backing is what you need. It just makes it easy. You don't have to join it. But, you know, feel free, join it if you like. But the um, extra wide backing, we've only got nine left. I'll leave it with you. 
the ruler the ruler now and the reason that you need this ruler is because you're cutting fabric across the width you need the six and a half by 24 and a half have i got the eight and a half oh yes i have actually the one that i have at home is a six and a half oh i'd quite like an eight and a half um so the way it works is that you Keep your fabric, it will come to you folded in half like this with the selvages at the bottom. Lay that flat on your cutting mat and then cut, put your ruler across it like this and then you cut it into the strip set. So this is why you need the 24 inch because it is bigger than the half width of the fabric. And it just makes it, just makes it quicker and it's very accurate as well. So you've got to cut these strips. Nearly all of them are two and three quarter inches wide for the diamonds, but you can get accurate cutting with it. 28.99 and it's um, creative grid. So it's got these lovely um, rough raised bit dots on it, which stops it slipping. So if you don't have one of them, also it's got the nice 45 degree angle, which you need, but it makes it easy. So when you get yours home, have a look at it, ooh and ah, cut it out, walk away, have a cup of tea or wait till tomorrow then um, join the strips, then cut them, and before you know it, you'll have finished it. Perfectly achievable. We've only got six left. Mm. It, would take, it would take a few days, I reckon. If you, if you went for it, get up early Saturday morning, you could have this done in the weekend. Mm. Message from Christine on Facebook. Morning, gorgeous Rebecca Reed. watching on the train. Happy bank holiday weekend. Oh, lucky, that's nice. Where are you going to, Christine? You're going to Margate? Be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, Barbara McClay has messaged in to say what a beautiful quilt it is, isn't it, Barbara? It's beautiful. I really like the fact that you've got the centre here with this sort of dark brown and then beautiful colours and then you've got the points. It really stands out. And I would, once you've worked it out, I would then start using your scraps to make another one as well. Six. Should have been, six left, should have been 219, 219.99. But we got it right down to 179.99. I'd like to say that'll go back at midnight, but there won't be any left by midnight. We've only got six left and loads of you with it in baskets. So be the first one, get, get it in there, get checked out. Don't miss out, it'd be a shame. I'm feeling sad already because I know that I'm going to miss out because we, unfortunately, we're not allowed to buy before the show, which is really mean. Now we don't, we don't have any William Morris extra wide backings, but we do have some that will go with the quilt. Now these, let me move the fabrics out of the way. The, this collection are lovely. These are really, these are designed by Jerry Robinson. They are gorgeous. They're all extra wide. They're your, all your 108 inch width. So the, I'm gonna, which one would I choose? I would either of these, dark is good. Depends where you're gonna put it. But if you want, you know, <laughs> on the back, it depends where you're going to put the quilt and whether you, you know, are you going to be putting it somewhere? <laughs> um, I, would, I would go for the, I think I quite like the ivory. So the code on this one is XIYV73. This is a creamy colour. PBYV is the taupey one. It's called tea dyed. So this one is lovely. Now that's half of it. My arms are not long enough, but I will sh give you a little squiz. Christine's off to Edinburgh. To see a William Morris exhibition, if only you had a quilt wrap round you on the train. So this is your 180. To have a nice time in Edinburgh, the sun's shining like it is down here. Look how wide it is. So what this means is you don't have to join it. So you need two and a half metres of this to back your quilt, but it's only 12.99 a metre. Now it's more than twice the width of um it's more than twice the width of ordinary quilting fabric but it's less than twice the price but it's more than twice the width so this is the cream one so this is yeah so this is jerry robinson it's, de it's designed by jerry robinson for riley blake Beautiful quality. It's Riley Blake fabric. Um, Jerry Robinson is a really, really 
talented American quilt designer. She designs fabric and she designs quilt, but her fabric she designs for Riley Blake. So this is designer quality fabric at $12.99. Now you can use it for quilt backing, but you can also use it for dressmaking or for quilting as well. Buy some of this. If you've got the kit, buy some of this and make another quilt. This colour as well would go beautifully. I think this one is called Tea Dyed. Isn't this one tea dyed? Look at this one. So look, let me sh tea dyed. See, that's nice on the back. Would look nice on the back, wouldn't it? But you can put what you like on the back. But I tell you what, if you wanted to make the quilt and you've got the instructions, this is lovely. It's a really good way if you need fabric to make a quilt. If you've got a lot of background fabric, it's so economical because it's twelve ninety nine for more than twice the width, but it's less than half the price. Really weird. Um, also available in white. Beautiful. I mean, these have all got the same print on. They've all got this same tiny little floral print. But if but you've, even if you haven't bought the William Morris quilt, you've got all of these fabrics. And obviously, they're all the same print, but they're also the same tonal value. We've also got it in a white background with these lovely sort of gold-coloured small floral sprays, sprigs. Also got it in that. Um, we have it in a navy background. So if you were going to be using yours for a very posh picnic quilt, or you know, if you thought you were going to hang it over the back of a sofa and it might get dirty, the navy would work well too. That's two and a half, you need two and a half meters for this quilt. But, but when you think for a Riley Blake fabric, you would normally pay 749 for half a meter of the standard width. And this is more than double the width and you're paying 1299. I never understand that, but same quality. And it's still Riley Blake, same quality. You could use that. I mean, a lot of people use it for the front of the quilt. They use it. A lot of people use it for the background of a quilt. Uh, brilliant for dressmaking, particularly at the moment, summer dresses. Because if you look at your dress pattern, if you lay it out and think of 100, 108 inches width and you lay out your pattern, you don't need very much at all. And dressmaking fabric can be quite expensive. And this is lovely. I like this. Now, this is lovely. I'm thinking this one's got a black background. But I am thinking summer dress. What do you think? Yeah? Nice? Very nice. Look how long it is. Longer than me. That's way longer than me. In fact, half, half of it comes up to my chin. We have three quilt kits left. Only three. So if you're not sure they are going to go, we only have three left. I really want one. I'm not going to get one. Yes, could you buy me one, please? <laughs> I'm not allowed to do that. No. Apparently, I'm not allowed to do that. I really want one. They're gorgeous, though, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. So you need two and a half metres. Oh, can I just tell you the wadding? Right, I'm going to go for the... Well, I'm going to give you my favourite one first. <laughs> Which I'd like to say is not... The most expensive, but this is my favourite. This is three metres by three metres, and you need, I think it said, let me just double check, two and a half. You need um, 235 by 235. So this is way big enough. You'll have, you'll have wadding left over for cushions as well. This is your cotton wadding. It's 80-20, so it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It is beautiful because it quilts nicely. And with this quilt, if you're going to do it under your sewing machine, on your normal machine, you want something that quilts easily. When you, um, don't forget, if you've already checked out, your PMP's done, it's paid, you know, and you haven't got to pay it again. But when you finish your quilt, pop it in the machine on a cold water wash and it will shrink ever so slightly and give your quilt that lovely hand quilted effect. It's beautiful. So that's $37.99 and that is more than big enough. So that's my favourite. If you want a more economy wadding, if you only want polyester only, this one is big enough, 228 by 274. This is polyester, but this is our premium polyester because I do think that with a quilt this size, when you've paid this sort of money, you don't want a low quality one. But if you only want to use polyester, this is a beautiful quality polyester. And one more, 
One more. This is, the, see I told you I hadn't used the most expensive. If you want to go the most expensive for wool, obviously keeps you warm, keeps you cool. Fantastic with people with allergies and it does quilt beautifully, but it's got a lovely loft. It's got a, it's got a higher loft. Uh, would you recommend pre-wash the wool wadding? I've not used it before. I take it will fit the quilt. Yes, it will. It's 228 by 274. Um, and although they say 235, it will still fit because it's bigger than the quilt. No, you don't pre-wash. You don't pre-wash the wool wadding. You just use it. Let me see what it says. Um, oh, let me just check. I didn't think you did. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say to pre-wash it. No, it talks about washing it and drying it, but not... Um, no, items made using it can be washed. It doesn't say that... Mm, no, it doesn't say to pre-wash it on it. Um, it is, it's got a slightly higher loft than the cotton or the polyester, but it's, it's, it's beautifully needled so that it, it does quilt nicely. But if you want a slightly squishier quilt, it's fantastic for that. It is 100% washable though. So when you've made it, you can put your quilt in the machine. Don't worry, I'm gonna go and get dry cleaned or anything. So if you want a little bit more luxury, 56.99, um, it is, I mean, it is five centimeters shorter than they say in here, but it is bigger than the finished quilt. So it, it will be big enough. I don't think you need to pre-wash it. Anyway, there we go. If you've got any other questions, please do ask. And can... Oh, somebody's put a message on the fan page about the 680 plus. So don't forget the offer ends for the five year free, five year warranty ends at midnight. So if you've been thinking about this and you want to get it, if you want to upgrade or buy a new machine, today is the day to get it because that five year warranty is worth a, a quite a lot of money. Um, Congratulations to all of you who've got the quill. Lucky you, wish I'd got it. Um, please do put some pictures on the fan page when you've made it, because I am dying to see it. Um, I will be back with you in a couple of minutes time with Dawn and the new gnomes. See you in a minute. <laughs> Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. And welcome back to Sewing Street. If you've just joined me on this gorgeous bank holiday, um, we've just done the William Morris quilt. And it's, and there's none left, we've sold out. One, one, one. There is one William Morris quilt left. So if you were with me in the last hour and you want it, you need to check out. But this hour is all about the name. Look at my lovely gnomes. Now you might have seen before the Christmas gnomes, but it's not Christmas anymore. We've got new prints. So we have got the bee gnome. And this is the this is the boy bee, the boy bee gnome. But we have kits for the girl bee gnome and the boy gnome. Look, isn't he gorgeous? Let me just take his label off. I love the fact that his body is like um, a beehive, hexes. And then his hat has got all the bees on it. And he's got stripy legs. We've got this print in the Mister in the Boy and the Girl gnomes. Now I'll show you the panels in a minute, but all the panels feature an uh, adult gnome and a child gnome, or daddy and son and mummy and daughter, but big ones and little ones. But these are the prints. He's got little stripy legs and grey boots. He's gorgeous, isn't he? And look, he's got bee pockets to keep his bees in. Keeps his honey in those. Isn't he lovely? He's gorgeous. Uh, little hands and then his nose and then this is Mr. Gnome. So um, almost half of the stock for Mr. Gnome in the Bee has sold out. So it's 19 99 for Mr. Gnome. Shall I show you the panel? So I'll, he can sit on the 680. He's after the five year warranty. So Mr. Bee. Oh, let me show you. This is the baby one. This comes baby one that comes on the panel look I love them because we don't like to leave any empty space so in the kit you get full instructions and you get the panel let me show you the panel so you can see how gorgeous it is I'm going to hold it out look so on the panel can you see you get um, all the pieces that you need for the adult and the child it's gorgeous look at the stripy legs now this is easy this is called cut out cut cut and sew so you don't need any templates you don't need any pattern pieces you need instructions but you get those you just cut round the edge of all of them and sew them together but isn't it lovely and look on the bottom of the feet can you see I'll show you on the on him look he's got bees on his soles Look, the soles of his feet are bees. Bzz. 
Be soulful. <laughs> That's really funny. But you can see them on the panel. I hadn't realised that before. There they are on the panel. Oh, yeah, sorry. We haven't got an overhead on that one. Oops. Look. There is, there he is. Now, the uh, the baby one is made in a different way, so he doesn't have soles on his feet, so he can't have bees because his legs are too small. But look, isn't it gorgeous? And then on the panel, you've got extra bees. You've got tags. So if you want to make a tag for them, so if, as a, so if you're making them as a present, there you've got tags. They'd be nice. Um, they'd be lovely to put in the conservatory. Or you could pop them in the, on your garden table when you're having a picnic. So you can use them. You can use them as a doorstop because he's weighted. You can use the little one as an ornament. Half of the stock have now gone. So on the panel for this one, you get the little boy and the daddy. And you get the instructions as well. The instructions are really clear, really easy to understand, make sense. They are all pictures of exactly how to make it. Oh, yeah. how can I not remember that? I was because I was over on the other desk a minute ago and there was an overhead. So full instructions, everything you need to know. Now, obviously, these instructions were written for the um, when we did them at um, the tartan ones, but they're exactly the same. It's just the print's different. So there's nothing different at all. So you get all the instructions, everything you know. Now, if you want to do Mrs. Noom in bees, so you want the whole family, this is the panel for Mrs. Noom. She has bees on her feet as well but she has yellow she has yellow boots mrs b because she's got yellow soles and her shoes are um in this yellow honeycomb print because she's a girl and she likes her yellow shoes so she has got the same her body that's really sweet isn't it so the um the mr no has the bees on his hat and Mrs Gnome has her for her body but she has the body of Mr Gnome for her hat so they are an absolutely perfect coordinating pair so those are the bees but we have another second brand new panel that's the toadstools now we've got um Dawna's made misses for us so if you want to see what the bee will look like this is what the Mrs Gnome looks like she has an apron she has plaits got little legs so the difference between her and the mr gnome is that she um well she has an apron she doesn't have the pockets and the slightly different prints but fully coordinating with mr gnome but this is what the mrs gnome looks like she has the apron so this is the panel i'm going to start with the mrs one because we've got her so look at the panel this is gorgeous i absolutely love this i think the apron's my favorite bit yeah, we're going to talk about Dawn's apron hack in a minute. So on the panel, remember you've got the baby gnome on here as well. So this is the um, Mrs. Gnome's hat. She's got, she's sorry, she's got a toadstool hat. And she has, look at her legs. She's got like strawberry coloured legs with toadstools. A brand, brand, brand new print. And then the baby gnome, there's her apron. And then the baby gnome goes with her beautifully, just has slightly different legs. But she has, what does she have on her feet? Look, she's got toadstools. Toadstools on her feet. Toadstool soles. Gorgeous. The soul of a toad, yes. So there she is. That's her feet. So that's that panel, 1999. You get um, Mrs. Gnome and her daughter all on the panel with full instructions. I'll show you in a minute the other things you need because you do need some yarn for her hair and some filler. This is completely exclusive to Sewing Street. You cannot get this anywhere else. And um, finally is Mr. Toad, stool gnome. <laughs> Mr. Toad. This is Mr. Toad. Now, Mr. Toad is obviously done the other way round. So his hat is in the red print and his body is in the blue. So again, Mr. and Mrs. Toadstool Gnome are perfectly coordinating. They swap their hats around, although they both do have toadstools on their soles. And this has the boy name on it as well. So 19.99 for the boy and the son. So... 
in every kit you get the panel and the instructions to make a big gnome and a small gnome you just need to choose between the girl one and the boy one and whether you want the bee one or the toadstool or whether you want all of them lovely wouldn't they be lovely to put in the garden you could put them out on a nice day as a little garden gnome children would love them wouldn't they so that's all the names. Anyway, good morning and welcome, Dawn. Good Lovely morning. to work with you. I know. Really nice. I didn't get lost either. Fantastic. It was, was your first time in the new first studio. Time in the new studio, yes. Fab. So, um, how did you find the kits? I absolutely love them. Did I've you? loved them since they first came on mm. with the, the Christmas patterns and the Fair Isle jumpers. But oh, the they bumblebees were lovely. are just. I adorable. love them. I do them. like the toadstools, but I think bumblebees are just. And Mr. B no, well. there's only 14 left. So if you want a Mr. B, you're going to have to move move quickly. I would put them in the garden on a nice day, wouldn't they look gorgeous? Or just put them on the front doorstep on a bench just or something. Sit. Well, he's got some aggregate, so he's got actual stones in the bottom of his. Oh yeah, he's a lot quite heavier. heavy. He's a lot heavier, but they match beautifully. Just the way you said the way they coordinate. The, the yellow and the grey mm. and the mum and the dad and the two children is just adorable. Yeah, I would want to buy both kits. Yes. So I had all I of them. I can't wait to finish making her, to, to put her next to him. To see yes, they, they will look, like. look lovely. And as you said, for the base, you've put a, like a canvas. You could swap and put a canvas base or I'm use own I'm just thinking because our, our dog sometimes drags the door stops mm. or the door will move it or the wind. So I was thinking about the wearing on the bottom. But then you can use the bottom fabric for something else. Yes, that's true. Or you could put um, like an oil cloth. Yes, mm. any, anything that's just a bit more... Yeah. Resilient. All you need to do if you want to do that is that on the panel, obviously, the piece is there, so just cut it out and cut around it. But like um, a canvas or a denim or an oil cloth, only nine left of this one. Only nine, Mr. B. Mr. B, eight left. Mr. B. Mr. So B. where do we start with making them? Well, um, they've, they've been made a few times on the show, so I wanted to show something different. Okay. So what I'm going to do, now I need to learn where my cameras are. I wanted to do the apron. The okay. Apron, and we did. I did say about maybe making this for Father's Day. That's what I made the the little with my. Oh um, yes, you've got his tag. With my haven't 580. You? I've got an alphabet. Oh, and you get okay. It with the, and you put the, Happy Father's Day on it. So I thought that maybe it could be a Father's Day gift. But if you made a pattern from the apron from the the mum, mm. then maybe you could make Dad a barbecue apron. That would be lovely. But the little boy or the little girl could be Daddy's little helper. Oh. And then in the pockets, I'm thinking of little, you know, sort of tools and stuff. That would I be just, lovely. I just, yeah. Yes. Oh, I went off. Your on. imagination was <laughs> running wild. It was. It was. Now let me just. Let me move over there. Okay, so you're working on the 580 plus I machine. am, and this is my machine, and I absolutely love this Why machine. Why do you love that, then? Um, I had my last machine. My husband bought it for me as a surprise, so I didn't choose it. It was a Janome, which are, they are connected to, to mm. Rana as well. And I always wanted one with, a, with a, uh, an alphabet. I wanted where you can, it would cut itself, where mm. it had, did more. And it, this has not let me down. And the throat space, having so much more room, doing quilts doing free motion That's so good many price, things 159 i just pounds. absolutely adore this i absolutely adore it it's so mm. weighty i, I it looks it down like to the, the 680 though doesn't it, it they do look very i had to look when when john was saying about the and it's this evening doesn't mm. it the yes this five this year is the six, yeah and i had to look closely and think oh no it's not it's the but the 680 has got, I think it's got more stitches and it's faster and they are, right. they go up in sort of Yeah, they do go up they? in spec as they go up in number. But when we come to the studio, it really doesn't matter. You'll say, right, do you want to use this one? And then mm. you just, and it, they're exactly just the same one. anyway. Yes. yes, definitely. Fab. Um, but no, I do, I love it. I absolutely love Mr. it. Mr. Gnome in Bumblebee has sold out. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay. Just realize my iron isn't on. I'm just going to. Uh, but we can't get any more because um, it's bank holiday, no one's in. <laughs> so. <laughs> We will try for the he future. Is, he is so Mr. Gnome Bumblebee has sold out, but Mrs. Gnome in Bumblebee is still available, and Mr. and Mrs. in the toadstool are as well. So you're going to do the apron. I am going to do the apron. I wanted to show you two different ways of making corners because we have shown how you put the feet insertion and mm. all the other things. I thought, well, have, if we start with this and then we'll see how far we okay. get. Also, I've got a little tip on how to make the hat look as if um, you don't, have, don't see any of the stitching as well. If we right, that okay. Because that's attached, if you can see. Yes, and then, he's like sort of but sewn But I've sewn on. it through oh, the top okay. stitching on the top so you can't actually see. Now this is the pocket. The pocket is beautiful. So on the toadstool one as well, you get a little pocket. 
and you get to see, there we go, you get to see the B on the outside and then you can actually put things inside if you wanted to. Now I'm going to pop these right sides together. I'm not going to pin them because they are, they are quite small. What you want to do is leave a turning gap in the top, mm. um, about an inch maybe, and backstitch either end. So I'm going to start here and then I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to use just under a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Another tip is when you are when you're sewing everything, I drew all my seam allowances on because sometimes when you're doing the curves, you think that you're following a straight curve, but not a straight curve. The, a yeah. smooth curve. Yes. No, I can't have a straight curve. <laughs> but you just follow a smooth curve and then you don't and you take it off and then you realise that you went off a little bit. So I drew all of my seam allowances on. And same when I did the little one as well, it makes it so much easier. And I hand sewed the little one. Oh, okay. A couple of hours sitting in the shop oh, right. and I hand sewed him and it was so calming. Oh, nice. So if you want to do you hand, hand sewing, then you... I've heard people mention it and I thought, well, I'm going to see if I can. And I and just it use works. tiny stitches. And if you draw the seam allowance on, it keeps your running stitch yes. straight. Yes, so you don't... Yeah, that's a really Top good tip. idea. I need to just turn my iron off. Don't quite need it yet. There we go. So let me first... Now, I've got some variegated Guterman thread in here, which is really good for this project because you don't... Um, let me just move that over. You don't... Um, have to change your thread then back and forth with the two different colours. So I'm just going to back stitch there. And also I've taken my stitch length down for these smaller pieces okay. because then you can get right into the corner. So what stitch length have you gone to? I am to? on a 2.0. Okay. Because then you can literally just do one, one stitch, yeah. one stitch no, that and makes get sense. really, Much really easier. close. And just going really slowly has helped as well. Because I saw the pockets and I thought, gosh, they're small. <laughs> but then, when I when I actually sewed them and did it slowly, as I said, it's they do come out beautiful. And they are necessary, I think, those pockets Well, are it's beautiful. nice. I know they're small, but they're sort of like little miniature pockets, But if pockets, you gifted it, you could put sweets in yeah, there. Yeah, you could. And I was going to add some sweets to the pictures, but the only sweets I had were cough sweets. I didn't <laughs> think they, they didn't. They didn't look quite... Um, they were black, but they... Um, I'd put a, you could put a jelly baby in each one, couldn't oh. you? Yes. Look really sweet. Did you see? I, I've been hiding chocolate in my machine. That's another thing that your owner is good for because you've mm. got this front panel here <laughs> and I hid all my chocolate um, eggs in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, to have a little secret stash that nobody could see. Yeah, and they're never going to look in your foot section. No, on exactly. Your machine. Exactly. So, what I'm doing now, I don't know how close we can get. So, I've used a yellow um, thread so you can see. So, mm. I'm cutting to the corner at an angle so that you'd want to take away as much of that fabric as possible. And that's why I've done the smaller stitch because it will make sure that you are you don't have all of that fabric when you're trying to turn it right sides out. And then I have a Rebecca Reed top tip. Oh my lord. Where your gap is here, if you sew across here without back stitching, when you turn it right sides out and take away those stitches it gives you a perfect line. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Less so than 20 of Mrs. Bumblebee gnome are left. Less than 20. Mr. Bumblebee is sold out. Less than 20 of Mrs. Bumblebee are left. So please do check out if you want Mrs. That's interesting. So people aren't buying them as families. They're buying them individually. Oh, well, there will be a lot of people who've bought them, bought together, them together. And then some people are buying them individually as yes. well. So now, I always do that, particularly if I'm sewing, I've got a curved turning gap, because otherwise it's really hard to yes. work out where it is. Yes. And as you fold it, and I've, and I've, and I've taught this, and I always, I, always, I always say your name, I do always <laughs> give you credit, I don't say it's my... I don't mind I don't if you do, it's, it's only a small tip. <laughs> <laughs> but it did, it, well, I mean, when you do something for years and years and years, and then somebody does something slightly different, mm. and you go, why didn't I think Oh, I know, I got that? the best ever half square triangle one from... Um, Sally Ann, never, and I've been making our square triangles for years. And Whereas you press it open and then you cut it. And then you cut it. And I never, and I thought, oh, that is fantastic. Do it that all the like time. It is like a revelation. It, it is. Really and I think, is. why have I not done that yes. before? Because you've done so many things, but yet you just haven't seen it. And I find, because I, I teach a lot of beginners, and I find that their approach to things is different because they don't, 
they don't see it the same way I do. Yeah. They're not set in stone after however many years and they do something slightly differently. And you think, oh. Now I've just turned it around and I'm going to use my pin. Now this will be a little bit easier to do on the apron. But persevere with this because I think it looks so nice. And because of the way that we stitch it, it is actually open. So the one on the toadstool, you can put stuff in there as well. Okay, you can definitely get a jelly baby in the toe, in Mrs. Do you like jelly babies? <laughs> Do like, but I don't like the orange and yellow ones though. Oh, okay. Really? I like the darker sort yeah, of. Yeah, and I don't fruitier. mind the green one, but I don't like the orange and yellow. So there we I'm go. just thinking a jelly baby would look quite sweet as well. Yes, his little head would. It would. Out. Oh, I'm just, I'm just all about the chocolate. I'm, I've been making some carrot bags, um, and I've been filling them with chocolate, sort of, for the advertising and um, I keep trying not to bite them, eat them. Because <laughs> it's like, no, I, need to, I need to put all of these chocolates in there and then I'm ended up eating them all. So now I'm going to top stitch across here because that well, needs to have a top stitch and then we're going to attach it to the apron going all the way around. Fantastic. So back to my machine. Now I'm going to keep it to a smaller stitch because if I did use a top stitch on here, it would, it would be quite, because it's so small. Yes. I just thought it looked nice. Well, it's a nice little finish, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to put the pocket on, but um, it's only a little a little thing. But if you're gifting it, you could put a little note in there. Yeah. You can yeah. make it really, really quite cute. There we go. This variegated thread is... I've not used it before. I've, I always use Gutemann, but this variegated thread is absolutely lovely. Well, it gives it a little... Just a pretty finish, doesn't it? It does, and because there's lots of different colours on here, I just wasn't sure... Which okay. ones, yes. That's Which colour to use. So we're going to place it in the middle and then we're going to sew all the way around and then I'm going to show you a few little tricks, hopefully, on how to get some almost perfect crisp corners. And then... The, um, with the 580 and I'm guess with the five with the 680 as well, as you go up, they do get... Um, um, you do have the same thing where the stitching is so much easier. I've had to do lots of tricky things. So there's a couple of layers on there mm. and then you've got a slippy fabric underneath and it doesn't falter, doesn't skip a stitch. It's just amazing. Well, it's the build quality of them, isn't it? Oh, it just it blows my mind. And it makes quite a difference when you get a really good build quality well, machine. I think unless you've gone from a 10-year-old machine mm. or a machine that you didn't... Um, I mean, I, you know, when you buy a more reasonably priced machine, you don't always get all of the stitches. Yeah. You don't get it, but it just feels so different. It's such a sturdy machine. Yeah, it's machine. not just about the stitches. It is about the motor and the build and it what is. it can handle and the layers it can Definitely. go through. Definitely, it's the layers making mm. bag making and things. Yeah. And sewing with the cork, it I didn't falter at all. Didn't the falter at all. Amazing. I used to use mine at home and then come into the studio and think, right, I'm just going to sew those bits <laughs> with the 680 or whatever was yes. available because I knew that it was going to be it was going to be um, a better stitch. So there's one of my um, straps. Oh, that's the apron tie. Yeah. And you angle them slightly so that when they go round the back, they straight. They straighten up. I don't know the um, the physics to that. But it works. Uh, the physics was that when I just put them in straight, it looked silly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and so it, they, they started going, just didn't look right. So, so I just kept changing it, changing it moving until. it until I got the, <laughs> the angle right. And then, uh, then that was the right one. Perfect. So we've got our, this is folded as bias binding. These are on your um, pattern as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just iron one end down and then I shall fold it just as we do bias binding. I've got a little bit of wadding in my um, in my sewing machine mat, so that's why I'm just pressing on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from the top, going down, and then going back across this bit here. So okay. Move it that way. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, we were talking about twin needles earlier. Yes. Now, what I do, we're not going to be just, can you, no, because my, does this come off? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it does. So I've got my, um, I've got a second thread up here that you can use for your twin needles. And instead of having to take my thread all the way out when I want to change colour, all I do is just remove my old thread and then re-thread at the top. 
Um, we'll have a closer look at that later on with the cork So if bag. you want a twin needle, that's in, on the screen at the moment, is the, um, the twin universal three millimetre needle, £3.49. A uh, message from Heidi. Good morning, happy bank holiday. I couldn't resist buying the B family. Can't <laughs> wait for them to arrive from Heidi in North Yorkshire. I know they're gorgeous, aren't they, Heidi? They're gorgeous. Um, good morning, Rebecca and Dawn. Ordered Mr. Gnome today. I love watching your demos. Can't wait to get it home from Catherine and Cheshire. Oh, thanks, Aww. Catherine. We love your feedback. And they are gorgeous, aren't they? You will love the prints when you see them. They are beautiful. The, I, I love the greys. And, and the it's lovely because we, um, we have well. all these Christmas decorations, but we should have summer decorations as well. Yes. I've, I've turned my, my, um, my gnome cut that I've got, I've turned it into bees as well. It's just a beautiful way to... Um, a beautiful way to keep the gnomes around because they are they just make everyone smile i know they're gorgeous they are aren't so they? lovely and they are not they don't have to be as we've proved just for christmas no gnomes are not just for christmas no nope. they are forever there we go and then I'm just gonna nip that off and i will pop this one so i've only done one line of stitching so i'm making sure that my my stitching is at the bottom on both of these and it does tell you where to pop them in the pattern. Oh, there's a stray thread on there. And then I'm going to pop that angled, put a pin in it, and then we will put the top on. Now I didn't tuck mine in, first of all, because it does make it quite bulky. I just tucked it in when I needed to go all the way around. So we're going to pop this bit on the top. And so what's the apron to, lining? This is the apron lining. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a different fabric because you're not going mm. to see this at yeah, the back. Yeah, that's true, and you it's a print. You could use a different one, and yeah. then you can... There are so many little bits because the, also the pouch that you use to put the filling in, mm. you don't have to use that. You can use a, a scrap, and then you've got all of these other things, and you can make coasters and have it all matching. Yes, you matching can have it matching, and, yeah. Oh, a little, so yes, having the lovely. little extra bits is quite nice, isn't it? It really is, and it's such a lovely fabric as well. It's really, really lovely to work, work with. So I'm going to pop my pin in there and then a pin in the bottom. I'm going to, trying to get used to these cameras. <laughs> 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 I thought I had it. I thought I yeah, had you it. Just you just got used to the, the other yeah. studio and then... <laughs> right. Now I'm going to leave my turning gap in the bottom here and I'm going to use the same trick. So I'm going to back stitch at either end and then I'm just going to sew a normal stitch across here. But it's the cutting and the folding that we're going to do in the corners that will show you how we're going to make really crisp corners. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start here and then go around. So I'm not going to push these in yet because they just get a little bit bulky. Yes, I guess you get a flatter finish. I just kept moving it, having to move them out of the way. <laughs> so I'm going to put my stitch back again to a 2.0. I'm going to back stitch and go to... So there were 12, only 12 left of Mrs. Bumblebee Gnome, but we still do have the toadstool ones. So if you want the Mr. Gnome or the Mrs., then we do have 12 of the Mrs. left, the Mrs. have sold out. But the toadstool ones are still both available. Because all gnomes love toadstools. Yes. Say that fast. <laughs> <laughs> toadstool gnomes. Toadstool, they do. Yes, some of them, I was discussing this when I did, um, when I was doing gnomes before. When I was younger, we had gnomes always lived in toadstools. And you okay. used to get these china ones. Some of the viewers may may remember some of them will be too young but you used to have china gnomes that your gnome china toadstools that your gnomes used to live in and i can't <laughs> remember who made them i don't remember so those like, do you remember them oh no maybe it was just me <laughs> sometimes i say that i work with a lot of people that are younger than me and then i'll go oh do you remember yeah and no well, i go, don't remember those no. i should do no. remember smurfs in the national petrol yeah, garages the smurfs lived in gnome houses as well we used to, there used to be a national petrol station at the bottom of the hill. I always make my dad go to it because once you got so many tokens, you got a free Smurf. <gasps> he 
Who was your favourite Smurf? Oh, my favourite one. I got the astronaut Smurf and he had oh, a whole wow. like globe fishbowl clear on his head. Oh, oh. amazing. Have you still got and it? And I don't know. I wish I did because I had loads of them. I had Father Christmas Smurf. I loved him. But the excitement of having enough tokens. To and I had the girl one. Smurf. But it was the National Petra. They're not around anymore. Oh, I remember National them. Petrol Station? Yeah, they were the ones that did the Smurf. I don't remember National Petrol no, Station. No, I, I wouldn't remember it if it wasn't for the Smurfs. Oh, right, OK. No, I do like it when they do they do free things. I don't think petrol stations do some that anymore. Some of them do. do we they? had some... Um, the famous bricks. We had... Mm. Um, they, we collected for, for those. They were all cars that you could make. Oh, okay. We collected for those. I never seen them. I always think five or six years ago. They were now, like special offers on ago. windscreen wipers okay. or things, but never free gifts. So there is my line of stitching, and I'm just going to remove that. Wasn't it the Esso garage that gave you tiger tails so you could have a tiger in your tank? Was that Esso? Was that Texas? We're going to get all our all our adverts mixed up now. Yeah, who was tight? I've got a tiger in your tank. Tiger in your tank. I think it might have been Esso. And you got a tail that you could well, attach. Or was it Texaco? It's free advertising. Was it Texaco? Because Texaco and Tiger. I think so. And then. Oh, well, it might have been Esso. And you had a tight tail. Was the free thing to put on your petrol cap? Have we got an iron a pressing mat? It's under. Iron yes, it's here. Thank you. Just um, so I can. There you go. Thank you. So I'm going to do two different corners here. Okay. Let me move. There we go. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to fold my seam down there and I'm going to press. I've got one of these irons now. I absolutely love it. So have I. I said it so much oh. before Christmas that my mum bought me one for Christmas. Oh. And I love it. Yes. I've got a scissor holder. Oh, okay. Now, I love that. It's the things you just think, oh, I don't need one, I don't need one, I don't need one, and you don't buy one for yourself. I know. Well, the, the scissor holder, actually, they're back in stock. We've got them in the next hour. I thought, I'll never fill that up. There's so many scissors, I can't even got any spare gaps anymore. It's How good, because I'm, all, many I'm always losing my scissors. But I know it's nice, because I always make such a mess when I'm sewing. At the end of the day, when I tidy up, I put them all back, in, them the, all back. in the scissor rack, and there's loads of holes. I love my scissor rack. It has all other things in it as well, like chopsticks. So can you see my corners there? So that's quite a crisp corner on yeah. that side and that side. And then I'm just going to take the little bit of the excess from this side across um, there. Morning Sewing Street. I made the tartan gnomes last year and really fun to make. And they're lovely when they finish from Mandarin in Staffordshire. Oh, thank you for that message, Mandy. Send us a picture. I'd like um, to see your tartan This side gnomes. I'm going to do something slightly different. So I'm going to cut close here. So I thought I'd show you two different techniques. There we go. And then the same on this side. And then I'm just going to take off my tails. So this is the one I'm going to do first. So I'm going to hold the top and bottom. Some of you may have seen me do this before. And I'm putting my finger underneath, my thumb on top, and then I'm pushing that through and then I'm going to get a clip because sometimes they sneak back on you <laughs> <laughs> yes. when you're not when you're not looking yes and then I've got the other one folded over there and I'm going to push that back through the hole so put my finger inside hold that it's getting a little bit fiddly now you will find this easier if you're doing bags and things like that you will find it a bit easier well it's um, good for corners on lots of good, things isn't it exactly and I just thought I'd just try a, lift, a new technique and then these ones we're going to see which are which which are the winners so these are just folded as you cut as you would and i'm just going to turn that right side out there we go now the ones with the clips on are the ones that we didn't cut okay now there's my pokey tool and so that is the one that we did that we cut push this one out now I'm just going to take a pin and pull the corner out there you go the, the, the pockets and the apron definitely make it I think they well it's the it little really accessories isn't it yes. that make it fun and oh I had a little I, I had an idea didn't I about how, what else to use it for 
for um, storage. Oh yes, yes. You so could use... that is the one. Can you see? We didn't we didn't cut any of that, and it's folded perfectly. Because what happens is it's folded perfectly underneath mm. there, and then we do the same on this side. This is slightly bulkier. But even so, without taking that off, you still got a perfect Yeah, point. that's lovely. And it's those little details, isn't it? It's quite nice, especially when you're making little things like this. Yes. I mean, I, anything in miniature, the, that boy is so adorable. Absolutely adorable. I know, he's gorgeous, isn't he? There we go. And then I'm just going to press that down. And then you can sew all the way around and then what we do is we just attach it at the top but my idea was let me turn it that way around if when you're attaching this to your gnome front there we go when you're attaching this here if you sew down here oh, let me move it forward if you sew down here and then maybe put some channels in here maybe put some channels in there. I was thinking that you could use this for mm, some for your sort sewing of for small yes. items, having it sat in your sewing room. How beautiful mm. would that be that she's holding all of your, storing all of your items for so you? So sweet, isn't it? would it? be absolutely adorable. So I think maybe we need to bring, the next one needs to be <laughs> the, yeah. sort of stitching. That'd be um, lovely, wouldn't it? Cotton reels and things like that for the next ones. Now this is how we lay it. And I'm gonna sew it the way that the pattern is. So this is the front because the back one has little notches on for the legs. Now, if you haven't done any dressmaking before, this is a really good way to start practicing how to oh, match okay. up notches and things like that. Little things that, you know, you probably maybe haven't done before, but you can do on this pattern. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna attach it at the front and then what happens is this just moves around, but we need to sew this bit first. Let me just stitch across the bottom. Have they sold out yet? Ten of oh. Miss, Mrs. Bumblebee. We have ten of Mrs. Bumblebee left. I knew they'd be popular. They're I know they're so, lovely. So well, I like lovely. the way that she's the other way around to Mister. So yes. her her body has got the bumblebees, and she's got the the honeycomb hat, and then Mr. Bumblebee is the other way around. I had to really look at the pictures to make sure. Once I'd cut it out, <gasps> I was thinking, how, who have I? Make sure I put it all back the mm. right way. Let's just take this one off. So hopefully, you, if you haven't done um, corners like that before, hopefully I've shown then you a little. Then that's really lovely, isn't it? It gives it a really, really neat finish. And then I'm just going to sew. Oh, and sew also, it's a, it's a nice sort of small, safe pace to practice a technique for when exactly. you're doing something bigger, even whether it's a corner of a cushion or a small makeup bag. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're doing these little projects with little pieces of fabric mm. and then you're perfecting the rest of your skills. But as I said, if you didn't use the backing for this, you could then make one for dad because, you know, dad can have the, an apron on too. My husband is the chef in our house, so he would need the he apron, He would need the apron, not absolutely. <laughs> now, I'm more of a reheat and, <laughs> and go kind of thing, but he, he, he sort of does you know, really nice recipes. Now we've got our arms and let me just you can see here there's a oh actually you can't because i've got my bits on there so you just position the arms mm. and they come inwards there we go and pop the other arm on little bee arms they are so beautiful aren't they yeah she's so pretty i, I like, could just see them like all him. sat together and all being put absolutely complementary well to it's each nice other. if you've bought mr bumblebee it'd be nice to buy mrs because then they all go together don't and they and they're four names. tights match as well are yes they, are, they, are they tights or are they i don't know they, did, oh, what I don't do know. gnomes wear on their bottom half are they tights? oh i don't know i don't know do gnomes wear tights i don't know i think they probably do to keep their legs warm to they're probably thermal warm. thermals so what you do now actually you don't need to pop your feet on yet because we are only sewing down this side and that side but make sure on this side do not sew in your <laughs> yes. apron because they're tied on they are and they tie on the back because it's lovely that i mean you wouldn't have to attach it if you wanted if you wanted it to be an interactive 
you know, something for an older child mm -hmm. to play with, then you could make it perfectly interactive and they could be taking the apron op on and off if they wanted to. There we go. And then we're going to sew all the way around. Down two sides, just looking at the time, I did want to show you that um, the way to put the hat on. Okay. Um, but I might have to borrow one back from you. Um, you can. You can have the to toadstool if you like. Is that okay? Yes. So we would sew from the top or the bottom, back stitching here, and then when you put your bottom on, you've got your round part here. Can't pick it up. And this is another um, great technique to learn because you are matching up notches again. You would pin this to this side and then put the pin a little bit lower on that side. I will finish this and post some pictures because she is absolutely lovely. I think I prefer to miss her because I like the fact that she's got all the bumblebees on her body. Yes. <laughs> I love her hair as well. Mm. So I used to be a hairdresser and plaiting her hair was so lovely mm. and I was thinking I could do a fish plait, I could do, and I was thinking you no, could. I'll just stick to the just stick to the normal. But if you want plating. to make well, you, we have got the yarn if, if you need to. It's so soft. So we've got red. But we let's start with white. Super soft, three ply yarn. 199 for 100 grams. That is more than enough. So um, you can make a pom-pom for the end of the hat. The uh, Mr. Gnome has it obviously for his whiskers and Mrs. Gnome has it for her hair and then a pom-pom as well. So the th one ball of three ply is actually more than enough for both. So just add it to your order. If you bought Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Gnome, if you want the white hair, then this is um, a three ply acrylic. It's lovely. It's really, well, it says super soft. Very, very super soft. Now, if you want your gnome to be a little bit more traditional and have grey hair, some gnomes have grey hair, some have white, um, this is, oh it's nice, this is um, two pounds ten, it's Stylecraft, it's a double knit this one. They, it works just as well, you can use a three ply and you know from hair for dolls like this it doesn't really matter but the, the double knit works really well. This is a nice sort of steely grey, so if you want your gnome to have grey hair. And then we have red as well. So if you want to go for the Viking look and have red, bright red hair. <laughs> I just think they're gorgeous colours. I think the toad. I think colours. the toadstool gnome would look brilliant with red plaits. Yeah, I think so. Lovely. Too. So two pound ten, but obviously this is um this is Stylecraft as well. Stylecraft special double knit. I think that is um, lipstick. So or if you just want hundred grams of double knit yarn, nice quality this one as well. So you can choose two pounds ten for the lipstick coloured double knit hundred grams um, acrylic. It's a really nice quality. The Stylecraft special DK as well. There we go. They are really soft. Can I borrow a gnome back, You can please? borrow the gnome. We'll Thank let you have you. Mrs. Toadstool. There we go. So I'm going to pop her There's here. Mrs. Toadstool. 19.99 for Mrs. Toadstool and her daughter. And the instructions, panel and the instructions, everything you need is on there. So what I did is I used a contrasting colour here. And you can see I've got slightly thicker lines just here. So when I pulled this on top, I'm going to pop this one over because you position the hair and the nose first and then you can see I've got a cream coloured here and what I would do is I would take my needle with the matching thread and just go in and out where those threads are and then it just hides it all the way round and it means okay. that you can secure her all the way um, around here and then you pop your than the pom pom on the end. Pom pom on the end. I like her hat because it's got bees on. It is lovely. It really is a lovely, and mm. the greys are lovely as well. And the hexes, we love hexes. Yeah, <laughs> hexes are really nice too. But this is what I was thinking. So if you didn't sew this bit on here, I mean, because I use these clips all the time. So you could put your clover clips. I know I use different ones. Your clover clips in here. You can put your and just literally just build it up all the way um, along. We weren't saying whether we would put pins in or not. What you could do is you could fill this up, I guess, couldn't you? Yes, you could, With yeah. some stuffing and then you could um, nose. maybe use that as a, put them in a nose. I think that's really cute, really cute. Gorgeous. Well, thank you very much, Dawn, that's Thank you. Fab. Let's just do a quick recap of the kits. 
Right, so um, Mrs. B, we only, Mrs. Bumblebee, we only have four left of those. If you want that one, you need to grab it. Get it in your basket and check out, because only four. Mr. Bumblebee's gone. If you bought Mr. Bumblebee, it's worth getting Mrs. Bumblebee too, because then you've got a whole family. Toadstool, so if you want Mr. Toadstool, let me just bring them back. So this is Mrs. ones, but those are what the prints look like. So Mr. Toadstool, well, he's called Mr. Gnome Toadstools. Let me hold up the panel so you can see what he looks like. Remember, on, on the panel is everything you need to make the Mr. and the Sun. So he has got, look, he's got a blue body because you can see his buckle round his way. So he's got a blue body and then he has this red hat. He's got his legs are blue and he's got little black boots and then on the sole of his boots he has a toadstool and then there's there's labels i love the labels look they feature little toadstools as well aren't they gorgeous and there's lots of little random toadstools as well so things like this you could use these to decorate actually this would match my it would match my dress really nicely i mean mine is ladybird the same color isn't it and then the little boy he has got um, look, there's, look at the pockets. There's the po even the pocket linings. Look at the little pockets. Got the little toadstools as well. Gorgeous. But you can embellish it, you can embroider it. What I would do if I wanted to give it as a gift for somebody who I was thinking about hiding in the garden for you know, the children or the grandchildren, is you could embroider their names on. Embroider their name before you construct it, but maybe put their name on the hat or just on the apron or part of it. But wouldn't it look lovely if you think of the, um, the miss, Mrs. one, you could put it on the pocket of there. Do it before you construct it, make it a lot easier. Or you could put the name on the hat. There's so many things. And on, on the panel itself, there are lots of other little bits and pieces that you can use. And the little boy gnome, because he's so small, his pockets are already printed in. So he's got a red body, but he's got little toadstool pockets already printed on. Because if you look at the... Um, the bumblebee boy, you can see that he has his pockets already printed on. Love the toadstool, it is gorgeous. Oh, they'd look gorgeous in the garden, wouldn't they? Or in the conservatory, maybe you put them in the um, the window looking outside. I've, sti I've still got royal wedding gnomes from William and <laughs> from William and Kate's wedding, wow. which I have to say a bit faded now, and they still sit on my front doorstep. I love it. These would be brilliant for the Jubilee. Oh, yes. Wouldn't they? colours, yes. My um, Kate and William gnomes have faded somewhat. Okay. I bought them from being here. I was so excited. But now they're all... <laughs> they've sort of gone very brittle. <laughs> yes. Absolutely yeah. love them. Be brilliant for that. Um, Mrs. Toadstool. So this is her. This is her. 1999. Remember, she has got on the panel, she's got the, her daughter as well. So everything you need is in this except for the yarn and the filling. You need a bag of filling, and that's more than enough, and some weighted filling for if you want to make it a doorstop. But to be honest, it just makes it sit a little bit better. You don't have to have it in it, but the filling will make it sit a little bit better, and that's all That's all you need other than that. So this is the panel for the Mrs. one because she's the opposite way around. So she's got a red body, but she has a blue hat with toadstools on. So that's, yeah, just making sure I've got that the right way up. That's her. I love the um, the daughter, the daughter one, because she's got her apron printed on her. Love this. Um, but you know, once you've got the panel, because we don't have any templates, this is to make it simpler, it is really cut and sew. So you could, once you've cut them out, you could use these as templates to cut them out in other fabrics. So then with one kit, Liberty, Liberty No. Oh, Liberty No. Ticking Stripe, Caif, bit of Tilda. Just saying, just saying, when you've got it home, the pattern's there for you to do what you want. You know, I mean, obviously we say you're not allowed to sell the kit on, but if you want to make your own based on the pattern, then use up your scraps. You think of all the fabric collections you've got, where you think of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can make, you can make a whole army of gnomes. I don't think that's the collective noun for gnome. Um, oh, we don't have any of the um, weighted filling, but we have got the toy stuffing. A bag will be more than enough. So if you've bought the Mr. and the Mrs. Gnome kits, a bag will be more than enough for both. And this is the recycled one. So it's made from 
plastic bottles, which is fab, isn't it? So if he gets a little bit dirty, you know, just chuck him in the washing machine. He's got nothing in, there's nothing in the gnome that won't wash. There we go. Um, yes, and if you want to give it a bit of structure, so you want the bottom to be extra weighted or extra strong, then the um, this denim is ideal because it's only 4 99 for half a metre and it's really wide. I think it's 140 centimetres width. It's lovely as well. Love this denim. Look at the width of it. But all you need to do if you want to give it a little bit more weight and possibly put a bit of denim is cut out the base pin it onto here and then cut round it, use that as the pattern. And then that just gives it a little bit more weight if you want to do that. But the denim is ideal because it's only 4 99 it's ideal. And then the rest of it you can use to make a little tote bag because it makes a nice tote bag, that's what I know, because I've done that. Um, so Dawn, you'll be back with us at 11 o'clock. Yes. It's all about the cork. It is all about the cork. The cork is absolutely beautiful. It is, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. It's all about the cork bag. We have got two bags and loads of cork as well. This is the lunch bag from Debbie Shaw's book. So we'll be bringing that to you at 11 o'clock. But after the break, it's all about the quilting tools and we have got the brand new rotating cutting mats, which I'm very excited about because I've got one and it makes such a difference to my sewing. So I was, when the buying department, I've been talking to them for ages about it and finally we've got it and they're one of, well, one of them is pink as well. I will see you back in a few minutes time. Um, don't go anywhere. You're gonna love these rotating cutting mats. <laughs> Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? 
Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. This is Gemini, one of the fastest, quietest electronic die cutting and embossing machines on the market. Its industry leading high pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders all at the touch of a button. Its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge to edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. No cranking needed as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. The Gemini is a universal die-cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual-purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. Welcome back to Sewing Street and if you've just joined us, happy bank holiday Easter Monday. Hope you had a lovely day yesterday and plenty of chocolate and I hope you're relaxing with us. If you're like me, you've had, it's all been about family the last couple of days so today is the day to have a nice relax and we have got some fantastic um, offers, new things. We've had some great, a great day already with beautiful William Morris quilt. It's only going to be good from here and it's just nice isn't it to have a little bit of time for yourself and we have got the rotating cutting mat now i said to the buying department a while ago i really want one of these because i use mine all the time and actually i've got a little a small one like this and then they said the other day well we can get them in pink or you won't want them in pink will you i went i will want them in, i will want them in pink that'd be ridiculous so so we did have a compromise that we had two sizes, one in pink and one in green. But I love the pink one. So this is the smaller 12 by 12 one. So I'm going to open it up. I... Now we've got a good quantity of this because, um, because they are fab. So let me open it up for you. We want this in stock all the time. So this is 12 by 12 inches, 30 by 30 centimetres. Now, it's exactly the same as an ordinary cutting mat. So it's the same cutting surface. You use your rotary cutter, you use your rulers. Um, it's self-healing. It's exactly the same as your normal one. It's the same as do not iron it, keep it flat. Actually, much easier to keep it flat because it's more solid. So if you turn, so on it, you've got, um, all the inches so you're up to the 12 you've got circles on here because a lot of people use the rotating one for cutting circles you've got all the 30 45 and 60 degree angles and then on the back is this like foam type backing and then the circle because 
it rotates. Oh, have I locked it? I've locked it in, haven't I? Sorry. So if you want, if you don't want it to rotate, you just push those out and then it won't rotate because you might want to use, let me just move this other way. You might want to use it not to rotate and that locks. But if you um, pull them in like this, now it turns. And Kat didn't even know that. Look at that. So it turns. Now you think, why? Why do I need one of these? Very good for cake. Very good for cake decorating. <laughs> Rotating cupboarding mat. Gemini machine. Lazy Susan. Just saying. That's what I use mine for. Eileen. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can move it. Very good for moving things. But this is what I use mine for. Well, I use it for FPP a lot because when you're trimming FPP shapes and you've got your paper and your fabric, you don't really want to move it. So all you do is move the mat. Absolutely brilliant. But what I use mine mostly for is half square triangles. Now, if you want to make um, two half square triangles, you know, you cut a square. Now, what they say is, whatever the finished size of your half square triangle is, cut your square mathematically seven eighths of an inch bigger, but then you've, you've got barely any wiggle room for seam allowances going slightly wrong. So an inch is good. I always go for about an inch and a quarter. So if for this one, I've cut two four inch squares because I want two and a half inch half square triangles. So if you add a bit more, you've got a little bit more wiggle room. You draw a line down the center and then you sew a quarter of an inch either side of that. So you can see the, I've drawn three red lines just so you can see I've already sewn them. So you then, once you've done that, you're then gonna cut it down the middle. And I'm gonna keep that straight, but I want to cut like that. So I'll just rotate it a bit. This isn't the main part. So I'm gonna cut it down the center. I've got a little rotary, 28 mil rotary cutter here. You can use this all of 45. And then take them apart. Oh, that's not a very sharp. That's not a very sharp rotary cutter. I couldn't find one. I do need to get a new blade or a new rotary cutter even. Um, so there we go. We've now got two. So what I'm going to do first of all, and I'm going to open it up. Best thing to do is press it first because you get a better finish. So open it up and I always press mine over to one side, towards the darker side, doesn't really matter. Over to one side and do it from the front because then you can make sure it's correct. Give it a little press. So that's one of them. So cute, isn't it? So now I've got two half square triangles and I'm going to press them. I always, I always finger press them first. Message from Sarah, just got it, pink, love it, absolute sun, you know, and I've got a pink one as well. It's brilliant, why shouldn't it be? I tell you what, it's really good if you've got to take little pictures of things as you go along as well. It looked really nice on a pink background. Right, so that's my two um, HSTs pressed open. Now I'm going to trim them. So I always give quite a big allowance because I like to, ha to get them just right. So if I haven't quite sewn exactly a quarter of an inch either side, doesn't matter. So what you do then is you take the 45 degree angle on your rotary cutter and you line that up along the seam. Now I've said I've given lots of allowance here. So I, because these were four inch squares. So I could cut these to two and a half. I'm gonna go to, well, I could cut them to three inch because I've got loads of space here because I made them nice and big. So what I do is I line these up across the centre and then make sure there's a sort of an even gap. Now I'm doing one side, that's easy, isn't it? I might give it a couple of cuts during this, this rotary cutter. But I don't really want to have to move this now because that's almost, once you cut, you know with the cutting mat, it sort of embeds itself a little bit, keeps it nice and still. I don't need to move it, I'm going to move the mat. So now I want, I'm going to move it round double, and then I'm going to cut the other one. So I'm going to line up my um, one, two, three inches along this side. Lift up the ruler and then I'm going to turn it round. So this is keeping it really accurate because when you cut it, it sort of embeds it a bit. And then, because can you see here, there's where the angle comes to. So I'll need to trim that. When you do that, to get it absolutely perfectly square, line up the straight line on your ruler across the top and then cut down the side. And then turn it round again. And it won't move, even if you go quite fast, I've tried that. 
Yeah, I mean, you can get, if you're depending on where you're cutting them, if you've got a ruler that's the same size as them, and then I'm going to cut it. And then I cut it, and there we go. I have got a perfect one. Now, if you're doing lots of half square triangles, this is fantastic because you can put them all together. You could even, if you were doing a few, you could put them all in a row and then do two at a time and move it around. It makes such a difference. When you're dealing with small pieces and you really, really don't want to move them, it's just a nice small space as well. So it depends. It depends on what you're doing. I mean, for the bigger one that we've got, that's great when you're cutting bigger pieces or maybe you're doing larger, say, 12-inch half-square triangles or you're doing larger pieces of FPP. So... But like something, for example, like the hexagon trim tool, where you're trimming hexagons to the right size. So if you were cutting here and you want, and even for the big size, it will fit on this one. But if you're doing the smaller one, you're cutting along here. And we always say you could cut there, but you definitely can't cut that way. But even cutting that way is not as easy, but you don't tend to move it. But because you can just move it around, you know, and it does stay still. It's fantastic. But it's also got the circles printed on it as well. So if you want to cut, like this is a 10 inch diameter circle, you've got that as a template on there. It's fantastic, but it makes a difference. So I was doing some FPP the other day and mine is a small one, this, and nearly all of them I cut with this. I don't have the bigger one. So I had to trim the other, that with the big one. And it does, want, it does start shifting once you move it round. So it, or maybe you've got to cut a two inch square of fabric. You can just place it on here. You can cut the sides turn it round, cut the other two sides without any movement, you will increase your accuracy. Or if you just want a smaller cutting mat, because my got a really big one that fits my whole table, that you can just use for small pieces, or you keep, or you can keep it by your sewing machine if you need to cut things without getting up. And because you can rotate it, you can do it where you want. And it, you know, it just, it's fab. But then when you don't want, if you don't want it to rotate, oh, you do need to move it round. I've <laughs> just re remembered that. Yeah, it's got to be in its locking place to be able to move around. There you go. Then you can just lock it in place if you don't want it to be rotating. Up to you. But 1619, absolutely fantastic. Brand new in today, quarter of the stock as already gone. Now that's your 12 by 12 inches. I don't, I don't remember the last time we had a rotating one. I'm not sure. We've been said, Barry... And he said, are you sure you want pink? I went, oh, of course I do. It's nice though, isn't it? It's nice though, isn't it? I just think it's nice to have a different colour because I like to have, because I've got, I've got one small one and one big one, but I do like the fact it's rotating. And it's pretty, but it's nice for doing photographs of walkthroughs and things as well. Very, very practical. No, it's very practical. No, it says say keep it flat, don't roll it. But actually, it because it's got this base, this foamy base here, it actually you can store it upright. Whereas with the bigger cutting mats, you can't because they bend. But with this one, you can as well. Or you can just keep, I just keep it to one side of my cutting mat. Absolutely brilliant. 30% of the stock already gone. Not surprised. It is a brilliant thing. And it's brand new today. I absolutely love mine. And it is brilliant when you're cutting lots and lots of pieces the same. Oh, that's uh, look at that quilt behind me talking to pink. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Who loves Tim Holtz? I do. Look at this. Gorgeous. I'm going to show you this minute. We've got the complete, complete. It's like a bank holiday bonanza today. We've had William Morris. We've had the Bumblebee and Toadstool Nooms. Brand new cutting mats rotating. Now we have got another one as well. So I'm just going to move my my little bits out of the way. Well, that will keep that one. So, if you want a bigger one, now you could keep because um, because this will lock. Well, let me get it out. I'm going to get the bigger one out. Now it comes. So, if you want, if you are going to store it somewhere, keep the plastic bag that it comes in. I've done, now I've never seen a rotating one this big. Um, if you want to keep it, store it somewhere and you're not using it so much, keep, keep the plastic bag that it's in because it, is, um, it will seal and it will keep it nice and clean in there as well. Um, 
you are you should keep it on a flat surface ideally but if you're not going to go but it let's move the things out of the way so if you just need a cutting mat this is a lovely size it's 18 by 18 inches so you can use this as a normal cutting mat because it's a really nice size You'll fit lots and lots on here. Obviously, you won't be able to cut half a metre of fabric. Um, you won't be able to cut the fabric across the width on it. But you could get a fat quarter in half on here. But you can use it just as a normal cutting mat. It's got um, eighth of an inch increments all the way round. It's got the 30, the 45 and the 60 degree angles, which you need for trimming things. It's got a 6 inch, a 10 inch and a 14 inch um, diameter circle. Brilliant to use as a template. And then obviously we've got the locking things. Now this is, because this is bigger and more substantial, the two isn't enough. So we've got a four-way lock and then it will rotate. And there were so many times when you are cutting, you know when you've cut like fabric into a two inch long, two and a half inch strip, you then need to cut that in squares. You cut it one way and then you always have to pick it up or like me, you go walk around the other side of the table and you mustn't you well you mustn't cut towards yourself but even cutting at an angle if you're not cutting at the right you won't get it as good i will sometimes cut across the top like this it, you don't get because you can't get the same pressure on there and i'm doing if i if i haven't got my rotating mat out and i think i'll cut this way and i'll cut that way and it you don't get the same pressure but it's so quick you just rotate it when you store it away, block it so it doesn't start moving around. But this one, £32.99. Oh, message from Susan. Good morning. I've just got the rotating mat to replace the one I've got, which keeps coming off the centre when I turn it. I love the locking feature. I know, from Susan. Thanks, Susan. Yeah, that's a brilliant because it does. You want, I mean, in this is, you can see it's got that really nice thickness to it. So when you want to put it back together, because obviously once you've unlocked it, it, comes up, it will then come apart more. And um, when it's on a flat surface, that won't happen, obviously, because of the weight of it. You just lock it back into position. This one, obviously, because it's the big one, has the double lock, and then you're done. But it is a really substantial cutting mat. It's fantastic. But it's a really good size. So it depends what you want to do. Whether you want a smaller one, because you know you're only going to be doing small pieces. I found out I've got a 12 inch one, which works for nearly everything. But I was doing some larger squares to, for half square triangles and it wasn't big enough. So up to you which way you want to go. The larger one is in the green, the traditional cutting mat green. Should be like a patenting colour, shouldn't it? Cutting mat green. And then the smaller one is in pink, but they are brilliant. If you've got one or you've bought one, let me know what you use you for. Mostly I use mine for half square triangles, but FPP it is brilliant for when you're doing lots of trimming, when you're, especially when you're trimming to size. And sometimes, you, particularly when you're using, if you're cutting things like lawn, Liberty lawn, you don't really want to be moving that because it starts moving around. Even if you're cutting out like pattern pieces for the bigger one, maybe you're cutting out um, a sleeve in a lightweight, maybe a satin or something that moves, you don't want to be moving it off the board. To have that size and be able to rotate it is brilliant. So I would highly recommend that. And I know there's lots of you who have put, the, put it in your basket because you, you know the issue with trying to walk around the other side of the table. It just gives you more accuracy. And I, I like to have my big full-size mat. I wouldn't be without that. But to have the smaller rotating one is fantastic. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes, don't cut and turn at the same time. Yeah, as the director said, can you cut and turn? No, I wouldn't not really although i mean it has got sort of it has got circles with arrows on i don't know not sure why what is it? i don't know what they're there for um i mean it, it does say obviously you can use it for paper as well i'm trying to think what it says but um you can use it for paper as well there we go it's fantastic isn't it mm. And it's quite heavy. This one is really heavy, isn't it? But it still comes under our 395 PMP. But it's heavy because you've got this, all this, the foam backing as well is really soft. So when you're rotating it, this won't scuff or it won't scratch your table. It's very, very soft, but it's weighty enough 
It'd be, that's why it will remove when you need that's why you need to lock it before you move it anywhere because it will come apart but the weight of it holds it all together it's an engineering genius it is marvelous 32.99 for the large one but if you want the smaller pink one the smaller pink one i wonder whether that's because it's smaller or because it's pink has been the most popular 16.99 for the smaller one i'll be telling barry we're loving the pink it's quite a nice shade of pink as well, a nice deep pink. Really lovely. Please do keep checking out for both of them. Loads of you have got them in your basket, lots have checked out. They are both brand new in stock today. I mean, I think 16.99 is a great, you know, if you know someone who does sewing or quilting and hasn't, you know, you want to buy them a gadget as a present, this is fantastic. It's one of those things when you've got it, you think, wow. Well, it's a gadget, isn't it? It's definitely a gadget. Oh no, it's a good gadget. There are good gadgets and bad gadgets. I've had a lot of bad gadgets, but this, or at all. But it is absolutely brilliant. And, and because they store flat, I keep mine on a shelf on top of a box. Just slide it in there and get it out every now and then. I also use mine when I've cut out lots of pieces and I want to keep them flat and not moving around. And I just pick it up, move it to somewhere. Keeps all my bits flat for the next day of sewing. Please do keep checking. Half of the pink stock of the pink one has now gone. So please do keep checking out for that because it is a fantastic thing. And you know what it's like? We sell out and then we have to wait to get them back. So if you want the rotating cutting mat on either size, please do check out. Okay. I'm going to put them just to one side. They're very heavy. <coughs> right, Tim Holtz kit. So let me show you the quilt first because it's gorgeous. It is absolutely very typical Tim Holtz. You've only been on air once so if you miss that it's absolutely beautiful it's got these beautiful little, look at the pink print around the edge it's that kind of um hand distress printed look that we know and love from tim holtz all the others are like a kind of a full like a crocodile print and i love this pink around the edge it's gorgeous it's quite unusual isn't it really you know when you want something that's slightly different, I think this would make the most fantastic picnic quilt, wouldn't it? Because I wouldn't worry too much because it's got all of these different colours and prints in it. I wouldn't worry too much if anyone dropped something on it because it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't show up. But it's really unusual, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And we love Tim Holtz. I like this, this pink fabric around the edge. It's gorgeous. Love that. So let me show you the kit. It's 159.99. Now, Emma Bradford demoed it on Saturday. So if, if you want to see her demo it, just go on to YouTube and you can go back and see it. So this is called Croc Jungle. It is 180 by 180 centimetres. So it is a fantastic picnic quilt. Brilliant for double bed, single bed, good for a teenager. Wouldn't go for, I don't think, well, no, I don't think it'd be quite big enough for a king. You wouldn't get much of a drop a drop with it. Good for a teenager. In the kit, you get um, over six metres of Tim Holtz fabric. You Now, you know Tim Holtz is free spirit fabric, designer, fantastic quality. Oh, look, there's a little, there's a little sample square already sewn in the box. That's really sweet. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in there. I know. Yeah, no, I think that is ours. That must be one that Emma did that we put back in the box. So, look, you've got full instructions here of how to make it. As always with these kits, you've got pictures of the finished print, the print, so they're very easy to identify. It's all sewn in worn crock, and then the rose colour around the edges are provisions, but really clear easy to understand and easy pe easy to piece oh look i can see that where that bit is so you've got this section here it's just squares and triangles really squares and triangles and rectangles and then easy to put together so you make it in strips you make the blocks it's made from squares the squares are then sewn together in strips. The strips are then sewn together to create the quilt. It's a real illusion quilt, isn't it? It gives the um, impression of squares interlocking all with each other. I think it's very clever, but I love that it. it's a really wonderful use of his fabrics. And watch the demo. Emma is a fantastic quilter. The demo will be will all make sense. But in 
in the kit you've got all of the fabrics you need i love this worn croc fabric it's gorgeous now we've only got 16 of these kits remaining but and you saw how quick well if you watched earlier the william morris sold out we only had 50 and they just went boom like that and i had my eye on one of them as well maybe i'll have to have this one instead but these are these are gorgeous and as with all of these kits you've got what you need you're not paying for fabrics that you don't need it includes um all of the all of the front and the binding fabric as well so the binding fabric is the same fabric that's used around the outer border obviously it doesn't include the backing or the wadding but it does include the binding but but it is gorgeous isn't it it's a real statement piece i love this pink one around the edge now on saturday this was on special offer on saturday because it was the launch of it and we try and give you a little special offer when we launch them the normal price is 159.99 so remember 159.99 for over six meters of designer quality tim holtz fabric with full instructions and the instructions have been written for this fabric used for this quilt 149.99 so that was the price that we dropped it to on saturday so we're honoring that today if you would rather spread the payments interest free you can have three equal payments of 49.99 so 49.99 taken out of your account now and that will then be sent to you straight away and then over the next two months you pay the other two payments and it is absolutely beautiful isn't it oh wow yeah so if you bought this one and the william morris earlier then you only pay one pmp you've got two beautiful quilts this year and i really i mean as and as i said with the william morris once you've got these instructions it tells you exactly the quantities of fabric you need you can then use them to make another quilt but i love it when you get a set of instructions that have been this quilt has been designed specifically for these fabrics it's not another design that worked. I and mean, obviously it will work with lots of different fabrics. I think this would look stunning in just blue and white. It would look amazing if all of the background was white and all of the interlocking um, strips were shades of blue. But this has been designed, and when quilts are designed for a specific fabric, they bear in mind the colour, the tone, the print, and the feel of the fabrics, what the point is. So because this is the worn croc feel, by having these sort of geometric interlocking squares, it works really well. And I think that's what's lovely, is that quite often you'll see a fabric range and you think, oh, will it work with those, that quilt pattern or not? But you know that this one will. So 149.99. I don't think we were supposed to do this one today, or the price, but you know. Bank holiday bonanza there's only 15 of these left only 15 and we will not be getting these back in stock because they're just because because we need to do another one we ask them all the time can you create a quilt a kit exclusive for us that is using these design i love the tim holtz worn croc i think um we had it in and made some bags with it it looked amazing didn't it really amazing but i love to see I find it quite difficult when I see a range of fabrics. I think, oh, I'm, I'm not sure how that will work. But, you know, this is brilliant, isn't it? Because you've got the geometric croc print and then you've got this illusion stars. But I like the way that the um, that sort of grungy pink fabric has been put around the edge. Makes, makes it quite different. Anyway, so if you missed out, if you didn't see that on Saturday, if you're like me and you had family around or you're doing something and you missed out on Saturday didn't want you to miss out on this one because it's extremely extremely popular let me just hold it out again so you can have a look at it it's beautiful isn't it isn't it beautiful but it's the texture i mean the texture and the way that the interlocking squares work with the texture is gorgeous and it's a real sort of muted jewel tones but all of the background is in this sort of neutral taupe and then you've got these muted jewel tones but bordered by the pink absolutely gorgeous only 13 of those left maybe i'll get this one instead since i've missed out on the william morris one keep on um going through and checking out for that one keep on running for that one only 13 left and more of them in baskets as well so if it's in your basket please do check out or you'll miss out and that would be a shame but there's no solid fabrics 
But I don't, you can't put solid fabrics with a Tim Holtz. I mean, that's about as solid as Tim Holtz. And what's lovely about it is that, you know, you can piece this big border, but you don't notice because this splatter finish. Have we got a what? Skill level. And um, does it, whether it says, um, what do I, it says intermediate intermediate but basically do you know what if you've used a sewing machine and you've you've done a bit of cutting it's all about the accuracy and the cutting really but once you've you go through it do it very very step by step it tells you, you know like fabric a you need to cut four two and a half inch strips then you know do it bit by bit tick it off as you go label your fabric strips just get i usually just get some rough paper label them and then use fabric clips to clip them around the strips that i've cut then you very easily know so if you um cut it all out put it all to one side then you can work through it step by step this is really something you can be proud of and the quilting like with the william morris this has been done on a normal domestic sewing machine it's nothing fancy there's no free motion quilting going on in here it is just quilted along the lines of the squares that's all it's done it's just straight line quilting um and then the, that has been continued into the border so it looks like diamonds but it's just lines now you can draw those lines onto your quilt using an array heat erasable pen or use masking tape and sew along them so there's nothing fancy there you can do that quilting on your normal sewing machine but have a look at emma's, emma's demo she will explain exactly how to do it it was on the 16th of april at nine o'clock yeah, I mean, you can, you know, have a watch, see how she does it, think, oh, can, you know, do you think, is that something I want to do? We've still got 13 of them left, and then, you know, you've still got till midnight, and then the price will go back up again if there are any left. That's what I would do, is have a little check, a little look. It's, well, walking feet. So, what I would say if you are quilting something like this, I'm just moving things out of the way. That's better, isn't it? That's what I'm doing now. Um, we've had a lot of people asking us about walking feet. These are, these are Janome walking feet, so they work with the Elna machines. That's the point of them. We don't normally stock these. Some of our Elna machines come with walking feet already, but those are the, um, the higher ones in the higher end of the range. All the five machines, like the 520, the 540, the 550, 560, will fit these walking feet. Um, if you're not absolutely sure what your machine is, you can, you can just Google it, actually. Just put in your model and it will it will tell you whether it will work because i did that this morning because i wanted to know which of them were, and they go with all the fives but if you google it you can easily see which ones or, or give Janome a ring so you need to choose between open toe and closed toe well the open toe is the one that says it is and then it just says even feed foot for the the closed toe so i'll sh can i take them out i'll give it a go we are limited now these make quite a difference i was i umdenard before i bought myself a walking foot I, well i can't get it out without cutting the things yeah oh i'm allowed to cut the cello tape. okay got to find a pair of scissors now because i want to take show you those always use your sewing scissors for cutting sellotape um so i spent a long time thinking about whether to get one for my machine and mine was 70 quid actually my walking foot so this is much better and these are 53.99 but honestly make such a difference so if you are making a quilt like that and you want to do it under a normal domestic sewing machine having a walking foot makes a difference now what it does is when um when you use your sewing machine underneath you've got the feed dogs and then those little teeth that sit underneath that moves the bottom layer of the fabric forward but when you've got layers or you've got slippery fabric the top and the bottom move at different speeds that means you get either skip stitches or different length stitches or it's quite hard work getting it through your machine with a walking foot that makes the top layer and the bottom layer go through at the same time. So you don't get the shifting, you don't get the puckering, you don't get the skip stitches. So this is what it looks like. There we go. 
it has the um, extra guide with it as well the guide bar and it attaches to your machine your you you pop this so what you do is you take your foot off you undo the screw and then this section here you put that round the um the part the shaft of the shank you put that around the shank of the machine where you've just taken your foot off if you look in your um your guide your manual it'll tell you how to do this but you put this section around that and you screw it back in and then this removable arm this goes over the top of the um, shank and then that keeps it that makes the top layers because if you look under if you look at it you've got like little teeth can you see this plastic bit here as the um, as the sewing machine is going up and down can I show you like that as the needle is going up and down that's moving those up and down and this is sitting on top of the needle bar they, as they go on top so and then the little teeth here that moves that's moving the top layer at the same time as the bottom layer is moving so it's not an electronic thing it's a mechanical device but by having this sitting on top of I wish I knew the names of these different parts of the machines um, having that on top that then makes as the needle goes up and down that makes this move down it's absolutely brilliant now this is a closed toe one so the advantage of this is that you can use this for any quilting it's particularly good if you're doing things like you've got other layers like maybe you've got a plique or something the open toe which I will show you in a moment may get caught on it but it, the two of them the open toe and the closed toe will both do will both give you that even feed they both work in the same way and honestly it makes a difference so if you're quilting and you, you're using more layers if you're using slippery fabric or fine fabric and you want the feed to be nice and even some people I know keep their walking foot on the whole time because it just gives you that even feed because you've got teeth little teeth at the top and the bottom to make it ground and it's lovely when you use it because this bar is moving up and down you can see it all moving so with the closed toe this is the standard one really it is better if you're using um, layers of fabrics like a plico where the open toe get met get caught now the bar that comes with it this is a guide bar so if you this will go in through the machine and then if you if you want to sew with the same gap you can set this so maybe you set this on a seam and this will move in and out so say you want to do some echo quilting like an inch away from the seam you move this put that so that it's exactly the distance you want maybe put that on the seam and then you get an exact exact line so it's just a guide bar that will move in and out we never sell walking feet never I'm so pleased that we have um, and then the second option is the open toe. I think this is a bit neater. I think. So this will fit the 570A. It will fit all the fives. So now the open toe, let's not get them mixed up, exactly, they're for category B machines, which are all the fives. For, um, for this one, exactly the same, you take your foot off your machine, you then screw it into this section, you make sure the lever goes up on top of the um, screw that screws the needle in, you'll see on your machine, and then that goes up and down at the same time as then it makes the, these little plastic feet go up and down. But this has got an open toe. So this is really good because if, you're do, if you want to see more of what you're doing, particularly maybe if you're doing free motion quilting, where you want to see more. So let me show you. There's the open toe and there's the closed toe. So this one, you've got a bigger visible area than this one. So this is ideal for, you know, free motion quilting. Maybe if you're doing some zigzag I mean, you need to be careful with these walking feet. Just check them. You can't use them for every single stitch because it depends how wide you're going with it. But it doesn't take much to just check. Just 
hand crank it down but it just gives you a more visible area so set, maybe you're doing some free motion quilting or you're doing some stipple quilting and you want to be able to see what you're doing then I would suggest getting the open toe if you're just doing ordinary quilting or you're doing layers like a plique where you see if you see what I mean the applique may get caught in the open toe then have that one but there is a choice the option is there they are fab both of them come with the guide which is fantastic I use this a lot so maybe I want to do some straight line quilting and I want all my quilting lines to be a quarter of an inch apart I might draw on the first one so I've got that right then I use my bar and it pops through the machine and through here and then you can then oh that way around actually then you can set it and you can run this along lines of quilting that you've already done or seams and you get perfect perfectly spaced it is fab 53.99 now that is a great price that's what they cost i was saying to you mine was 70 pounds so i have a different make machine they are you know they are a purchase that is an extra thing but they last i even i'm so precious with mine i keep it in its original box that's written walking foot on it and I'm very careful with it because I'm not, I mean, they are very, they're very strong, but it does make quite a difference. If you use things like um, Styleville, the foam interfacing or Bozel, something like that, which is thicker as well, makes a massive difference stitching on that. But it's quite nice sewn with a walking foot anyway, because you have got the feeding. I mean, like, I know a lot of people that use it just all the time because it does give you that even feed. So when you get a machine, if you see a machine, there are some grades of machine, depending on which one you buy, that come with the walking foot, you know you've got a good value because you havenven't got to buy the extra. The B, the B grade machines, which is the, the fives, the, five third, the category B, don't have them, so you have to buy it separately. But it does make a difference. So if you're thinking about <coughs> doing some quilting and you want to get, and you, or you're finding it hard work getting it <coughs> sorry, to run through, then get yourself a walking foot. $53.99. If you're not sure <coughs> what category your machine is, you can check online. If you get your manual, it'll tell you. Or if you just put in category B machines. I just put in Google before we came on air and it listed them all out for me. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm fine. Just got a bit of a cough. I'll have a cup of tea later. Um, anyway, there we go. You, if you've got any questions, you're not sure which one to buy or you're not sure about your machine, please do message in. We will be able to answer them because we can check for you. But really excited to get them in because they are different. I, mean, I, I spent a long time before I finally got myself one, but as so many people said, no, they're brilliant, they make the difference. And if you've bought, you know, you want to do a bit of quilting and even if it's just a small amount on a little bag or a little cushion or something, makes a big difference very excited but get them while they're in stock because we have luckily got both of them in stock at the moment mm. oh yes also very exciting now i was on air with jenny jackson when she announced that she would be launching this book and then i realized it and then i realized it wasn't on my show so to, we did a brilliant show together where we did where we decided we'd do this um the scrappy hexy fun facebook group and she goes oh i'm going to be coming on air with my new book and i thought i'm not on air that day and she came on it oh wow sold out sold out twice ridiculous not surprised though because it's gorgeous knew it's going to be gorgeous she told show me a few sneak pictures of the projects absolutely gorgeous. so if you missed it on air Let's have a look. It is lovely. 18, 18 EPP projects. Have you seen when we've sold kits and instructions of EPP projects? I mean, $13.99 for 18 projects. And they are for beginners and beyond. So once you start off with EPP, you can start with this book. And then your EP journey can just go on and on. And on and on and on and on. So look, she's it's all the basics. I mean... Jenny is a fantastic EPP teacher. So you've got all the basics there of exactly how to do it. How to um, cut and baste, how to put the how to put them together, how to applique them together. So all the basics. I mean, there's not a lot that you need to know about EPP, to be honest. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, mindful technique. Then she moves on to the projects. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I absolutely love that. 
all EPP, all there. And look, she's put a colouring layout so you can do that as well. But then you've got little projects like the lampshade. I think that's really sweet, isn't it? And she shows you, even shows you how to make the lampshade as well. Even lovely. Um, then we've got table runner or bed runner. Salt and pepper, love that. I uh, like that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I love Jenny's designs. They're always very clean and clear. Um, they're modern without being like too mad modern. You know, they're sort of, sometimes you see designs where you think, oh, I'm not sure whether that will go in my house. All of the fabric that she's used in this book is Alison Glass, but they're fresh, they're imaginative. You know, Jenny's sense of style and creativity just shines through and it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, and yes, and Jenny's favourite thing, leopard print, as you know, and she's got it on the spine of the book. Of course, of course she has. Cupcake fringe, love that. I really like the um, Celtic knot quilt. Is there? A, there's a really nice picture of it right at the front there. Isn't that gorgeous? You'd never know that was EP. Got my book from Jenny, lovely book, and I don't even EPP yet from Jan in Lancashire. Well, you will be, Jan, once you've got this. I love this one. EPP is so lovely because you just sit there in front of the telly. You can pack it up really small. I've started doing a scrappy hexy quilt and I am struggling to keep it scrappy. I'm not very good. I want to plan it. I've unpicked it so many times because I keep planning it and then I go, no, I'm going random. I'm going random. And then I realise I'm not anymore. So I think actually I'll probably be better off with one of Jenny's designs where I actually just follow what I'm told. These are gorgeous. I love the Celtic knot design. It's beautiful. And isn't that nice that she puts a colouring layout in it as well so that you can think, oh, you can try out your own colour ways that you want to do it. Got another one here because you don't, often with EPP, it's smaller things. You rarely see big quilts like this because it does take time. They are apps. I mean, they're heirloom, heirloom pieces. But what she's done, I like, is she's done these big quilts, but she's used big pieces for them. So they're not going to take hours and hours. It's not like tiny hexes making something really big. But look, if you've not EPP before, start with something small like this, a little hoop. That's lovely, isn't it? Love the cushion. Really nice, isn't it? Like the world. I really like that one. Some fab projects in this. Colourful crosses. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Works really well, doesn't it? And the beauty of EPP is you get 100% accuracy. You don't have to match seams. I love that one. It has a little pot hold. It always looks like Lego, doesn't it? With the crosses on it. It's like the little holes on Lego. The little pot holder. Again, that's your traditional hexes. Um, placemat. So, you know, you've got a whole range of projects. So, if you have an EPP before. Jenny holds your hand. She takes you from the beginning. She shows you what is what fabric do you need? What papers do I need? How do I put them together? And then, usually, the biggest problem that people have with EPP, what do I do with it? So, I've made all of these EPP. I've joined it all together. I don't know what to do with it now. Um, little bucket. That's lovely to keep your fabric or your yarn stash in. That one is beautiful, isn't it? The rainbow star, look, comes all down in a beautiful kaleidoscope of rainbow colours. Absolutely stunning. It's a quilt, but doesn't it look amazing on the wall? I mean, that is a piece of wall art, isn't it? I love fabric wall art, but you've, you've got, because it's quilted as well, it's got beautiful texture and colour. Gorgeous, look lovely in just monochrome as well, that would. And um, that's the quilt layout. So then we've got a little wall hanging there, tumbling wheels. So you've really got a choice of different skill levels, but also different scale of project, depending on what you want to do. I love the way she's made um, a cube. And all you need for this one is bean bag filling that goes in it, and then the top is EPP'd. You know, you imagine seeing this in one of those designer boutique shops, wouldn't you? Probably be £250 in one of them. Books, I can't believe the book's only 13 99 for 18 projects. And look at that. Yeah, because this is this says 16 99 on the back. Oh, ours is 13 99 Look, just a little mug map. That's so sweet, isn't it? She goes through all the quilt techniques, because obviously this isn't just about the EPP. These are finished projects, so you need to know how to make them. She even shows you how to join your binding properly, which is really important. Here are all the templates as well. 
Now, you can, it gives you details in the book as well. If you want to download these so you can print them out yourself onto card, you can print those out and it gives you details in the book. So you could trace them, you could print them out. But there they are, all of the templates are there. So you can trace them or print them yourself. Warning. There are only nine of the Tim Holtz quilt kits left. And only nine. And lots of you with it in baskets. So if it's in your basket, you do need to check out. There are only nine left. And I'm thinking, oh, look, there's Jenny. I'm thinking picnic. That's what I'm thinking I would do with it. Aren't they gorgeous? And look, and she's got a leopard print on in there. What a beautiful, beautiful book. Absolutely gorgeous. She's ex she, um, extremely proud of it, and she, so she should be because it is lovely, really like that. Nine of the beautiful Tim Holtz. Special price today, £10 off, 149 Everything is in there, including the binding. The only things you don't have is the backing fabric and the wadding. If you've got any questions at all about it, please do ask. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? But it is the perfect design for this fabric. And if you love to Tim Holtz, so nine left, three in baskets. If you want it, it's probably going to sell out before the end of the day at the special table. Um, if you want to have a look, watch the demonstration Saturday at nine o'clock with the brilliant Emma Bradford. She will show you how to use it. But I think it's worth it. If you're not sure and you think, oh, can I do that? I've only done a little bit of patchwork before. Not sure. She's really clear. She will explain it to you beautifully. So if you want to have a look before you decide to buy, we won't be getting them back in stock. When it's gone, it's gone. In fact, we've got to send that one back. What, which ones? Oh, these are fab. We haven't had these in the stock for absolutely ages. Since August, 13.99. Now this is just brilliant. You know, the summer is coming and we would like to decorate our white canvas shoes or other things, obviously. So these are textile markers. So let me tell you what it says. So we, well, obviously, you've got a whole rainbow of colours, 13 99 There are 20 pens. Um, they're double-ended. Now, what you have to do, you can draw on them. You can do colouring in. So if you've got maybe a pair of white canvas shoes and you want to draw some patterns on them or you want to colour in some of the prints on them or you've got a T-shirt or you want to use them to write labels and things or if you think, I'd like to do some embroidery but I don't want to embroider all of it. I just want to colour in some of it. Um, you draw on the fabric, colour it in, you let it dry for six hours and then you iron it inside out and that's it and then it's fully washable. So each of the markers is double ended. Have I got a piece of paper? Well actually I've got a bit of my fab, I'll do it on my, I could do it on my little FPP piece, my, my no not FPP, half square triangles. So you've got, so say I wanted to um, colour in this you've got the that end they're lovely we have sold fabric panels that you can color in and then the other end is slightly thicker so if i wanted to do, do this one depending on what effect so you've got 20 colors but you've got two thicknesses once you've allowed them to dry and done the pressing it's fully washable brilliant for children for decorating things but also because these are so far I mean they are great for children but don't think of it just like that you know you can use them for yourself or embroidery for adding extra details to things so, you know when I we often say wouldn't it look lovely if you embellished that with some embroidery or you picked out that section use these use these you don't even need to do the embroidery draw draw your own embroidery running stitch <laughs> see we're, we're lucky actually with it. Well, they've obviously been working hard the binding. We've got so many different things back in stock. You know, you could do satin stitch with it. You could draw the stitches. You've got so many different colours. If you wanted to do, sometimes it looks really nice if you've top, top stitched something to do a running stitch around the edge. You could just draw it in. So in the pack, you've got black, grey, brown. So you've got your neutral colours. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five different greens. So you've got like a lime green, a bright green, an olive, an emerald. We've got three different blues, light 
light blue, royal blue and navy blue. And then you've got a medium purple and a dark purple, fuchsia pink, like fluorescent pink. Oh, I like this one. Let's forget that one. Really fluorescent pink. I'll do that on the other side so you can see what it looks like. Oh, that's beautiful fluorescent pink. Get some scrap fabric and have a go of all of them. Lovely raspberry pink. That one's nice, isn't it? That's a raspberry pink. Then we've got a scarlet. Then there's um, orange, like mustard and yellow. So that's everything you need, isn't it? It's all in there. Gives you the instructions on the back about drying and fixing. And then afterwards it says here, you can wash them 40 degree wash. So they're water-based as well. Clearly they don't wash out. That's not the point. But wouldn't they be great to just colour things in with? Or, you know, use them to add different looks and effects to your textiles. So much easier if you want to personalise something. Just write someone's name on it with these. You could even embroider on top if you wanted to afterwards. But it just allows you to add extra detail. So it doesn't need to just be for children things. If you've got one of those um, calico eco bags, you know, that you use for shopping, draw on it, trace on it. Print, print something you like off you like underneath and place it underneath the bag and then trace over it and colour it all in it look fantastic mm. textile markers so 13.99 you get 20 double ended as well so the thicker one is 3.6 mils and the thinner end is 2.3 mils so so you can use them for so many different things those pens would be good for eyelashes on rag dolls yeah they would be or if you wanted to put features on things, absolutely perfect. What you could do, if you wanted to be sure, is draw the features on with a heat erasable pen. Make sure you're happy. You can obviously iron them off if you're not. Once you're happy with the heat erasable, I do this quite often with a permanent marker pen. So I draw it all on with a heat erasable first, then draw over it with these because you then get to test it with a heat erasable because you can get rid of it if you don't like. If you're happy with it, then draw over it with your textile markers. And then you can just, um, once it's all fixed, once, obviously once you press it to fix, then any of the heat erasable will disappear. But it's a really nice way, because they're all in these colours, 13 99 for 20 of them. Message from Nina. Hello, Rebecca. Could you tell me if the open foot will fit my Elna 560? Thank you from Nina in Northumberland. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes because it's for category B machines, which is the 560, the 550, and the 570A. So you just need to decide whether you want an open toe or a closed toe. <clears throat> if you're gonna do be doing quilting over applique and that kind of thing where they might get caught, use the closed toe. Right, let's move over to this one. Right, the 680 plus, let me talk about that. Just to remind you, today is the day Today is the last day. Let me bring it in to show you. Today is the last day that you can get the free five-year warranty on the Elna 680 Plus. This is a beautiful machine. John Scott has this machine, enough said. Is that not testament enough? It, he, you know, you think how long he spends demoing these machines, looking at them. It is a beautiful machine, but it's a computerized sewing machine. It's a real workhorse. It is gorgeous. It has got so many features on it that you just really want. It's got the start stop feature so that you don't have to use the foot pedal if you don't want to, which is great when you've got all your hands and you, you know, you, you use everything. It has the knee lift. Um, it has so many feet, loads of them. Now, some of the feet are, the, you, you store the more common feet in the top here. Now, this machine, you know, you look at the price of it and you think, well, this is obviously for more experienced um, so stitcher. It isn't. This could easily be a beginner's machine. Look at the list of standard accessories that it comes with. But this could be a beginner's machine. The, the beauty of the Elna machine is it's really, really easy to use. Um, it comes with the walking foot. 
which we were just talking about. And I said, if you find a machine that comes with it, it's worth it. It has the speed control. It has a thread cutter. I know everybody, probably, if I said to you know 10 different people, what one thing do you want on your machine? We'd all have a different thing. To me, it's the thread cutter. I love a thread cutter. But actually, there's a thread cutter. So when you finish sewing your seam, you just press that, it's done. And it cuts the thread. You don't have to bother yourself. Um, it's got more um, more accessories that are stored underneath it. It has a quarter of an inch foot, so if you're a big patchwork and quilter, absolutely fantastic for that. It has the extra raise. This might be another thing that you like. It's got the extra higher raise presser foot. So when you're sewing something particularly thick and you need to get it over, you can do that. I use mine a lot when I'm inserting a zip and you get to the slider and I keep put the needle down, I need to go move the slider, you need to raise the foot just a little bit more. It has that extra feed on it. Here are the technical features for it. Lots and lots of different ones. It's really, I mean, it is a weighty machine. It's a good, solid machine. It's a workhorse. This will keep you, if you're a beginner, intermediate, whether you need to upgrade, um, you know, what we were saying earlier about it makes such a difference when you can you've got the speed you've got the build quality but i think getting a five-year warranty which ends at midnight is really worth it because and if it's a machine that you've been considering you thought oh i do need a new machine shall i get that one it has got a lot of extra features to it if you have a look online all of these extra features that it's got that i've got on screen at the moment they are online, you can read them then. Go on to the Elner website, read the reviews that we've got. If you're not sure, I mean, I'm sure you've seen us demonstrating it quite a lot. It has the knee lift function, which I think is absolutely brilliant because when you've got your hands and you're quilting and you're sewing and then you can't be um, lifting the, the pad, you know, if you can't be lifting the foot, then you have a bar that you, can, that you put in and you can use your knee to lift the foot so keep your hands free. So it's all of those lots and lots of little features that all add up to the most beautiful machine. But having it as um, with a five year warranty, that does end at midnight. It's, it's a, for me, that's a bit of a game changer because you know that this is guaranteed. And whatever happens, five years, you'll have your machine mended or replaced, whatever, but it will be five years and you have got that free warranty. And it does make a big difference to your machine really big difference to your sewing it takes your sewing up to that next level so if you struggle say with the top stitch this has got such a good speed control on it you can go really slow the actual foot plate itself the needle plate has so many different marks and guides it's even got the angles so if you need to sew a mitered corner at a 45 degree angle that's marked on the foot plate to make it easy for you it will take your sewing up to the next level and Elmo is such good quality quality build really good motor that it will last it will last and make a big difference. I think if you're going to invest in your hobby like this, you need to buy something of quality. I mean, obviously, we sell a whole range of machines. This isn't our most expensive machine. This is probably in the middle somewhere. But, you know, we know what it's like if you're getting skip stitches, if you've tried, you've had it cleaned, you've tried all the different things, and you thought, I'm not sewing anymore because my machine's letting me down, this is the time. The computerized machine like this, it does the thinking for you. It sorts your tension out, works it all out for you. You tell it what you're, you're doing, it sorts it out for you. Yes, it's got loads and loads of stitches. You can program um, words in the alphabet. You can do all these different stitches, but it's got loads and loads of utility stitches. So if you want to hem a t-shirt, it's got the stretch stitch that will allow you to do that. If you need to um, um, darn a pair of jeans, it's got the darning foot and it's got these stitches that will allow you to do that. If you're working on extremely lightweight fabrics, you want to make a new blouse from lawn, it's got the stitches and it's got the plates and the feet that will do that. If you want to do a blind hem, it's, you know, it's got all of that. It will take your sewing from where it is now to the, the next level. So this isn't, you know, this isn't our most expensive machine. It's not the bottom, it's not the top, but it is our most popular. And it's got a five year free warranty that ends at midnight, ends at midnight. Now you can buy it as one payment. You can buy it on split pay, totally up to you. Have a think about it. 
Um, if you've got any questions, message us or ask. Ask on the front page. We've got so many customers who've bought it who absolutely do it. Anyway, we're going to go to a break and I will be back in a couple of minutes time with Dawn again. And it's all about the cork and the bags. We're making some beautiful shoulder bags and lunch bags using Debbie Shaw's book. And we've got all the cork available by the half meter as well. So don't go anywhere. I'll see you back here in just a minute's time. <laughs> Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, 
Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Welcome back to Yarn Lane. Uh, we've had a great morning so far, lots of new products. I know I was quite excited. I thought, well, if I've got to work on a bank holiday, I want all the new stuff. I've had a new William Morris quilt gone. Um, we've had Bumblebee Gnomes gone. Rotating cutting mats, nearly gone. Still available, nearly gone, but still available. And um, we have got fantastic cork, cork. Oh, we've put loads of new things on there in the break. So have a look on the website. It's all there. Lots of things. Um, this hour, we have got the lovely Dawn, who is going to be showing us how to make bags from cork and fabric. Cork and fabric together. Beautiful. From Debbie Shaw's fantastic book. So the book is available separately. And then we have put together some bundles that you can use using the cork and fabric to make either of the bags that um, Dawn's going to demonstrate for us. Oh, I forgot. Please, can I not? Why can't I remember? I have to hold this book up. <laughs> when I'm on the other one, I can use the overhead. Brilliant book. So eco-friendly. Nice pun. Nice pun. So everything in here is obviously eco-friendly. So we've got some wonderful projects inside. Well, how many are there? 25. So you've got 25 projects and the book is only 9 99 all sorts of things, all sorts of products and different ideas of things that you can use. So let's have a look. We've got, I'm just going to say, we've got all the sort of the tips and the materials and the fabrics and the threads and everything that you can use and techniques as well. So all the different techniques, obviously, if you've seen Debbie's books before, you will know that. She's really good at all the different techniques. Um, and then we have the projects themselves. So we're still, um, still on techniques, still on techniques. Love these. Makeup remover pads. So you think how much money you spend on makeup remover pads, and they are patterns make your own. Then we've got wax sandwich wraps. Don't, no need for cling film. No need for cling film. Um, snack pouch, again, wax, so you don't need cling film. Um, bath sponges, that's such a good idea, isn't it? Because these, you chuck in your washing machine afterwards. I can't believe this book's only 9 99 Hemp tote bags, that's fantastic, isn't it, isn't it? Yeah, look at that, save the embroidery. Colour them in with your fabric pens. Um, then we've got, it's really hard doing this. It's really a baby wipes bag. That's nice. And that's all using the cork as well because this cork fabric is sustainable. That's the beauty of it. The baby wipes bag. I'm trying to get to the, the bag that Dawn's going to be, show, be showing us in a moment. Well, we're really getting there. Um, the bottle bag. Love that. I mean, ideal obviously for picnics, but you know, when you go to the supermarket instead of using one of their bags. Um, stocking gift bags. You can be sustained, eco-friendly, even at Christmas. Then we've got the grocery bag. That's lovely, that one, isn't it? So you've got, that one's got cork and denim, really nice mixture. Then we've got the plant pot covers. Those are so sweet, aren't they? You know, those horrible, boring, black plastic plant pot covers. No, you just cover it in this, that's lovely. 
um, fabric gift wrap. So if you know somebody who loves fabric, don't use wrapping paper, use fabric and they can have it as well. Or use your fabric and they can have it back when you're finished. But look at that, I love the way she's wrapped the um, two bottles. It's really clever, isn't it? Um, then we get into the gift cube. Oh, I like that. For those very difficult to wrap presents. Then we are on to the gift bags. They're really sweet, aren't they? They've got a drawstring top on them. Beautiful gift bags. So because this is all about it being eco-friendly, you know, don't buy wrapping paper and gift bags. Make them yourself and then they've got that as well. Then we've got the repair kit. Oh, that's really sweet, isn't it? So you give, give somebody their own repair kit so they've always got it with them and then they can repair things rather than throwing them out. Uh, then we've got bowl covers. Again, that's, you know, that's re really useful for a picnic, but how many times do you pop something back in the fridge and put a bit of cling film on, on top? But instead you make these, they're like little shower caps, really. Really, really good idea. Apron, obviously. All very summery. Um, then we've got wipes, kitchen wipes. Um, the fold away bag, because that's really useful, isn't it? Instead of going in a plastic bag in the supermarket, keep one of these fold away bags in your handbag to use. We're nearly there. Then we have the cork lunch bag. Now, this is one of the um, bags that Dawn is going to be showing us how to, how to create. It is gorgeous. I love the fact that you've got the cork on top, but sometimes with these little bags, you will think everything's going to fall out, but no, because it has this drawstring um, fabric bit at the top, and that keeps it all in. I'll show you the bags in a moment. You'll love them. And we have got fabric bundles that contain everything you need to make those. So that's the lunch bag. And also, oh, that's the cut cutlery roll. Perfect for Perfect for picnics. Yeah, I think I've gone through the bag. We've even got um, face masks in here. So the other bag, <laughs> is this one problem when you look at bag um, books upside down? I missed it. it, was the grocery bag. It was the grocery bag. There we go, the grocery bag. Confused me because it was denim. So that's the other one. So we're going to be showing you how to use those. So it's only 9.99, not no, no, 9 .99. So much in this book, 25 projects. They are all reusable projects for sustainable sewing, as I've shown you. So all the instructions you need will be in here. And what's brilliant is once you've bought the book, you can then make all of the projects, but we're gonna show, well, we, Dawn is gonna be showing you how to make a couple of them, but you need the book for all the instructions. But I think that is fantastic. You don't often see a sewing book with that number of projects at 9.99 as well. What a brilliant price. In fact, the back of the book says 10.99. So that's a pound off pound cheaper than it says on the back right so kits well these are fabric bundles more than kits so we have got a whole host of them but right, I'm gonna start with this one so with this one this is behind me I was just looking for it this is the grocery bag now the two bags that we've been talking about the lunch bag with the drawstring top which I'll show you here this is one that Dawn made earlier. This one here, which has the fabric drawstring, it has fabric lining, and it has fabric handles. <clears throat> the grocery bag has a cork base, and then fabric in the sort of the top two thirds. It's fully lined, and it has fabric handles. You can make either of these bags with this bundle. So you get half a meter of the cork, and a meter of the main print fabric. So you can make either of these, whether it's the, um, the drawstring lunch bag or the grocery bag, but either of them you can make with the bundle that's 19.99, which is amazing. You get half a meter of cork and a meter of the fabric. So either of those you can make with them. If you've got any questions, just let me know. So bundle number one is the, this one, gorgeous. I love this cork, it's amazing. It's got the gold flake. Look, gorgeous. Well, you can see how gold it is by that gold bit on the edge, but it's like it's like all the um, the lines around the edge of the cork are outlined in a beautiful metallic gold. The half metre of this, then you get a metre of this fabric, and this is lovely because this is metallic. Oh, the picture on the web is incorrect. 
So isn't this lovely? So you've got, it's like a white background, lovely, but then the birds and all the leaves, all of the print is in a gold metallic. So let me hold it up and show you the birds. Look, isn't that lovely? Very opulent. This makes an extremely stylish grocery bag or lunch bag, doesn't it? It's beautiful fabric. It's Riley Blake as well. So meter of the Riley Blake golden bird leaf design and half a meter of the goldy cork right next bundle let's go rainbows rainbows and stars so i love this is one of my favorite corks it's like sort of paint 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 splattered so it's you've got your cork background and then it's just got little splatters of all multicolored, like somebody splattered it with paint all different colors but it goes beautifully with this fabric so half a meter of that then you get a meter of this black fabric which features rainbows and shooting stars a whole meter of that that's lovely so um in fact dawn has made both bags using this one so let me show you this is what it looks like this bundle as the grocery bag you've got the gorgeous cork all the way around the bottom makes it it's wiped clean makes it really sturdy then you've got the black um, rainbow fabric that goes on the outside it's used for the handles and it's fully lined all the way all the way through with this lovely like shooting star black fabric so that's what it looks like as the group grocery bag alternatively you can make the drawstring lunch bag with it so the whole of the outside when you hold it like that, it's just the cork. You just see the line around the rim around the edge. Really showcases the cork beautifully, doesn't it? Imagine if you went to buy this in a store with a beautiful cork bag like this. It would cost way more. Then it features the drawstring top. And in it, you can put all sorts because it is lined as well. You can fully line it. Dawn's put her lunch in this one. It is deceivingly big. But that is just, I really like that. So that's that bundle, 19.99. I'm moving things off my phone room. Um, now, if you like the rainbow look, but you want a slightly different color, I'll fold these up in a minute, is this bundle. So again, you've got that rainbow cork with a sort of paint splattered effect. But this time you've got like a, a white background, gray leaves, and then rainbow flowers. So this one, um, Dawn made the, some, the lunch bag in this one. So you've got the drawstring top. Been very busy, Dawn. Mm. Very, very busy. I couldn't resist the fabric, so I just had to keep using it. I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? But you look, you see, you can get a whole sandwich box in one of these. Get loads of them. I mean, that's just one. You can get loads of them in. So it's brilliant. If you take it to the office or if you give it, you're, you're going for a picnic in the park, give it to the children to take to school all very safe in there and then finally the last bundle this one is pretty i like this one um, this has got a lovely silver although you, you can see the silver because it's on the edge there but it's quite subtle so all the edges it just looks like a shimmer on it because all the edges of the cork pieces are outlined but it's like a shimmer half a meter of that but then you get this beautiful floral fabric this is brilliant for your summer picnics isn't it but look lovely as you grocery bag them because you've got a lime green background with really vibrant pink um, oranges and different shades of pink flowers as well. Nineteen ninety nine for that. Remember, every bundle you can make either the grocery bag or the lunch bag with them. Um, have a look on the website because we've got all of the cork available by the half meter as well. Um, have a look on the website. It's if you are interested in just the cork. That's all available by for the half meter. It's all on the website, sewingstreet.com. Watch live and scroll down from there and you will see it all. So, Dawn, what are you going to show us? Well, I'm going to try and show you a little bit of both of the Okay, bags. well, that would be nice. But can I just say the cork is absolutely beautiful. If you've not sewn with cork before, what would your tips it's be? It's just, well, some people were saying about using a Microtex needle. I mm. didn't. I used a sharp, a sharp one. Right. Um, but I also said that I used the twin needle. So the twin needle okay. is a three millimeter, isn't it? And it's an 80 
12 is yeah. the one that I used and I didn't have any problem sewing through it. So it's a three millimetre gap between the two needles. Is that so why did you use that one then? Because I wanted to, um, basically I found it in my machine <laughs> and I wanted to use it and I thought because I saw this one, I just thought to, to mirror those pretty colours because the Gutemann oh, yeah, thread, true. there's a blue that is exactly the same colour and a yellow oh, and that's okay. what I wanted to do around. So I did it on the, the black one with the, the stars. Yes. And did the, um, so on one side lovely, I did it? the, it almost looks like rainbows, but I was yeah. thinking you could do all of those stitches, you could do all the colours of the rainbow and I just got a little bit carried away. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, but I just absolutely loved it. And my son came downstairs last night when I was, when I was getting everything ready, he's 17, mm. and he said, he said, mum, this is gorgeous, I need something with this. He absolutely adored it. Oh, he wow. thought it was beautiful. Whereas my husband loves the gold, shows yes. that he's very sophisticated. What well, I used to work with preschoolers and I just paint splats is, is the, me. The, but the you've got everybody one. is sort of covered yes, in all it the is, different. Yes, definitely. But court fabric is so lovely to so, work with. So you need to use a sharps needle. Yes, yeah, sharps Pressing. needle. Um, you can press it from the wrong side with because um, you have to put when you're doing the grocery bag. We do use some H640. Okay, so a bit of you can press in there. it. Um, I put a, a piece of that's just, in the graphics there. So is a meter enough? Um, yes, I just okay. put it on the top. And then I put some um, spare fabric on the top of that, and then I just pressed it okay. and just kept it. And it does it does adhere. It does adhere quite okay. well. And just go slowly. So I did. Um, I did break a needle, but what I so the pattern does ask for you to fold this over like that. Right. But I, when I tried to then go onto this bit, but I was using the twin needle as well. Obviously, it wasn't strong enough. Right, because you got but a lot I was of using, layers. I was the one that comes with the machine. I think is a ballpoint. Whereas right. the one that you had this morning was a sharp one, oh, so that's okay. what I did. So you, you learn by, yeah. by doing Yeah, and also things. it was more bulky. And, yes, yeah. so what I did is I didn't fold it down when I did it, and I sewed this bit first mm. with the twin needle, and it meant that I could get the effect, and then I put it together afterwards. Okay. So if you want, you don't have to use the twin needle. No, but no, I just but thought, just a nice... You top stitch this mm. one, you're supposed to do three rows of well, stitching. Well, it's something that we have. You either you have just, a twin needle, but if you want to buy one, they're not very expensive, but you just don't use them. Yes. And Actually, two lines of top stitching, even if you're hemming your jeans, looks yes, fab, doesn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, I've done better. it on stretch clothes because you mm. have it on top of bottom yeah. of t-shirts. And I just hadn't thought about using it. And then I just, it's the, the fabric was asking for yes, it, really. Yeah, fabric, because Because you colours. can't use every stitch. But when I realised you could actually use the stitch that looks like a rainbow, then I just, I had to use it. That was and it then. Using it on my um, 580 as well, it was just so easy. Just reading the, reading the instructions and then popping, mm. I don't know, we, can I move this over so we can see from yeah, up yeah, there? Is that, yeah. so I just want to be able to show everyone what I was trying to say before. Let's go all the way. So here yeah. you've got your two, there Yeah, that's fine, because so you can see So there. that's what you do. I mean, you read your instructions, they are really clear. I just have got it here. So it's really clear how you do it. And basically you put your twin needle in the bottom and then you take this out from where you've, um, what's this bit called, like the tool tray bit? Yes, yeah. You pop it on the top, but as I said, what I do is I now work like this, and if I'm sewing something and I've got two different colours, I will have them both. I only have one threaded through, and also if you're using something and your bobbin colour is different, you can then thread your bobbin mm. separately. Does it... I think it needs a dust. <laughs> Every time you <laughs> wind something, usually you get your thread coming through. So you take both of your threads through here, you put your twin needle on, and then say this, your yellow, you would put in the left-hand side, and then your brown you would put in the right-hand side. Remember, that's the other reason I think I broke my needle. There is a button on the front that shows you two twin needles. Right. You have to press it. Right. And I hadn't pressed it. So do, do read your manual. Do read your manual. Practice. But once yes. you've got the hang of twin needling, I use it a lot Beautiful. for stained glass because you can then, um, you can stitch parallel lines when you're doing applique and things. It's but it's only 3.49 for a twin needle. I was really surprised when I when well, I have a go it. and then you think oh oh what else could I use this exactly, on exactly exactly so I'm going to show you how to do the top of the drawstring bag because there are many different ways of doing this I'm just going to show you the way that it says in the book now with this fabric it is directional your birds are directional right. the others aren't 
the um, the flowers are mm -hmm. um, the and what I did is I I made sure my line was on either the white or the grey because if you try and do a straight line where those florals are you're not going to get it okay. perfect but when you are laying this down think about where you need to put your fabric yes. because when I was sewing it I put so where's my if I got a bird on here there's my bird's head you need to think that when it's up it's going to be that way yeah don't so put it don't do all right sides together and then you've got your birds upside down <laughs> think about that first think about that bit first i guess sewing on cork the holes are there and that's it isn't it yes i mean i did on i think it was the other one when i did break my needle i could see where i had i did have to unpick but because i hadn't gone very far and then i just went back into the lines oh, okay. really easily but if you were if you did it a couple of times you wouldn't have many goes I no so it's one of those that do double check yes the things and use your clips as well don't just use okay so that's another good one yeah, so not, the need not sharps using your needle pins. clips not pins so try not to go bird. wrong and try not to go wrong well just sewing slowly and yes. purposefully i mean i don't want it to be stressful for everyone to be worrying but it does make a difference um if you then do make um that mistake now let me just i have got it saved here so the way that we're going to do this one is we're going to roll our top bit down so we need this part here um to not have any stitching and you start an inch and three quarters down i have got my where have i put my ruler i do this in the sewing room and then people are messaging me and saying, Dawn, it's there, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to do an inch and three quarters down. Pop a pin in there. And then I was um, chant. This is going to sound strange. I was chanting to myself last night. I was falling asleep. Remember to do the zigzag stitch. Remember to do the zigzag <laughs> stitch. Because I when I when I was when I was sewing it, I was just off, and then I f and I did forget to actually do my hems afterwards. So if I forget, can you just say Dawn? Remember, remember to do the zigzag, zigzag stitch. stitch. I'll try. So we're going to start sewing here, and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. We're going to use um, our normal. Um, so what bit is that, and why do you leave that? This bit is the drawstring bit. So this okay. we're going to roll this bit over at the top. And then we're going to sew it across and then that's going to be our casing and then we're right. going to add that to our cork piece. okay so we'll do this bit first now the reason i've put the pin in there is because when i was sewing it before i was back stitching and i was going back too far and uh, i didn't have okay. enough to roll down so do make sure you've got something that you can actually see yeah no that makes sense let me just make sure my foot pedal i sew standing up at home and trying to get my foot pedal in the right place is um to you i don't i like I just I love I now I've done it. It was sewing mm. streets. It was because I did it at sewing street and then my husband said, "Oh, well I can build you a table because I said it, I needed to practice." And I haven't had touch wood a day of back pain. Oh, really? Till I went to work down in the shop. I helped my friend shop and I sat down sewing and I got back pain. Uh, okay. So by standing up sewing street has fixed my back. I mean, I guess it's easy because it's easier to then, you know, when you're moving over to the ironing board or the cutting yes. mat and stuff. And I find unfortunately my pedal cord is on the right of the machine and that's the side oh, I need to okay. move out from. Right. So I often um trip over. Ah, uh, okay. And I can't do it any other way. It needs to be that it needs side. Needs to be that side. And so annoying. Yes. So annoying. So I've never, but my table's not high enough, so I can't do that. Yeah, this, I mean, these are higher now. These are much, much better to, um, to sew yeah. on. So there we've got, and now we need to take our iron and we're going to fold down half a centimetre. I think it's, she does give it you, um, Debbie does do her instructions in inches and centimetres. So it's up to you which you follow. So I'm going to say it's half a centimetre. I'm going to fold it down like that. And then sew all the way along and then that then becomes our casing there we go it's quite hot um when you're <laughs> touching it i'm going to move it over try not to burn myself because my husband absolutely loved this fabric he said can we have cushions in it i'm saying okay it is beautiful it is really, really nice beautiful. isn't it because i think the metallic makes it thicker as well doesn't it yes I but thought, it's still lovely to iron i was a bit nervous for ironing well it, but i it's thought still oh is this not quilting weight cotton this is, is the most really popular nice. bundle 
But doesn't the bag look completely different in the two different Well, I thought options? this was like heavier, but I think it's the metallic, isn't it? That weave, that's weaved through that makes it. There's only five of these bundles left, the one with the gold, the Riley Blake with the gold print. Only five left, but it gives it such a nice weight. 14 in baskets and only five left. So nine of you are going to miss out. Nine of you are going to miss out. If it's in your basket, please do check out very quickly because you get a metre this beautiful fabric and half a meter of the gold cork. So now we're mm. going to press our centers open as well. These irons are so useful. If you were doing this with them um, with a bigger iron, you, that's how you do injure yourself because it's just having a small iron makes yes, all the it difference. Yes, it is. And also, it, because, although it's a steam iron, you don't then get your, you don't steam burn yourself no, as much as a big iron. Exactly. So you can see I've now followed that line up, and then mm. I need to do some zigzag stitching on there. Don't forget the zigzag. Forget. Zigzag on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do when I'm filming lives. There's a, there's a couple of ladies um, that I'll say, "Well, I can't find my," and then I w wait for the comments to come up mm. on Facebook, and then I know where it is that I've um, where I've left it. I'm going to turn that off because, and then down here, so we need to put a zigzag stitch down here. Now you can use your pinking shears, but I found that I struggled to thread that one through because it folded back on itself. Okay. So, but on here, you literally just press the zigzag stitch and the zigzag stitch is there, which is lovely. So I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch. Just makes all the difference when you're trying to thread it through. And because I have already done my pressing at the top, um, then I can just roll that back down and then sew my casing. It's very, it's quite a quick make this, but so useful. And for so many different ages, and it doesn't have to be for lunch boxes. You can use it as a knitting and all the bag, instructions anything. are in the all the instructions are in the book. So Easy. many different, but you could combine this with the the bathroom things with the face. Well, this. It's gift heaven, this book. It is, actually, Absolutely. when you look at the so many different things you could do with this. I think you could make something for literally um, anybody yeah. in your family, which doesn't always happen with books. Well, no, not especially for the men. Yeah, they are them. tricky, but they all, you know, they need things in their bathroom, don't they? And as I said, my 17-year-old yes. saw this fabric last night. I've got a tiny square left um, to go in the scraps. <laughs> Been. I said I haven't got enough to make you anything, but I, I am going to have to um, to order some because he absolutely loved it, and he never asks for anything. So there we go. So I've done my zigzag stitch, and then this just folds back down because we've already put our crease lines in, and then I can just pop a pin or a clip, and then we're going to sew all the way along. And you get the ribbon in the bundle as well, don't you, to go through the top, which will be lovely there we go just fold that back up pop another pin clip I keep saying pins and we There's sorry and we have <laughs> i was reading about sustainable cork it's, it's quite when you read about the cork because i i took this i took some of the cork to um to the shop when i was doing mm -hmm. my cutting and prepping and some of the ladies there who are sewers they said i've never seen cork before and they imagined that people had cut now i'm assuming they don't that they'd cut all the tops off corks and then sort of laminated no, it but it's, it's not it's, it's a the cork bark piece. i mean i've used cork but i didn't realize that's what i was reading it it can be harvested every nine to ten years so it doesn't harm them they just take the pork bark it all comes from portugal yes and then that's why it's sustainable because after nine ten years it grows back again yeah. um it's we've got perfect. ribbons we've got ribbons so if you need a ribbon for your drawstring we have meter pieces of um like organza ribbons very nice so we've got that lovely lilac meter of one meter piece of lilac they are pre-cut so obviously if you buy more but that's enough for your drawstring top it's really pretty as well so it won't add too much weight which means it goes through the, the casing quite nicely um, then we've got the chocolate color half and a meter piece of that which is enough for the drawstring but sometimes when you put ribbon through a casing, it's a bit too bulky. It doesn't draw it up very well. But this um, organza ribbon, beautiful. And then finally, you just have to choose the colour you want. We have ivory, a metre piece. And this is the right, this is half an inch width. So it's the right width. Well, 12 mils, nearly half an inch. There we go. We've also got toggles. Now, I really like these toggles. 
Because they're metal. They're the spring toggles, so they're the ones that you press down, holds the cord or the ribbon tight, and then you let um, holds them tight, and then you press them down to move them along. But they're metal ones, so you get two in the packet for $1.99, the lovely sort of circular shape. But usually, when you get these, um, they're plastic. But these are metal, really like them. You can use them for cord, uh, you can use them for ribbon. They'll work with a six mil cord, but they're lovely. I mean, whether you're using them for a drawstring on this, because it does, it will hold the ribbon nice and tight. But I like the fact they're metal. There we go. Um, and finally, yeah, well, I was telling Dawn about, I love these, the bodkins. Now, I lost mine, and I found them very recently in a knitting bag. No idea why. Isn't it annoying when you find a tool somewhere it doesn't belong? Months I've lost it for. Um, the bodkin is brilliant because you can use it for threading elastic or ribbon through a casing without having to use a safety pin and we haven't had them on air since september only 1.99 but they're absolutely brilliant so you've got the bodkin that you can just use for threading through because you know how the safety pin comes undone but there's also that one just threads through the one on the left hand side the one on the right hand side has got like a pinchy thing, like a tweezer. And then there's a ring that goes round. So once you've pinched it with the twe pinchy tweezer bit, you push the ring down and that holds it tight. So it's really good for pulling something that you can't safety pin through. I need to have a look because I've not seen them before. Have you not? No. Oh, well, we're just going to have to open them then. Because I've just got a trust trusty old safety pin. Not a rusty old safety pin. So safety this pin. one just threads through. Right. But it's got a nice end but this one what you do is you open it up like this so you put the ring at the top and then you can pinch your ribbon okay and it will hold so you, once you've got your ribbon or cord or whatever in you pull the ring down and it holds it so tight you can then use that to thread through so is that good if you were um, doing some stuffing into something and you hold on to the, the filling yeah, and you then could, push it through yeah, or you you're could do. turning something right because sides it's out got, um, if it's that short? Yeah, and it's got little it's teeth. It's tight because you hold the tweezers as tight as you can. Yes. And it, and you but can't it's got little teeth. Yes. And it, honestly, if you wanted I to thread to, um, elastic through. pop that in my basket, I think. But it's the thready type and the pinch type depending on what you're doing absolutely brilliant and for 1.99 really good one of my favorite tools that i've recently refound. <laughs> it's good you should have bought another one and then you would i have know found it, and it's then you so would have annoying two, but these are fab two. you have to have a go with them thank i love you. them thank you so i've done my did my casing for the top here okay and all you do is just thread with your bodkin and then mm. you would just thread all the way through now what it does it goes all the way in one and out so it's just one it's not a double like a drawstring oh, okay. it's one long one and because those are metal because debbie's patterns you can sell what you make with debbie's patterns if you used a metal one on there that would make the it, it does it i always think bag it? hardware is a great makes thing such isn't a it difference definitely i'm only 1.99 for two but they do make it look they do they do if they were sat there they would be if they were yes. next to another bag they yeah. would then they would make a difference so i'm going to pop that one to one side i'm going to look at the twin stitching now so with the you can do this on both of the bags so i've done the the twin needle stitching on this one. Oh, hang on backwards on that one there mm. okay i know it looks fab it does it. i'm I, I need to i need to you'll have to go find my page and i'm going to do a rainbow i'm going to do all the colors yeah. and uh, one of them i have to do just one because there's yeah, seven colors true. to the rainbow isn't it but i, I have you to can make get the rainbow triple needle have you ever used one of those oh you can <laughs> you can get yeah, it must be called triple, but you can get triple needles. Okay. Mm. See, I, to, to use it for decorative stitching is mm. a whole new world. Because I did it on the straps as well. Um, so the straps have got it on there. Yeah, no, it but does. But on the reverse, it's still just as pretty. Yeah, because you would never, yeah, you'd never get that, you'd never get it that it's straight, would you? It's a completely different, no, it's a completely different. Well, um, you can get triple needles. Wow. That might I change. I need to go on an, an adventure. Oh, we've only got about 15 minutes left. Oh, so where did that go? <laughs> with the um, the grocery bag. Yes. What you do is when you attach your um, your fabric again, remembering which way round it goes. And then what I did is I top stitched along here just to bring the two colours together. So I've got a yellow and I've got a brown in there, and I'm just going to thread them. So I'm going to do the yellow. I've got the variegated thread on the bottom. I'm going to thread that through. 
but you can do with the cork it's such a lovely fabric to sew on and as I said I didn't need a special needle I just did it slowly and it was fine and I know when I was sewing with um, with PU before on my older machine I was making some bags and then when I came into the studio and I used this machine it was absolutely fine whereas when I was sewing with the PU at home I had to change um, I had to try and use a Teflon foot um, and it really my machine struggled whereas this machine hence why I bought it and that's the 580 plus this is so the that's in the plus. spin at the moment 859 pounds which is a brilliant price but because it is a high spec machine it is it really is and people have commented on my channel and said you know that they can see the difference and they can hear the difference mm. and you know when I've when I've been sewing now it's made a difference to what I can make. So, you know, I'd be sewing something mm. going, ooh, is it going to work? Well, your Whereas machine now, can really I, let I you down, know. can't it? And it this, can. This doesn't let you down. I mean, I did down. love my machine. She's still, I've still got her. Mm. Right, she... so I have pressed my twin needle stitch. Okay. okay. And then there's just a couple of stitches you can use. I'm going to use the same one. So I need mode two and 34. And it's just really easy. And if it doesn't, if it won't do that stitch, it just tells you. It just you. won't let you. Just yeah, go, it just tells uh, you. Uh, now, I won't go all the way along. Don't go too fast. Um, don't go too slow either, but just keep it steady. And the effect is just amazing. I literally stood there when I was doing this and it takes a long time, but it's so worth it. The effect is so lovely. So, not... so have you threaded yours in the same color? No, so I've got the variegated, I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. I've got the variegated... Oh, let's get in. I'm going to come and look. <gasps> wow! I know. Can oh, we get on. close to that? Look right at place. that. It's yeah. so beautiful. So it's a twin needle with a scallop, but because you've used variegated thread, it changes colour as well. And that's the, the needle that we use. So all you need is a twin needle... And a 580 sewing machine. And a 580. I mean, it goes. I, I, the 580. I think the five. I don't think the one that's in there hasn't is is not. I can't right. remember which one that is. But the 580 and the 570. But the definitely, 680 plus will do it yes, as well. Definitely. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? I think that's gorgeous. So you can't. That's use so your, professional. You can't use your needle threader. You have to do yes, it. Yes, you have to do it anyway. Yeah, but that's um, so, um, and I love the variegated thread. But if you did that on the rainbow fabric, yeah. it just is beautiful. I can't. I was I was so excited when that I figured it out. I'm very excited for that. So professional. And you know Kat's favourite, um, the needle threader that we've got. That yes. You can thread your needle. So when you're taking your, so don't pull your thread back through. Snip it off. Pull it through here. And then thread that onto a needle and put it into the cat will help will be able to remember what it's called. You put it into the needle keeper okay. that you've got, and then all these bits of thread don't get lost. And then when you need to do something else with a little bit of thread, you've got, you've it. got that. But the I just I love the using the, the two needles, up, the two colours up there, mm. because then when you're sewing with a black and a white or whatever it is, you're not re threading the whole machine and taking it all yeah. out. It's um that's fab. But it's a, these are these are really really lovely bags to and make. that and makes quite a difference that's not the sort of thing you you get with a very no. basic machine no definitely and you can Karen, do it on thank the, you for you using twin needles i've got three stained glass panels to do and never seen how to use twin needles more please from karen from dumfries yeah they are brilliant for stained glass you just have to follow your instruction manual thread it up have a go and then it's just like oh, fun, amazing but now I need a three needle. Oh, yes. So is it got a triple? Mm. triple now, whether they work with all machines or not, I know you'd have to check whether you've got enough spools, okay. but you can buy triple. Because okay. I know you can, you don't have to have the second spool. People do put them in cups yeah. and things behind, but having so this up here buy, um, is amazing. But you can get there. triple. Mm. And the twin needles, only £3.49. And what an amazing effect that it had. There we go. And it's universal, so it means it's, it's sharp with a very slightly rounded punt. And it will work in nearly every machine, to be fair. These hemline needles do work in pretty much all machines. But they are brilliant. 
and that's got the three mil gap because you can the need twin needles do come with different gaps the gap the three mil is the gap between the so if you're doing straight stitching you'll get a three mil gap and that's what it's important when you're looking at things like stained glass where you need to know how far apart it is but only 349 really worth it just have a play so if you're making the grocery tote and the same with the lunch tote this is how you put your handles in so we make our handles as we often do the bias tape method so you fold it in half yes fold it in half yeah. again and then use your twin needle to do some beautiful top stitching <laughs> oh scallops and then even loving that oh, using yeah. this bit always of your you've now got another pattern piece so you then will lay this your I mean, I did use it on some of them. I did use the inside, but with this one, I didn't want to waste the beautiful fabric. No. So I've just used some of my lining <laughs> fabric that's matching. I do like a pretty lining, though. It gives me joy. It does, but I think with the with the um, the gold birds, I think the cream inside is nice. Yeah, I think it's yeah. quite nice. But I really like the fact that the darker one has got it all the yeah, way through. Yeah, no, it does look lovely. Well, then you can use that to make something else. Exactly, you can. So you would then do um, you'd attach this with some top stitching. I'll just take it to the machine and then you Do attach you your needle. Cat says she uses her twin needle on everything. Really? Oh, she would. Oh, it would be nice. Oh, they she... are brilliant. I and mean, it's it's one of those things you've got to give yourself a bit of time to play with it, work out how to do it. It's like the thing that I get um, asked the most is I'm too scared of changing my sewing machine foot. So you can imagine people being too scared to change their <laughs> yeah. sewing machine needle. They want to know how to use their zipper foot. They want to know if how to use their buttonhole foot. So when I started mentioning twin needles, I had people going, oh, that just sounds really, really scary, but it's such a beautiful thing to yeah, do. Yeah, it isn't, it isn't. And I, I, mean, I did break one. Go wrong anyway. I did break one, yeah. but how much were they? Three pound forty nine. So, yeah, it's you worth. know, just and go just slow. go slow and make sure if you've got mm. the feature, use it properly <laughs> and press the button that you need to press because that was the issue i did not press the button um that changed it to the twin needles and then just trying to thread here there we go and i'm just going to join this at the top i know we haven't got lots of time left but i thought showing everybody um the twin needle would be such a good um thing to do and i think we've uh, it was we're just going to join this all the way along go a little bit faster i like this method of putting um, bags together because the drop-in method um, sometimes your lining isn't the perfect size for your outside if you've gone off slightly then your lining won't perfectly match and then you've got to change your seams but if you're doing it this way and then you just sew all the way around and bag it out I prefer but Debbie's got so many pictures in here so many pictures to show you how to do it and then I just show you bring that back down so you've now got your base here and then you've joined your um, your handles in and then what you do you mirror your fabric so your other lining piece would go here your other main fabric and then your cork and then you turn it right sides out and then you sew all the way around leaving a gap at the top here and then you would turn it right sides out but as i said there's so many pictures in here to show you you've got where you're cutting out your corners how you're making your bag straps and how you're turning it right sides out and the same with the lunch bag as well there's lots and lots of pictures that you can refer to to show you how to do your and hopefully i've shown you a different way of doing a drawstring there's lots of different ways to do drawstrings and that is just one of the ways that i've shown you okay fab that's brilliant brilliant inspiring i have never done a twin needle without stitch i'm going to give it a go i love that that's fantastic <laughs> i'm just going to do a quick recap on all of the kits so let's start off with the book so eco-friendly by debbie shaw 25 projects 25 for 9.99 so many so many photographs so really useful to use and it's all featuring um either sort of sustainable products or projects that you could then reuse like bags and that, that kind of thing so it is a wonderful eco-friendly book there's so much in it 25 projects for 9.99 loads and loads like and dawn was saying you would it'd be difficult to not find something for somebody Definitely. in this book 
Definitely. And the, as you said, the men are harder to buy for, but they will, some of them will need a lunchbox, they mm. will go for a picnic, they will need a bottle bag, they use, you know, wipes in the bathroom. And there's even, there's even a recipe of how to make your own kitchen wipes. So you make them from old t-shirts and then you put them in a jar with vinegar. Oh, I love that. And as you said, there's all the information at the beginning. You just, you can't stop reading know, it it's because really, it's really, I know, I was like, it's, oh, so, it's, really? it's what do yeah. they call it, a coffee table bag. It book, is, don't they? really good. So for 9 99 this is, a, I would highly recommend this book. I love it. Now, if you want to buy one of the kits, well, this one, the gold one is sold out, so you can't have that one. My husband was right then. Mm. <laughs> the silver, silver cork with the floral, floral print fabric, you get half a metre of this beautiful silver, like it is quite, if I move it, you can see it's got quite a shimmer to it. It's not really full on metallic, it's just got that shimmer around the edges. And then you get this beautiful floral fabric that goes with it. It's like a lime apple green background with really stunning, vibrant pink and purple and yellowy orangey flowers. Beautiful for the summer. So if you're making summer bags, this is ideal. A metre of the cotton, half a metre of the cork. That's an amazing value for money. Remember the cork is really wide as well get loads out of that one um if you like the rainbow ones so the rainbow one that dawn used oh doesn't either either um you get half a meter i know i've mixed all my bundles up got in the right mess got in the right mess sorry i'll try and fill them up later um you get the half a meter of the paint splattered cork now you are going to have plenty left over after you've made your bag and you get a metre of the rainbow, which is like shooting stars and rainbow stars. Gorgeous, with a black background, 19.99, stunning. And then the final bundle is the same um, rainbow splattered cork. And then you get these lovely rainbow flowers. So nice white background, and then they've got gray petals and rainbow colored, gray leaves and rainbow petals. So those are the different bundles. Have a look on the website. All of the different corks are available by the half meter. Only eight ninety nine for half a meter, which is amazing when you think. I think this is one hundred and fifty centimeters wide. It's really, really wide. Look at that. Wow. Now, don't forget that this is the final day that you can get the free, free five year warranty with the Elna six and eighty plus. Now that goes on till midnight. I know it's a considered purchase. It is a beautiful machine. Have a read up about it. Look at the reviews. It's the, the same machine that John Scott's got. We have so many of you who adore this machine. It really is a very solid workhorse, high spec machine. Comes with a free walking foot as well. But the five year warranty runs out at midnight. So we just wanted to let you know. Don't want you to think tomorrow morning, oh, I'm gonna get that. And then you will have missed it because it's a special deal that um, Elna have given us. If you want to spread the payments, do take advantage of it. Five equal payments of two, four, nine pounds, 80. Um, you will get sent it straight away, direct from Elna. Do not pay for the extra um, fast postage because you only need to pay the 3.95. It will come directly from them and then you can spread the payments, but it's interest free. Up to you, you can pay it all in one, but don't want you to miss out on that. So after the break, it's Yarn Lane. We've got Paula who has, um, bought a brand new book from Wool Couture. So if you've been a fan of Yarn Lane since the beginning, we've showcased Wool Couture quite a few times. Garments, toys, Christmas decorations, blankets, all sorts. But today we've got Bonnie the cow and her friends. Look at these, here's Bonnie. She's, look, she's the cow, look at her with her horns and gorgeous loops. We've got the fox. He's lovely, isn't he? The deer? Oh, oh, that's Finn the fox. Oscar the deer and um, my favourite, Rose of the blue tip. So we have got kits for all of these and we've got the book with the patterns for all of them, brand new to us today. Um, so if you're, if you're going to, oh, sorry, I'll start again. 
That so that's Sewing Street finisher day. If you want to shop on Yarn Lane, it will be on the Sewing Street website. Just to make it simple for you, because it's the same account number. Please don't go anywhere. But just to let you know, because obviously Yarn Lane's a different channel. Coming up on Sewing Street tomorrow, we have John Scott, and he will be with us at eight o'clock with Mode of Fabrics. At nine o'clock, Victoria Carrington's here with her picnic applique blanket. Oh, I have seen that. That is gorgeous i absolutely love it. i made one two years ago and hers is even he's way nicer love it uh 10 o'clock is kits you'll love and at 11 o'clock victoria's back with a petal cushion and 12 o'clock it's all about the sewing machine so thank you so much for joining me on sewing street today but please don't go anywhere it's all about um the crochet we've got a brand new guest paula who's waiting to come I'm really looking forward to meet her i'll see you back here in just a few minutes time <laughs> Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, 
Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. And welcome to afternoon. Sorry, oh, it's 12 o'clock, isn't it? Good afternoon, and welcome to Yarn Lane. And look at my babies, aren't they gorgeous? They, I've got a whole armful of crochet loveliness. This is Bonnie the cow, meet Bonnie, and these are her friends. She has more friends than that in her new book. But these are the ones that we have for kits. Now, these are produced by um, Wool Couture and they've got a brand new, they, I mean, if you know their toys, they're gorgeous. They do knitted toys, they do crochet toys. This is their brand new book and they are always massively popular because the patterns are designed so they are really easy to understand but they have so much character. So in the book, we've got patterns for all of these plus more friends too. So let's meet Paula and she's going to tell us about the book. Morning, Paula. Lovely Good to morning. have you in your nice lane. Nice to see you. Brand new guest. Yeah, it's lovely. Brand new guest. So um, have you enjoyed the wool couture kits? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think the thing about those kits is they've got everything inside. So you know yeah, that you can just get going. Yeah, they are fab, going. aren't they? Yeah, they even include like the needle for any decoration mm. and you've got your hook and everything. Yeah. And the pattern and everything. And the pattern. So you don't have to have the book to make the kit. No. But the book has got everyone it's in got it. It's got everyone in it. <laughs> okay. Course, Should we have a look make, through the book? Once you make one, you're going to want to make them all, aren't you? We can put them on the um we yeah. can put them on the table okay and then there oh, we go because yeah. there is a overhead <laughs> there we go we so yes yeah. so, and the photography in we go. the book okay. the photography in the book is really it self explanatory like it explains everything so who are the friends so we've got all sorts in here so we've got i mean <laughs> finn the fox who you've just seen yeah. Um, I quite like the frog, Freddy Frog, as the baby one. But you can see it talks through all the different things you're going to need. So if you're need. a beginner, is this, can you... Yeah, absolutely. I think it would help you, obviously, if you'd already got to grips with the basic okay. stitches. But equally, it's lovely because of all the techniques there, all right. the, like how to do all okay, the different stitches. Okay, so it stitches. shows you slip knot, magic ring. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can kind of be talked through right. all the different steps. Now I just need to move you. Oh, there we go. There we go. All the different steps mm -hmm. that you... Um, that you okay, need. showing you all the different all the different stitches, decreasing colour work. Yeah, so if you even gave this to someone that's never crocheted before, yeah. they'd be able to sit down and oh, have okay. a go. Which so is this brilliant. would be a really lovely thing for a beginner to get started on absolutely. their crochet journey. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it would be lovely if you buy the book and buy a kit to go with it, and then you can get going straight oh, away. Fantastic! I love it. Yeah, so and you can stuffing. see stuffing i mean this one is bringing the toys to life and that's mm. it isn't it once they're up they all like have their own little personality i think <laughs> they do oh and they and there's certain ones they've got like attaching the ears and tails yeah exactly so one of some of them might look more complicated than others yeah. but again you are talked through every step and it's got all the lovely fab photography as well as because i think that's good cause sometimes if it's just too wordy it's all you get a bit yeah. lost well a picture tells a thousand words absolutely and all that. so it's good to have base so you yes. can really feel confident that you can get going so yeah so it's all a nice the gift for thing. someone though isn't it you know people go i'd love to learn to crochet you go here you are then yeah off you go make it and make them <laughs> oh and they've done difficulty love so you could you know where you need to start yeah absolutely i mean i think once you get the hang of the basic stitches of crochet mm. you can kind of 
you've got, you've got your confidence you can get okay, going yeah okay but equally if you wanted to jump ahead you, you'd be welcome to because you know so we've got bonnie cow and isla calf yeah i mean how cute are these oh together? these are gorgeous and then this is bonnie yeah so really really cute i've got the kit here for, for isla the calf okay but you can see even the close-ups oh. it just inspires you to want it you just want to cuddle them and i know well, they got get there. so soft and squidgy i love them oh. so yeah so really lots of helpful and you say mm. the pattern all the way through including making up and and the lovebirds love oh, ava and they are lovebirds how cute are they oh i love them <laughs> they're little budgies <laughs> really they? really cute um <laughs> And look at their little tails and feet and what everything. What a nice gift for um, wedding. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, wedding. you can make them. Or if you have, like, mm. you know, children, you could give them one each. Or... Finley dog, it's a schnauzer. The texture of that wool is just so oh, squishable. Oh, schnauzer. Is that the same as a miniature schnauzer? Or are they different? I'm not sure. <laughs> They're just the same, okay. But They're the same. So, yeah, so you've got a nice mix of different animals as well. So you've got, right. obviously, like, pets. You've got some woodlandy, some sort of I love, farm. I love Finley. So Finley, look at them together. Oh, and Finley's got another friend. That's Elsie Cat. Elsie Cat. So you've got Finley, Finley Dog and Elsie Cat. Oh, oh I look, love that. I love those little paws. Look how touchy-feely they I are. I know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? The little pink pads. Yeah, bobble That's stitch. That's lovely. So you learn a new stitch there from doing that bobble stitch. So this stitch. cat's designed to be soft and floppy. That's quite yeah, nice, Yeah, I like that, isn't it? Because yeah. they're nice and cuddly. Well, this one is really cuddly. This is, these are like toys that children want. Absolutely, they? yeah. They're just and, gorgeous. Uh, I think adults as well. Yeah, I'd like I'd like Bonnie the cow on my bed. Oh yeah, I mean I, I've mm. got a particular. I love Finn Fox. Okay. I love Finn Fox. Um, so yeah, Maisie so Hedgehog. Maisie Hedgehog and all that lovely sort of. I like that because obviously in the real world they're spiky, but these are yeah, definitely this is soft, a soft and cuddly. Cuddly one. Yeah, gardener's friend. That's nice. Oh, he's lovely. Really chunky as well. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously you've got the different weights of yarn, mm. which gives a different feel. But I mean, in the lovely... <laughs> look at them cuddling. cuddling. Mac so the Mouse. Mac Mouse. <laughs> Mac Mouse friendly that is chat. Cool. It's such lovely photography, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does that. make you feel like they're your friends, <laughs> oh, you know? look at him. Mac Mouse. Absolutely. He's gorgeous. Oh, look at his tail. So, yeah, you've got <laughs> lovely, cute, cute friends. Oscar Deer. Oh, he's now we've got Oscar Deer. Yeah, Oscar Deer. Oscar Deer. He's lovely, isn't, isn't he? Isn't he? I like the way he has the little stripes across yeah, his back, detail. like deer do, and, and antlers. antlers. And yeah, deers. so let's get going with this one. Definitely. I love this one, and I like the fact that the arms aren't stuffed. Just the yeah, hands. As you say, it gives you that. Hands, sort of are they? Hooves. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Hooves. Yeah. Hooves. <laughs> hooves. So yeah, and look. Oh, look at look. that! Look at that. Daisy Doe and Oscar Deer. <laughs> What's the difference? Just Daisy Doe doesn't have antlers. One, is one male, one female? I don't well, know. Yeah, but she does, obviously doesn't have antlers. Yeah, Daisy, Daisy Doe. He's got a friend there. So, yeah, as you say, you are going to want to look. I mean, you want to oh, want to make them together, aren't them. you? Oh. Just so cute. I love them. I love them. And wow. Okay, so we've got oh, Riley I'm Robin. loving Riley Robin. There's, there's so much of this. How many designs do we get in this book? So you get 20. Wow. Which is obviously quite a lot. 20 for 12 9, 10. Oh, and Rosa Blue Tip. Rosa Blue Tip. I go. love the Blue Tip. She's gorgeous. And look at her wings. They're I like know. little semicircles. And I think the, thing, the lovely thing about this yarn, it's got the lovely little flex in it. Yeah, it Which is, gives it a real it? natural feel, you know? It's, so yeah. sometimes it can be a bit too smooth, but that's lovely. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So we'll go through the kits in a minute. We're yeah. just doing the books for now. Yeah, you get. Look at say, their get long lot. legs. I love the way they all. Sort of, yeah, you could sit them on a shelf, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, perch down. But you see these crochet animals, don't you, in these sort of really posh boutique yeah. children's shops? They're really expensive. They are. I mean, obviously, it's the time it takes to yes. make them, but how nice to make I it know, yourself. I know, that's what I mean. Make it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Angus goat and Tilly goat. Look at the cuteness oh. together. Yeah, so that's really sweet. That's how big is the goat? It looks big. <laughs> isn't it? He's 27 inches tall when seated. Yeah, he's a big yeah, goat. He's, yeah, mm. he's tall. He's a proper goat. So, yeah, so I say, you know, on each one, it doesn't matter how complicated they are. It's quite it's nice it's there. listed round by round as well, so you can just cross it off. Absolutely, yeah, and separate it out nice and clearly yeah. for the different sections. Um, Tilly goat. Yeah, oh, look at his little... His beard. Yeah, his little gilly goat beard. There's so much in it. Yeah, oh, so badger. Liking the badger. Yeah, he's beautiful, isn't he? Oh, I say he, Mary, she. Mary is named after one of our favourite friends. Aww. Oh, I love the badger. 
You can really get a cute. whole woodland extravaganza. Yes, look at this and for woodland. And then we got Finley Fox. Finn Fox, Fox. isn't he Finn cute? Finn Fox. Finn Fox. He's got, he's got a really chunky tail as well, Yeah, really. He? And again, not, as you say, they're floppy. They're not overstuffed. They've no, got not at all. They're floppy. Feel. They're proper... Yeah, um, there he is in all his glory. Toys that children will love. Yeah, really cuddle mm. and... Yeah. Actually, my, my toy when I was younger, oh, it was a crochet and I had to grip it. This, yeah. the, it they feel lovely, don't they? Go, love him. <gasps> Harry Tufty Ed Owl. Yeah. He's lovely, isn't he? And I the like way the he just stitches. Sits, and the way he sits out on yes. his feet, you know, just like a real like owl. Like a wood. proper owl. Yeah. Tufty Ed. And he's got those little semi circular wings. Yeah. Oh, this is, book is fab. Freya, Freya Barn. Barn Owl. That's really sweet, isn't it? Absolutely. And you say, yeah, the difference in the wings, it makes it really realistic for the Yeah, it does. For the, for it gives a lot of nice detail there, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Nice variety. Mm. They're so gorgeous. <gasps> and then Frankie, Frankie Frog. Frog and Freddy Frog. Yeah. So my little boy's called Freddy. So I've I feel got like a Freddy I've got, as well. Have you? Yes. I've got, so I've got to My little Freddy Freddy's Frog. 19, though. Oh, he's, mine's five. <laughs> oh, I wish my and Freddy he, was five. <laughs> and he would definitely, yeah. <gasps> He 36 like, inches is Frankie. Wow. So he's cute. I think he might be. Is he the last one of the book? He's amazing, Look, it's isn't he? 125 pages. Yeah, my go. Freddie would have loved him if he'd been yeah, still been Freddie. five. So, yeah, so there's Claire in all her glory. This is great. Yeah. I'm so lucky to get this on Yarn Lane today, brand new. Yeah, I know. So all of those, 20. Only 12.99 for 20. Wow, that is good. That's good, good price, value. isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Even if you're just making one. Yeah, even if you just wanted yeah. to make one, you've got your value for I money, know. haven't you? Absolutely. Oh, I don't know which one I'd start with. I think that is the thing, it's addictive, you want to do so them all. So it's only published re recently, recently. So, should we go through the kits? Absolutely, yeah. Right, well let's just see which one comes open first. Ta-da! Freddy Frog! So, Freddy Fox. So I'm on Fox. Finn, Finn Fox, Fox Freddy <laughs> Frog. This is Finn Fox. <laughs> yeah, so... so in the kit, you get everything you need, including the pattern. So you don't have to buy the book to make this, but if you want, it's the same pattern in here, I presume, as in the book. It will be the same, yeah. yeah. I think it makes it, it might make it slightly smaller size. The yarn is slightly different, but the pattern's the same, but you get yeah. all the, so if you want, you don't have to buy the book to buy this. So you've got the no, printed so pattern. So all the printed pattern, you've got your lovely um, wooden. Oh, um, that's nice. Isn't it? Yeah. it's. Um, got walker chore on it and it's just a nice feel about it mm -hmm. um, then you've got all the yarn that you need oh and this is the nice um Aaron yarn utterly Aaron yarn and isn't it beautiful all those cut that color variation in it well it's lovely it's cotton polyester acrylic silk linen and recycled fibers yeah I know so it's all but it has a really natural look to absolutely. it absolutely yeah it's got that sort of as you say the color variation yeah in it. it gives it that natural feel so like a fox would like be. Like a fox, exactly. Um, and they're all wound in Yorkshire as well, so that's nice. They're oh, all wound up nice, in Yorkshire, so I feel like that is a lovely, lovely little thing. So you've that got you know. the um, what's colours? They've got lovely colour names. I remember. I don't know Let me what see. It's called. Um, oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. So that's pumpkin, and that one's wheat. Nice. Stuff in. Yeah, you stuff in, and then handily your little. Um, Oh, that's really Needle useful. for your actual... So all you need is a pair of scissors. Absolutely, that's it. And then Brilliant. you can get going. So nice gift for somebody then. Yeah, and I think the box is really nice. Sounds silly, but you yeah. can make the... So make the fox... I mean, it'd be a bit smaller than this, so he might not be as squashed in, but oh, yes. Oh, would, yeah, look. <laughs> but then you can pop him in and you can put the lid back on and it's a perfect gift. And it's a Either perfect gift. Look at him. Then you a put him in his box. Having a little sleep. And he's sleeping. Cute. So you can either buy it, make it, yeah. put it back in the box and give it as a gift, or, or buy the book and the kit and then mm. you can get going. Fantastic. But so you can just use the pattern, Yeah, but obviously. if somebody wants to learn crochet or is good at crochet, that's yeah. a great gift. And it's nice, isn't it? Because you get started on yes. one and then go for the rest. Fantastic. And you know, say the whole pattern's in there, all the sort of instructions that you Linda need. Linda said, my book arrived yesterday. Yay, the thicker the yarn, the bigger the toy. Well... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it depends on the on the weight mm. of the yarn. So yeah, so the pattern's all there for you. So everything's there. Fab. No, okay, we'll put him back in. I'll put all of these back in. $33.99. Now remember you don't need to buy the book because everything you need is in the kit. Perfect. Right, kit number two. We'll just see what happens. Kit number two is 
the blue Rosa blue tit. tit. So yeah, baby Rosa blue tit. And again, so same this one is forty three ninety nine. Again, everything. So you got yeah, you got your pattern, you've got your stuffing, all your different varieties of yarns. And again, that colour fleck and that natural Aran quality is lovely, isn't it? What's that? They've got no river. Is that river? Yes. Yes. So you've got uh, corn, river, grey mist, and wheat. And I like the fact there's just a little bit of black. Yeah, so you, even for your eye details, mm. you know, it's all there. You don't have to be hunting around yeah. or, or having to buy loads that, of black. Because you might not have it, and then no. that would be so and annoying, you, no, wouldn't exactly. it? No, um, exactly. And I think, you know, just having the right size needle, because again, you yes. might not have the right one. So, perfect. And again, it makes a good gift. Colours are yeah. Well, they're just so natural, aren't they? So this is what the blue tit looks like. I'm just putting them in vision for you. But just very natural. What a lovely toy. Yeah. And well, it look nice just sitting on the shelf. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think that's it. It's, it they're, they're sort of toys that, you know, you want to cuddle. So mm. whether you're an adult or a child, they're sort of comforters, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, it is. Well, it's, it's nice decoration, isn't it? And the name says it all, you know, it's Bonnie the Cow and Friends. They do yeah. feel like friends. Actually, if you filled this one with weighted filling, it would be like, make a nice oh, doorstop. it would make a nice doorstop, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Put them there. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so that's, that's that one. one. So right, that's the next one. This one is Oscar Deer. Oscar Deer. And this one is slightly different yarn. This oh, okay. is, this is called Bow Baby. Oh, and it's a that's merino, why it's so soft. Merino acrylic. And again, spun in Yorkshire. So twenty nine ninety nine. So this is ideal for me because this is real proper baby oh, yarn. Oh, it really isn't is. It? I mean, like already, I'm trying to pull it out now because I'm know, just feeling I'm it. It's lovely is, and soft. What is this one? So this is fifty percent merino and fifty percent acrylic. So you've got the soft and yeah. soft and strong. Yeah, it is, and it really is because I tried to tear it the other day. And oh, actually, okay. I had to cut it. There was no way. So lovely and strong. Beautiful. So that is um, Oscar Deer. Yeah. And full instructions. And the, again, the, the crochet hook, the lovely wooden crochet hook, the needle, and again, your black detail. And the stuffing. And the stuffing. So really, you just need a pair of scissors. You literally could just get going. Um, and this is the, this is called Mink, and then this is Natural Cream. Oh, OK. Yeah, it is lovely. Look, so I'll lie, the, I'll lie the deer there so you can see him flat on. That's Oscar. He looks like he's waving. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be someone's best friend, definitely. Oh, absolutely. And then finally, <coughs> I've left the, the final, final kit. kit over here. This must be my favourite. Isla. This is absolutely. Look how. I, you just the texture oh, of it. Isn't this it great? is Isla Calf. Isla Calf. And again, you've got your mink and natural cream. You get a lot for this, in one. this one, don't you? Yeah, you do. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, lots of yarn. So that's what Isla Calf looks like. Well, you just look at that texture. But I guess you need all the yarn for all these loops. Yes, yeah, so obviously, yeah, you do need more um, to create that wonderful and detail. And see, if I, if I pull a, you see, you see her eyes? Just They're just hiding and then her little nose. And I love the horns. Just so cute. And you get a whole ball of yarn to make those horns. Yeah, you do. So you probably would actually have a little you spare would, for that one. Um, and so it is a little bit smaller as well. So the actual kit one. Fab. So, there we That's go. That's brilliant. Well, thank That's you. And the um, kits. what are you going to show us? Well, I'm going to do a few few little demonstrations. Um, I'll leave you with um Yeah. I'm going to um I'm going to start off doing um just how to get going in okay that sort of a magic yep. circle because if, you, if so you've we're not done it before beginner. yeah um i think there's a diff there's a few different ways of doing a magic circle okay and it's, it is talked through nice and clearly in the book but i'm going to do it how i do it just because that's makes more sense to do mm. it how you feel comfortable um so i've got um some of the the yarn here from from the blue tick kit here and it's that lovely um flecked natural quality i'm going to wrap it round um three of my fingers so in a loop so basically wrap it over and then put my, my wooden crochet hook through and I'm going to just bring it through so that I create like a loop just at the top there. So that gives you that nice little loop there, if I didn't pull it out. I think that's the thing with crochet, you need to sort of get comfortable how you hold yes. things. So then now that I've got that loop there, I'm going to put my crochet hook through, loop the, the yarn and just pull it up. So then you've got your, your starting loop read, ready to go. That's literally, okay. and then you've made your magic circle. And then you'll find in the kit that um, it will be a certain number of stitches, like four or six to get going. So I'm just gonna do that again. So round my fingers, through the loop, and up like that. 
and then through that loop to bring it through and pull it up tight, tight. And then you've got your magic circle to get going. And it's called a magic circle because we're going to use this tail mm. once we've done the certain amount of stitches to pull it taut so that you can get going. Because they all sort of start in the round, most yes. of the kits do. So I'm going to go, I've got my um, loop, I'm going to go through that magic circle, get my yarn and bring it through. So then you've got two on the actual hook and then yarn through those two loops in one go. And that's your first stitch done. And usually I think I say it's four or six. So through that magic circle and through and for as, as many stitches as you need. And then you just pull the yarn to get it closed. I think the thing about crochet especially when you're demoing it, it's quite calming. So I just switch off and start. Yeah. I just keep going, shall I? Well, it's nice. There's a nice lot of repetition. It's methodical, isn't it? Mm. And I think that's the thing. You can also get so absorbed in it. Mm. You can like count in the pattern. Yeah, it is, and yeah. So it's just sort of very relaxing. Um, so I've done those um, quite loose today just because I'm doing it live. It's always never going to go exactly perfect. Um, but I'm going to pull this this uh, now and you can see that that magic circle will sort of disappear and you're ready to get going on your yeah, round perfect so if you as I say if you're new to it you might have to do it a few times just to get used to how to hold it but really is a sort of good easy way and then you can just start going round round your okay round your circle fantastic so, and then most of the um, patterns you'll actually see in the book if I find a page You've got, got them all sort of in the acronyms, like, you know, DCs, like direct cro um, mm. double crochet, and the amount of stitches then that you're going to need, which is really helpful, because obviously it can, you can get lost a little bit sometimes if you're, if you're sort of continuing. So what do you do? We were talking about this on Yarn Lane when you finish. Do you write tallies? Do you cross out? So I, do you use a row counter? I cross out the row as I mm. go with a pencil, or sometimes a pen, but if it's in a book, I'd probably just do yeah. that. Or you can move like a little um, post-it note down, but I, I like block off the next bit so I know where I'm going. Um, one of the things I do, which I'll show you on the Fin Fox, is I actually use a spare bit of yarn as a stitch marker. Okay. So you can use a stitch marker, obviously, but I just find if you've got a, a contrast bit of, of stitch, when you get to the end of a row, just flip that bit of yarn over and carry on. And at the very end, you can just pull it out. And then you say, that's how you count. Okay. So you know. Because everyone does it slightly Absolutely, differently. Yeah. Someone said, which was, I thought was great, is they mark their book, but they do it in air erasable pen. Oh, or heat okay. erasable. Yeah. So that when they finished, ah. they hair dryer it and their pattern is clean. Wow, that's that is genius, a tip. Isn't that is it? genius. It's my oh, favourite wow. tip. That is good. Because yeah. I always write on my yeah. books and then think, oh. Yeah, no, you don't want to damage <laughs> the book, do you? But it's quite nice yeah. to know what ones you've done and have yeah. that history. So, yeah. But so that's actually what I do. I mean, I do my magic circle, I keep mm. going and just But use then the you contrast. use that. It'll be yeah. nice to show us that one in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to um, show actually how to do um, a colour change. Okay. So, do you think that would be a good time to yeah, do that? Yeah, let's do it since we're talking about stitch markers. Yeah, perfect. So, please don't forget to check out on the book twelve ninety nine. Really, really popular twelve ninety nine for all of those all of those projects. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Twenty. Could not remember what number twenty. It's a lot, isn't it? It is twelve ninety nine. I, mean, I know. It's actually, it when make you work a lot out the maths per know. pattern, it's amazing. Um, so I've started Fin Fox here, um, mm -hmm. and I'm, I've got the, the two different um, colours on the go here. So I'm going to again. You've got that lovely. So that kit, the, the kit pattern. for that, it's got a love. Well, I think it's quite nice. It's got these natural colours as well. Yeah, and the way that you actually carry the colours in, you end up with a bit of flex of them coming through, mm -hmm. which gives it that nice natural feel. So that here, I've used pen to cross off. Oh, I am. okay. They see pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone one. messaged in, and some people use notebooks. I, you know, when it says, I mean, more with knitting, like knit sixty-five rows. Do yeah. you do tallies? Do you oh. use a row counter? Yeah, that, tallies would probably be what yeah. I would do. Um, so you can see there, I'm at the end of a row, so I've got this sort of loose bit mm. of contrast stitch, and I'm just yeah. going to hook that over. So I know that's the start of the row. So, when so I get, do you do that? So that you've finished? That's starting yeah, the next one. Yeah. So I'm one. starting the next row. Right. So I know that's the beginning. So when I've gone all the way round, I'm back okay. to the point again. So I know where I am. So the pattern says to do yarn A, so that's quite helpful that you know yarn A is the pumpkin, it says at the beginning, and I'm going to do 7 DC. So I'm going to just do my thing, 1, here we go, 2, 3, 
Now, actually, on the colour change... If you've done six... I'm just double-checking. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. So, when you're going to go do a colour change, you'd think it would be on the stitch, but actually you need to start prepping for the colour change, the stitch before. OK. So, you're going to go into the stitch and yarn through, but before you double crochet, you're going to need to make sure that you have your second yarn ready to put. Now, you can actually do something called carrying the yarn as you go along. I've deliberately left it to show you the difference, but we're going to pull that yarn through so you're ready to go on your next stitch, the second colour. So you can see there that we've got a tail of the yarn, just sort of mm. loose. And actually, ideally, I'm going to now show you how to do the um, carrying the yarn with you, because actually you'll end up with all these loose threads inside, which is not going to be seen, but it makes for a much neater finish okay. if you carry the yarn okay. along. So now it says on yarn B, nine. So I'm going to carry on on this one. So that's not number one. So that one, that's the end of seven. Yeah, exactly. So now I've got nine stitches of the second colour. So I've already managed to bring it through on the previous stitch. But what we're going to do is make sure that we've also got this second colour on my stitch. So it's basically mm. hidden. So I'm just getting the tension right. So I'm going to go through that stitch and that is also on my hook. I don't know if you can see. And then I'm going to bring that lovely colour through, mm. but I'm carrying the yarn with me. So I'll, oh, okay. I'll keep going so you can see what I mean. Because if you, if you have too many of those loose threads on the inside, it can get really, it can cause all sorts of problems with the tension. You end up with like a puckered look. Right, so this would be your recommended way of doing it for, yeah, for the, the neatest way. Because if, as I say, you're not going to see the inside of the animal, so it really doesn't matter. And I used to do that way but can you see already mm. that's being pulled taut so actually you might end up with a bit of a yeah so you, yeah you'd end up with it slightly and then it might get caught in the stuffing yeah and it's difficult to stuff and okay. it just it's just a neater way and you know you do end up with a little bit of yeah but that's natural because yeah, exactly. a fox wouldn't be completely there would be a bit of something underneath wouldn't it yeah so it kind of gives it that really natural mm. finish so that's eight so the next one is nine. So now I'm going to go back to colour changing onto the pumpkin. So I've now got that one, got the mm. two of that colour on, and pull that lovely pumpkin shade through, and I'll repeat the process. And I know now that I can go all the way round back to my stitch marker. So have you got to carry the, the wheat all the way round now? Yes, you do. Which, as I say, I did think it would not hinder it but actually it, is, it, it makes sense and is to that do it how that they way. say to do it yes it is, is. It? okay oh, no, well, i can see on the fox that he's yeah it is how walkerchaw would recommend and as i say i used to do it the other way and i and i used to get quite cross at the puckering effect of and i was thinking well how can i make sure this mm. tension and actually i'd never i'd never tried it this way and actually it's much better and as you say you have that lovely natural variation of the, of, of the colors or you have to keep stopping and starting. Stopping and starting, and it just it just gets messy. And that's loads of ends, isn't it? Yeah, lots of ends, and and it means it's and it's also more secure, isn't it? There's less you're yes. less likely to um, yes. have any problems. So I'm just going all the way around to. So the fox kit is the one in the graphics in the moment on screen. Thirty three ninety nine for everything you need for Finn the Fox, including the pattern. You don't need to buy the book as well. You've got all the yarn, beautiful yarn. But the um, you don't need the book for the pattern. But obviously, if you buy the kit, is all a whole. But if you buy the book as well, you've got all of the friends. I think I think if you if you know someone that's into crochet and they want to get or they want to get going, mm. this is like get the get a kit and the book, and then you've got a way to get going with a kit. And you learn all the steps, yeah, that's and, then, true. and then you get yes. all the friends. Well, the because you've also in the book, you've got all the techniques, haven't you? Yeah, and all that lovely photography yes. just handholds you that bit it more, does. doesn't it? So I've got to the end of that round, so I now know I can now just hook over my spare bit of yarn, so that next time when I get going, I'm good to go 
Okay. Knowing where I've counted. So yeah. I don't have to worry about counting all the time as well, because I know, oh, that bit now, I can just always yeah, use Yeah, it's funny. See, I've never done that. I, I mean, I've seen it, and I use stitch markers, and I've never really, really understood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, I think because it just helps you, like, have a I guide. I've seen that, but I've never, I've never quite understood what you do with the yarn. And so actually, you just flip it over. I mean, so I've got, so I've got two young boys, and actually, mm. if I'm trying to crochet and they're around and I lose my train of thought, it's also quite handy, because you can actually just count the amount oh, of, of rows course, i mean i know yeah. you can count but it's just really handy yeah, but you can count the rows you yeah. can really see where the rows yes. you know yeah. so rather than keep moving a stitch marker so yeah so that's how how i would recommend doing the color change okay you that's can see brilliant carrying the yarn what the difference is between do they all messy. have color changes um no uh, i guess the they cow, don't um, the calf doesn't no not not all of them um some i say some are done as a, an embroidery effect um afterwards so additional details so the blue tip doesn't this the blue tip has got color changes because it's obviously but i think because that's going down the rest From of the one body to another you probably would finish right. one color but if you know that you're going to be doing yes. them regularly you it's okay. worthwhile sort of doing that um, and the deer has a colour change. Yeah, absolutely. I think where you've got like pockets where you know you're going to okay. have to pick it up again. So it's a really good technique to learn, but the calf doesn't. No, the calf doesn't. The calf <laughs> is loop stitch, so okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you right. how, how to do loop stitch, actually. Because it's one of those things that you look at it and, well, I don't know. The cat loves the calf. Well, cat, you need to make the calf then. <laughs> because you can't have the calf <laughs> i think you know for me i'm i'm say i'm an adventurous beginner crochet i wouldn't say i'm advanced i'm you know i'm happy to sort of give things a try right this when i saw it or any other loop stitch i think oh is it scary is it not but actually it's not I yeah promise. well i would think oh because i've done I, I haven't done loop stitch i don't think i've done it in knitting probably for okay. tea cozy do you remember those tea cozies that loopy tea cozies yes i've done that but again, like we're both not just sat here, aren't we? And we're just yeah. Like, and I'm thinking, I'd like to have a go at it. So I've started off the calf, but I haven't actually done any loops on this because I thought make it nice and clear so that you can okay. sort of see. So in the normal pattern, you'd be doing loops. So where does from the he start beginning. on his bottom? Where's his? Where is the circle then? Well, it'd be somewhere hidden under here, <laughs> somewhere under there, because it's kind of you'd already be looping. Yeah. If you try and demo with loops, it all you just can't you see, can't see. Right. Okay. So you can see here, I've used my, my cream as my stitch marker. Mm -hmm. um, so to do a loop, again, I've got my, my crochet hook um, and I've got my, my little um, stitch marker. So I'm gonna move it out of the way for the first stitch. And I'm just put my crochet hook through. And then you actually want, this is kind of where your loop is. Mm -hmm. So you kind of need this one to come onto this hook. So if you move the yarn over, and you're basically going to take your crochet hook and pull, twist and pull essentially, through. So that's now your loop. So not the foot, you would normally have done like this section, wouldn't you? Yeah, so you'd normally be sort of going, if you were just going to go straight in and do normal crochet, you would just bring that, that one through and you'd then crack on stitch. Right, it. okay. In fact, well, let's just do that. So that stitch marker's out of the way. So that's one stitch. But for loop, and, there's, and it alternates a little bit in the kit, you sort of need this back one to be the one that you pull through. So you can hook and you can sort of twist it round if it sort of helps uh, okay. you and bring it through. Mm. And then you need to do, now I'm gonna show you two different, I'm gonna show you two points here. So you just yarn over and through those through loop, two loops and your la yarn is sort of secure. Right. When you do that, the loop is actually at the back of the pattern and you actually need it to come forwards. Oh, yes. Obviously, otherwise you'd spend a lot of time having to um, pull it through. So I'm going to show you again just a little tip to bring it through because it, it can be something that you sort of do naturally. You just want to crack on with the next stitch, but you just take a moment to bring it forwards. Okay. So I'm going to show you the loop again. So go through that, through that stitch and you use your crochet hook, sort of twist it round and through. That's better. There we go. And then before you yarn over, bring that stitch round to the front. Ah, uh, okay. Then yarn over and through. And when you go to your neck, do your next stitch, you actually find it's then, effectively it's trapped within. So if I go and do a, just a normal crochet stitch now on this one. Okay, so there's not a loop stitch in every stitch. On some bits there are, on some bits there's gaps, so you can see obviously there's sort of a yes, variation. So oh so yes, so like that row there, 
if I show you. Yeah. That's got like one every one. Yeah, so that one's got some every one, that one's got none. So you can see it sort of mixes up a bit. So that's interesting. Yeah, so that's got none. That's got like... Every one. Mm. And I think we, near, hang the, on. Oh, right, near the go. beginning... I wasn't in the right place. Oh. We're examining him. It's like, <laughs> it's like monkeys, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it you can see the sort of like pattern <laughs> gaps of loops. So it's almost like some are loops, some are not. And that's actually... Yes. And that's what gives it the yeah, texture. the texture. So okay. now you can Otherwise see... Otherwise it'd be very loopy. It'd be too loopy. Too loopy. It'd be loopy mad, <laughs> yeah. So now, now that we've pulled that loop forward, yes. you can actually see that... I'm going to go this way. That um, it's now effectively contained. And depending on how um, sort of wide apart you do from your thumb and your finger mm. is how big the loop is going to be. Because you kind of want them to all be about the same sort yeah, of size. Yeah, so how did you do that? How did you sort of... So if I, I'm going to do another loop now... Get them the same size... So I think it sounds silly, but it depends on how big your hands are as to how <laughs> yeah. easy this can be. But yeah, if I, so if I um, bring that yarn over and twist it round and through, bring it forwards. Well, we need to just move this way a little oh, bit, just yeah, crash in with sorry. the graphics. There we go. That's right. So I've done, I've done a loop exactly as I did before, and I'm just going to yarn over and through. And you can see that they are about the same, oh, same okay. sort of height. Um, and really, if I go in, obviously it depends on, like, you could move your finger further away to give right. you a really long... Did you have to sort of keep checking? Was there anything you did to... No, I mean, I just find, I, for me, I find it... E I've got quite small hands, so I find it easier to do a small leap, but it's just keep keeping an eye, I suppose, on... I mean, right. again, it's natural. If it won't... They need to be approximate. Yeah, I see what you mean. But, but you think, did, you just kind of thought like that's fine, and then yeah, stuck to that. It I wasn't. Think, otherwise, I think you could. Well, you could spend hours working <laughs> yeah, out how big each even. loop is. But yeah, if you if you actually think about how far apart, if you really want to do a really um, big loop, you could just leave. You know, yes, leave that further yeah. apart. So I'm going to do that now, just so you can see the difference. <laughs> Bring that forward. That's crazy loops. But yeah, I mean, you might need that for. So it, you don't have to be too worried about it. Just I don't try so. and get it. Try and get it the right, same because it gives it a nice, unique, yes. you know, a nice uniform finish. But I think actually, if you're, um, you know, you don't need to start measuring all your loops. You, you'll be there forever. <laughs> but look, you can see there. I've got obviously made my thumb and finger a yes. lot wider, and you can see the difference. So you're going to want to keep them approximately the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they're about. To be relaxing, isn't they're it? about an inch long. Yeah. About. I mean, it's meant <laughs> to be relaxing craft, yes. isn't it? So you don't need to I guess, yes, stressed. so you just do it that suits your hands. I think and then so, just... yeah. But, I mean, I think, obviously, if, to get that nice textured feel, you kind of want them about the same. Mm. But, yeah, so you just keep bringing it forwards and and then go loopy, as it were. Go loopy? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> and then you just follow the pattern... Yeah, so the pattern today talks you through all the different bits when you need to be doing plain. Obviously, the, the, the feet start off... Um, off on plane and then I, move um, into the loop. Can I do this if I'm left-handed from Carol in County Antrim? Um, I don't know because obviously I'm not left-handed, yeah. but I imagine yes, because it's yes, just been the same in reverse. I mean, if you can crochet normal crochet mm. left-handed, then yes, I would. Because it's only using your hands to yeah to so make it's just the loop in reverse. Yeah, I hope so. Be, yeah, I can't see why I not. Can't, I can't see why not because. No. Yeah, it's the same thing, it's just you're putting a loop in your stitch. So, yeah. yes, of course you can, Carol. Yeah, give it a try. Give it a go. But yeah, I mean, as I say, and I think that's the thing about the loop stitch, it's quite satisfying because actually you can see the yes. calf building up quite quickly. Yeah, no, it's quite good, and like you away. say, so you have one row without and one row with. Yeah, I mean, I think, I'm, I mean, I'd, yeah, we need to check the pattern for exactly. Yeah, but yeah, approximately. But, but yeah, there's a nice mixture between the normal direct, uh, like double crochet yes. and, and your loops. And then um, in the kit, you've got everything. So you've got the black, you've got yeah, the eyes and the nose. It's this one. So you've got all so the... So that's the... Oh, we haven't got them. So the cow got, kit. Yeah, so it's Isla Calf, isn't yeah, it? Yes, so so I thought this was Bonnie Cow. Well, Bonnie Cow's just got bigger yarn, hasn't she? I yeah, presume. So, um, yeah, so there we go. We've got all the um, all the things that you need in there. And you say including the eyes and the needle and everything. So... It's fab, isn't it? Yeah. And I love all those little details, you know, even the fact that it's like... The hooks. And yeah. it's the right hook. Yeah, and exactly. And it's got a walker chill. Yeah, 
is that sort Very of detail, nice. isn't it? It just feels yes. nice as a Well, a, a, as having a the stuffing as well, isn't it? Yeah. And the needle. The, and also getting the right amount of stuffing. Yeah. And that gives you yes. a guide, because you can and you can easily overstuff. If you were given a big bag of yeah, stuffing, you, yes. you just keep on making it. I know, it. I'm rubbish at that. I always overstuff, and then I go, oh, Because you think, oh, I won't yeah. be enough. But yes. actually, you know this is a guide. That's what you need for that animal. So that's it's perfect. True. So do the instructions give you information about um, like making up as much as the book does? So if you can see on the back here, yep, yeah, it's all got all the things of making up, so how to snow the snout onto the front of the head and even where to, so the exact rows oh, as a guide. Because okay. obviously you'd just be like, oh, does it go there, does it, where yeah. does it right? But it does give you a little um, a guideline. And then you've got, obviously got the eyes and you've got the head. Walkerture do do some amazing videos themselves of like, you know, actual techniques. Oh, do they? So if you were sort of struggling and you really wanted to know, oh, actually, I need to see Loop Stitch again. Is that on their website? Yeah, well, on their website, there's a, link, there's a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Channel so, you, all about, so again, a beginner would be yeah, able so, to follow that. Yeah, like if you were sort of doing the cow and you thought, oh, do you know what? I need to see some. Yeah. Sometimes people well, are visual. Do. That's why you? we love Absolutely. having you on here. So but <laughs> if you wanted to watch it again and again and yes. repeat, it, that exact yes. section and also things like the colour change you know it's good handy mm. to have that visual so if you go gave this as a kit and you think all oh, that person might need a bit of hand holding, yeah then it's all on there all on there so yeah so that's really really helpful fantastic but 42.99 but it does say that as well look oh it's actually got it on there easy yeah, there to follow guys so it's all there 42.99 for everything you need for either calf so it's really good isn't it i'm trying to let's i always want to know how big these things are don't you Oh, I've got an Easter. I thought it was a snail. <laughs> the oh no, he's gone. That's the Easter snail gone. It's not a snail. Um, yeah, so quite big. Yeah, so standing, if a calf can stand, it is 40 centimetres, 16 inches standing. Yeah, I and mean, they're weighty as well, actually, because yeah, of the amount of yarn. It just feels yes, that's like true. special. Yeah, so you've you know? got a lot of yarn in that. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six balls, six fifty gram balls. So that's and it's lovely yarn as well. It's it's the um merino acrylic mix. Beautiful. Got a slight sheen to it as well, hasn't it? The Yeah, it's kind of that sort of Is that the acrylic, acrylic like, do you yeah. think? I think yeah, probably mixed in with yeah, the sort of mm. merino gives it that lovely softness and the acrylic gives it that lovely as you and say. It has got texture. that sort of slight sheen. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I think that is my favourite. <laughs> Difficult though. Yeah, it is difficult to choose. <laughs> so, I've, so I've been working with them quite closely, and it's just like, oh, I think I need to make them all. Yes, you do. How you ridiculous, do. But <laughs> I do. I do need to make them all. Um, yeah, but if you want to make them all, get the book. Get the book. Yeah, I think all that's there. it. But I think you know, it's nice to start with the kit. As the kits will give you all the materials you need, but if you want to make them all, get the book. Look at all the animals. There's Claire who designs them. Yeah, and it's lovely for her. I mean, she's been quite open about how craft and particularly obviously crochet helped yes. with so many um sort of she had some mental health struggles and this really helped her and it's part of the reason that she founded the company and that's I think that's really important that she's it of, is I mean I'm, you know um, crochet always works like that well crafts do but crochet yeah. in particular I think you have to really concentrate I don't know yeah. what counts I think it's the counting the methodical mm. I think you're constantly feeling the yarn yes. it's soft yeah. you've got that lovely texture feel um I mean personally for me yeah I love I, I started crocheting when I was pregnant with my first and mm. it felt like a love just a lovely thing to do yes you know? it is it is lovely I well I like it because it's easy to see as well don't always have to wear my glasses and it's also quite um rewarding in that they crochet up quite quickly I mean obviously it depends yes. how quick you yes. crochet but you can get instant results well they do they grow quickly don't they and particularly you, if you use chunky yarn yeah absolutely and you can just see oh I've made a year I've made an ear oh I've made a leg you know and you can feel yes. that sort of yeah and that, and it, it, so it, it's satisfying I like the fact you can undo it really easily <laughs> yeah if you do it you go oh, okay start again so this Finn Fox in the book is made using like a chunky yarn so that he's bigger yeah whereas that one is this is, is one is one like a the kit yeah so that's why it's a slightly a different size so the the book 12.99 look at all the patterns which is your favorite what's your favorite cat hot off the press brand new brand new today I have to say the schnauzer with that text. Is that the schnauzer? Is that I your favourite? I don't know. I like them all. But the, the, as I say, the, the Fred and the Frog, just because it's got the right name. Finn the Fox, my friend's baby's called mm. Finn. I mean, that's the thing as well. You get close attached to the name. Well, yes, that's true. Um, but yeah, I mean, he'd be fun for Christmas. I know, yeah. No? Well, and it's good because 
all of the patterns list wool couture yarn in them, but they tell you what the weight of the yarn is. So if you want to buy the book, but do use yarn that you've got at home, it does tell you whether it's double knit or whether it's chunky. So you don't have yeah, to use. It sort of tells you exactly what they've used so that, as you say, you can. Yeah, so you, you know, use. so that needs four balls of chunky in cream. Yeah. So it tells you the weight. I mean, obviously they list it with wool couture yarn, but if you want to use a different yeah, one, then absolutely. that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously you don't have to use cream. If you want to no. use brown, you yes. could. But yeah, I mean, obviously there's the colour mm. combinations they've yeah, done for true. a reason, haven't they? But yeah, I think I think the schnauzer, just because of that lovely, I mean, look. I know, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely and the eyebrows, gorgeous. they just make you laugh, make you smile, don't they? Yeah, he's they really lovely. Do. Yeah, Finley dog. dog. Finley. <laughs> I might have to adapt it for my own dog. You should somehow. You should somehow. Um, right. So, which one are you going to show me next? So, I'm going to show you how to do the decoration for the ear because that's actually obviously a lot of it is is predominantly crochet. But at the very end, ah, so this is the fox bits. who has a decorated. Yeah. So he's got a little decorated ear. Want to show. Yes, yeah, so we've got the little decorated the ear, and on on the um, on the pattern, it will say to you make two ears and then it will say to make a fan shape um, as the photo so obviously again nice and clearly it's on there so I thought it would be a good go. um, idea to sort of mm. just show how how to do that yeah um, yes and, and again it doesn't need some to details be. you can't get with crochet no I mean obviously you could well you could start sort of um, <laughs> colour changing yeah. every other step but that would be very complex wouldn't it and actually yeah. that having that embroidered detail it just gives it a, a character mm. somehow and I say on the book, Finley's actually on the book, oh, yeah. on the front, and you can see um, that in the chunky and how that again another texture, isn't it? Another texture to the to the animal. So, and you say the same even with the dog. It'll be done in a different way, but it's nice to be given the needle. Well, you the can... deer has got. This is this embroidery. Yeah, that's a, a, I think it's in there as how to do the embroidering running stitch. So it's even in here. I'll show you, look, so the back of the deer has got, well, they have spots on them, don't they? Naturally, remember now. yeah. They have I spots, think, so these I, are the spots. I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's like getting them to look almost, not as realistic as possible, because you know they're a toy. <laughs> but you, yeah. yeah they, but they embody the actual look, real yes. animal. So that's like the little spots, but the extra, yeah. oh. So you can, there's a duplicate stitch, so it's like different ways of doing the spots and different right. things. Yeah, so like there's an embroidery running stitch. Okay. So all the different even the detail bits, it's not just presumed, oh, well, yeah, see, stitches. Oscar deer, used on the lovebirds and Oscar deer too. Well, there you go. Oh, okay. So it kind of, yeah, you can sort of play around with the sort of how it looks at the back as well. Right. So I've got, um, I've got two of the ears here. So I'm going to, I've done, I've done one already and okay. then I've got the other one there. So it's just a case of I've got a short amount of, of, of the yarn. I'm going to make a little knot in it just to make sure that it, um, mm -hmm doesn't go anywhere and you don't stuff the ears you don't actually oh, stuff okay. them they're, they're just, floppy ears yeah they're just as they are so make a little knot and I decided a good idea thread the needle before hand so that's all threaded in advance <laughs> um, so just a case of finding a sort of central a central point on the actual ear does it say tell you just copy it or do you or did you work out where to I, start? I, yeah, no, I just it just does say sort of like use, but I think that's it, isn't it? It's like you don't want them sure to all fox. be. Sure, fox. Yeah, it's your fox. <laughs> decorate it how you want. Okay. Um, yeah, because yeah, no, it is very clear actually. But it is You're clear, right. isn't yes. it? You can see sort of approximately. Mm. So actually, this one I'd already um, you're actually meant to close them, close it afterwards with um, a slip stitch all the way down. So you'll probably get to the end of your ear and it'll be like like this and you'll have mm. your tail which is useful for sewing on. So that's the other thing I'd recommend on all the parts at the very end, leave quite a bit of yarn because okay. you can use that right. when you're stitching them all up together. Okay, so when you're really attaching this to the head, that's, um, I might even leave it longer than that um, because then you don't have a separate bit to yeah, come loose. And I guess it's a bit stronger as well, isn't it? Yeah, so it's you know it's already attached. So. Yeah. so I'm just going to find a central point. I'm going to go up. Now obviously I've realised because my I need to make sure that my um, knot doesn't go all the way through, but for the demonstration purposes, you'll get the get the idea that normally it would be inside. I decorate it before slip stitching it. Okay, if yes, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I've just found a central point, and I'm going to go over a couple of stitches. You know, however, however much you want. As you said before, it's your fox. It's your fox. <laughs> you decorate it how you would like. So I've just literally gone across a couple of stitches, and then I'm, I'm following the photo 
following the photo as a guide. It's just a case of a couple of stitches up and then back to that central point. So just sort of use that center point mm. as your sort of starting and end point so that you get this sort of lovely fan look. What's going on there? See, I always think it's good to show when things go slightly wrong because um, it shows you how it's <laughs> yeah. real, doesn't it? But I guess all of these toys involve sewing up anyway, so you're going to be sewing. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So you're going to have to sew the main bits. It's just what it's done, it's just pull a stitch out. Right, have you got some scissors? I'll start again. <laughs> we do, we do, we do have scissors. <laughs> it's funny, I thought all the embroidery bit, that's a nice oh. and easy bit to demo. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, don't worry, no. It happens all the time, doesn't it? You do something. Yeah, but that's absolutely. because it's real. Yeah, because it's real. I told you the beauty of crochet is you can stop and start again. Right, so start again. These are lovely scissors. They are very posh, aren't they? They're very posh. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So you make sure we start again. Yeah, it is actually very simple, believe it or not. So do a little knot. And actually, the, the yarn is very strong, even if you didn't knot it. I know it sounds silly because the, the texture against it, I'm not sure it would actually come loose because they've got lovely give to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, do you think that's the recycle? Because it's got some Recycled recycled yarn. element in it because it has got that real rustic look to it. Yeah, it's sort of, it's quite unusual because it's got that real. Oh, is it the linen? Is the linen? I don't know. Also. It's got that lovely feel to it that's soft, but it's also got a nice texture. Yeah, yeah it you is know, lovely. Cause sometimes soft yarn can be a bit, I don't know. Um, slippery mm. and hard to, to crochet with but this is lovely right so again start again so I'll go across a couple of stitches and then back to that central point and then you're just going to sort of work your way across another more and so back to that central point again and then as I say you can make it as big as small or as small as you feel comfortable with. But it's these, I think it's these little details that instead of it just being a fox, you know, this yes. is Finn Fox with his nice fan You ear. could put his name on though, couldn't you? <laughs> on the back. You could, you Fancy could avoid it. Or the person yeah. you're giving it to. Or the person to. you're giving it to, you see? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I presume Finn Fox starts in the back of his head. Look, yeah. You can see the spiral. Yeah, you can see, can't <laughs> you? I think the main body is at the bottom as well. Oh, and he's at the bottom. Yeah. So I've just done like really simple there, but you could obviously add in an extra one if you prefer. Like so, actually, I'm, maybe I'll add an extra one there. Just really, it's quite sort of the gentle. It's nice. The sewing up bit is when they come to life. Yes, yes, you know? it is because you then create them. Well, every single stitch, obviously, it's growing them, it's mm. making them. But then actually, when you um, stitch them together, somehow my fin fox would probably look slightly yeah, different to yeah. your fin fox because it's just you know your own unique take and how tight you've used the yarn how all of it so when you're done just be a case of securing off your thread um and all done clear demo thank you no worries does the kit someone oh, has a message oh right <laughs> it was a very clear yeah. demo thank Even you I to start again. but margaret in shropshire oh, says clear lovely. demo thank you does the kit give washing instruction for what is sure to be a well-used toy do you know what it does it says washable at 30 degrees well yeah which i was surprised that because obviously when you've got stuffing um sometimes yeah. stuffing can go yes, lumpy true um but it does say that the it does say washable at 30 or does it degrees say, has it, got it says it on the actual yarn now i'm questioning myself with the stuffing um what does it say i love a good testing question yeah yeah, because I remember reading the yarn thinking, oh, that's good, because obviously some yarn might shrink as well. Yeah, that's true. It will be a very well-used toy. It will be. They'll be very loved. Well, the yarn is definitely um, washable. Yeah, the yarn, definitely at 30 degrees. Well, I, I think whether it the... depends, because the Bow Baby is hand-washable. Oh, there you go. So but not machine-washable. All... I guess I would probably so the hand... Aaron is machine-washable. Oh, the... OK. And the... And it's the merino mix that's right. hand wash. So then maybe it's all hand wash. Maybe as as a finished product. Yes. Yeah. So you if hand you have, but they are definitely washable. But maybe hand washable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. I'd give I it a go. Would you? Here. I probably would. Just bang just it in the machine and, and see what happened. See what and then so it they... might be smaller than it was when it started. But they have their own life. Yes, won't they? that's true. Yeah. But um, 
the yarn is all definitely washable. Some is machine washable. Some is hand washable, but it does say. But yes, they are. They will be very loved. I bet that is in here somewhere, but I I'm haven't sure seen it. I'm sure it is. I think, um, but if not, obviously the Walker Chore website, it really does have like a lot of information about everything. Okay. So, so if there's anything all, we've missed, anything you want to know will be on there. Yeah. So let's have another look at all the toys. Oh, Finley Fox, Finn the Fox has been the most popular. Oh, I really do love it. I see that colour. I just, know, it is the pumpkin. It like screams autumn to me. Well, it's Fox just, colour, yeah, isn't it? But just the pumpkin name of it and everything, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. just perfect. So this is Finn the Fox. Remember the kits have got everything in them that you need. The, um, the book is separate. The book does have all the patterns plus all the friends as well. So a really nice combination is if you buy one of the kits, then you can buy the book as well. So Absolutely. there's the Isle of the Calf. Have a look on the website for all of those. Yeah, most of you have been buying a kit with the book as well. But you know, that's up to you. And then there's the deer, don't forget the deer. And the rose, the blue tip. The blue there she beautiful. is. So thank you so much for joining me on Yarn Lane today. And thank you, Paula. It's no been worries. lovely. It was a very clear demonstration. Great. Yes, I'm sure we will be having <laughs> you back. Good. It was lovely to see and to show some really interesting things like yeah. the colour change and everything. So these are great. So please do check out. Thank you for joining me on Yarn Lane today. When is Yarn Lane back, Kat? Is it next Monday? With actually, I know it's Wendy Orlando next Monday. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's not me. I'm not going to be here next Monday. Just swap my days around. Um, so thank you for joining me today. I will see you back on Sewing Street on Sunday. Um, and thank you for joining me on Yarn Lane. I hope you've enjoyed it. I found it great. It's lovely to see some brand new kits. And really nice to launch a book like this. Please let us know um, how you get on with it and hope you enjoy it. And um, I will see you back here really soon. Bye. <laughs>